Thanks for watching on uh, Racer X Facebook, on Pulp MX YouTube. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Thank you if you're listening live and all of that. We have a great show uh, lined up tonight. I'm really, really looking forward to it. We got a banger night lined up. We do. We really do. And uh, it should be great. Um, Ryan Dungey is going to join us. Red Bull KTM rider Ryan Dungey is coming back. He is actually uh, going to call us up and tell us why and what happened and all of that. So Ryan Dungey will be on. Jeremy Martin will be on. J Mart uh, missed the uh, Nationals. He's missing the Nationals this summer, and uh, he is uh, going to announce his deal uh, for next year and talk about what that is going on and more. And also Chris Blos, privateer hero Chris Blos, hanging it up after Salt Lake City. Chris Blos will be on as well. Looking forward to talking to Zombie and more. Uh, I have a great in-studio guest as well. Really looking forward to having these guys in to talk about Salt Lake City, the upcoming Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championships and more. Christian Craig got his championship. Jason Anderson got his seventh win. Bam Bam went Bam Bam. Uh, so plenty to talk about when it comes to the show. And, of course, we have the uh, Race Tech rant of the night. We have the X-Brand Goggle tear-offs. We have the Motorsport.com tweet at tit segment. Motorsport.com, Fly Racing, Decal Works, Race Tech Suspension and Engines, X-Brand Goggles, Rental, Michelin Motorcycle Tires, Acherbys, Firepower Batteries and Chains, Maxima USA, Pro Filter, Skosh, ORW, OGO Power Sports, FMF, Guts Racing, Atlas Neck Brace, Works Connection, MotorcycleIndustryJobs.com, Get Data, WUSA Ride Engineering, Intense Cycles, Suspension Direct, Manscape, and Wiseco Piston are all on board with us, uh, as are you people. And uh, it's Ryan Dungey, it's Jeremy Martin, it's Chris Blose. Let's get to our in-studio guest because, I mean, this, is, this has to happen right away. Uh, first up, he is a friend of the show. He is um, simply a, a jewel of the Pulp MX show a world. Our listeners love him. He rides for Club MX. He has a cast on right now. Filthy Phil Nicoletti. What's up, Phil? How are you, man? How are you, Steven? Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming yeah, in. Are you awesome. kidding me? Should be a good time. <laughs> it will be a good night. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, also in studio, uh, he's a friend of the show. We've had him up here many a times. He was most recently a tra trainer for the Rocky Mountain ATV KTM team that we will get into later on. It's Seth Rarick. What's up, Seth Rowe? Just hanging out, man. I'm just put honored. your mic a little closer if you can. Thank you. That good? Yep, you're good. I'm just honored to be in this palatial estate here. Thank you. This, uh, yeah, you haven't yeah. been to the new yeah. studio. Yeah, dude, I see what everyone means with the ceilings, yeah, the, the well, backyard, yeah. the pool. Well, just, I mean, you know, you know just glad to be here. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. My mom's in town, and uh, uh, the last time you were in, I think she was in, and she's very a fan of Seth Rarick. <laughs> very good-looking man, she said. <laughs> Even after I didn't get her tickets? Yeah. I was supposed to get her tickets, and oh. I just dropped the ball. Oh, that's right, yeah. Day one, yeah, I think, that's two right. years ago. Uh, also in studio, uh, this man is a two-time 450 Supercross champion, the 250 Motocross champion, 250 Supercross champion. Uh, he rides for Red Bull KTM. Cooper Webb. What's up, guys? Can't believe you came in. We made You're it. You're actually we here. Yeah. Thought I was going to bail. But. I did. I did. <laughs> These two guys said, hey, we're coming in after Salt Lake City, and we're bringing Coop. And I'm like, yeah, he's not going to want to do it. Like, that's cool. You two guys want to come in. And they're like, no, I think he's in. Yeah. So you still don't believe me that was his idea, huh? I don't, I don't believe that. Yeah, but, it's his idea. Uh, um, that's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about when it comes to Supercross, including, like, you know, uh, what happened to Cooper Webb this year? That, that's going to be a topic. Yeah, great, great okay. question. Coop is shitting bricks right now. Uh, 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 he's like, more nervous he's for like this than five, five and a half, this yeah, year. He is, <laughs> he's like five and a half hours of getting lit up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, we, had the, we asked the hard questions on this show, all right? Uh, but, no, we'll, we'll talk about that, uh, uh, the, the plans for Nationals. You've announced them already. We'll get into that, uh, what's going on with you and uh, and everything else. And uh, I guess your replacement, Ryan Dungey, is calling in. So, yeah, you new know. Teammate. Yeah, new teammate, Dunge. Uh, uh, Dunge, Caroli, and AP. What were the Vegas odds before Anaheim that that would be KTM's outdoor lineup? Like, <laughs> the whoa, same the what? same odds as the guy who called in asking Phil if he's going to get a national number. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Phil, you'll, be have, you'll have a number. No, this no, is last year. Oh, yeah, yeah, last year. yes, yes, that's that right. That guy called in, we all thought he was an idiot. Yeah. Right, right. That guy should have came here and placed <laughs> yeah, a bet. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, Philip. Uh, well, listen, we'll get, in, we'll get into that. We have some Club MX news as well, like lots going on, right? So we, we, we mm -hmm. can talk about a lot of things happening tonight. Um, uh, let's, let's cover Salt Lake. I guess, first of all, Coop, for you, great race with Marvin. Uh, a little intense, uh, um, but that's fine. I didn't see anything that crossed the line. I saw hard racing between yep. a couple of guys. Uh, take us through it from your end of things. Yeah, it was probably the hardest I've ever battled for sixth place in my <laughs> life. Um, yeah, it was it was uh, overall a better day. I yeah. think uh, obviously, as we know, I've been off the last few, and 
it's been been a tough one but uh that day i got a good start all day the heat racer led some laps had a battle with marvin the heat and then yeah main event good start again kind of you know that pack that we're in right now we we're all pretty close yep. and got shuffled around but was pretty close all night like you said me yeah. and marvin went back and forth a few times hard racing it was good mook yeah. was in the mix bam so you yeah, know, got the uh, the worst of it, but it was the, fun. The one thing I admire about you, I think I said this on a pod the other day or something. So, like, when I worked at Yamaha, like, Villeman, right? Villeman wasn't on his game. You, you know who David Villeman is? Yes. <laughs> Surprising. Yeah, it's Mars Trainer. That's how he knows okay. him. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I was at Yamaha, Villeman one time told Fuck us. Fuck you, you're fired. Yeah. So, <laughs> Villeman told us, like, hey, man, why do I want to start first? I'm just going to end up fifth. If I start 10th and work my way to fifth, everyone will be happy. Yeah. So it was like really good logic, right? We kind of blew yeah. our minds with that logic. This is a man making 750 k a year. He's telling <laughs> us he doesn't want to start up front. Anyways, you know you're not on your game. You know you had injuries and you, you know you're not on game. But the last couple of weeks, you're like, screw it. Yeah. I'm like, I'll grab a start and I'm going to try to make it work. Yeah. No, it, it may not work. It may not work. And it's been <laughs> tough because in the past, it was like if it was a whole shot, it was game on. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got to put yourself in the best position possible. You Do you know, know what I mean, though, Phil? Yeah, like no. Some guys are like, hey, man, I don't really have this, and I don't want to get passed, so I'm just yeah. going to. No, it's not great for your psyche. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> I like it, though. I like, I like, the, I like the admission already. Uh, wow, show 500 was, was really good, but Marks, Travis Marks, uh, show, is this show 600 already? It, it yeah, might be, it seems right? like it, right? Like, these all, three all in star studio? lineup here. Right, right. Yep. He, he, uh, yeah, it should be great. So Seth's here. I mean, that, that's all I care about. Yeah, yeah. Good nothing, looking guy. Nothing tops him. <laughs> good looking guy. Let's face it. Um, so, Marks, uh, you're handling all the uh, uh, directorial de- the things. Directorial, and yes. We yes, are, we're live on YouTube and Facebook. And uh, and we're on Mav TV too. Mav so, TV Two so Wheel Mav Tuesday. It's impressive. Can you believe it? Mainstream. We're, we're mainstream. Legit yeah. Mainstream. I'm just like CNN. Yeah. Just like it. <laughs> Coops News Network. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for something, Phil. You got nothing though. Okay. Mav's gonna lose viewerships now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would think that if this is your first show. Fake news. It would be you. Uh, what's that? This is your first. This is the first on show Mav. on Mav. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Might not be in number and we two. And we got the defending Supercross champion. I mean, it, 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 you know, it's a great guest lineup. And then <laughs> we have a guy out. that couldn't clear a ten foot triple in Atlanta <laughs> and broke his arm. So we got that too. Uh, his front number plate cleared it. <laughs> the first thing that hit Death, the ground. Death dude. Cross got him. <laughs> Seth, what did you say when I did it? I, I I hate I despise three ins. I hate fucking triple. <laughs> uh-huh. Now yeah. I'm definitely never going to triple out ever. So we'll just stick to double. Yeah, he doubles. won't. He won't triple in, and now triple outs are done. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> next so thing is what are we on now? No, uh, no, no dragon backs. No, no dra- dragons. Yeah, yeah no yeah. dragons. I don't mind dragon backs. I'm okay. Yeah, no, no, loops, we need a whoop track. We need a whoop track. I don't think you like finish lines. N- or tri- yeah, nothing. You yeah. just need whoops. <laughs> and uh, three onto a table is nine. probably yeah. <laughs> three onto a table. I'm out. <laughs> what about <laughs> just an on off? I like on off. I'm good. If they're they fine. have a, if they have a lip yeah, or yeah, if they're, yeah. what if they're flat? I need, I need a lip. Okay. At the end of have that, you ever done you know? a quad? Hey walls. Not we can have a track with walls and whoops. <laughs> <Yeah>. walls, <laughs> walls, whoops and sand. Walls, whoops and sand. Yeah, yeah. Phil be East Coast champ next year. Yeah. Uh, taking your calls over there, holding things down, uh, 702-586-7857. If you want to talk to Phil Nicoletti, Cooper Webb, or Seth Rarick, it's producer Pete. What's up, producer Pete? Even though I don't think I'll I ever actually that. make it oh, on air, it? I'm glad that I could be in for the first show. All right. Yep. Another thing you've got over talent. Yes. Yeah, another, yep. another, another, yep. another thing. They you pushed have. it for a week on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Is, uh, uh, is the new nickname... Because uh, yeah, politi- yeah, 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 you yeah. have to be politically well, correct now. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah, well, yeah, okay. yeah. And and the sw- and the, what, his nickname? Yeah, our buddy, uh, our buddy Pancake, who edits this thing, is probably going to drop out a lot of uh, bleeps Bleep. for you. Yeah, well, for you tonight. Am I so. allowed to ask what his nickname was? Or no, we won't say it. No, you can't. We just won't put this part on the air. It's Tits. Tits Legendary. Oh, yeah, that's the same guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but now we change it to producer, producer Pete. Pete. Oh, <laughs> so okay. Stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, man. I never t- had a face t- to the name. T- We're t- good t- now. We're good. Okay. I'm not gonna you. sell out. Okay. I'm you not. Know, I'm not I, gonna I, sell out. I'm not gonna do. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything for money. Okay. I, I'm just not gonna do that. All right. <laughs> Steve I uh, just sold his soul. It's. I'm gonna produce hard content all the time. All right. So just just be ready for that. He's like Joe Rogan and Spotify. Yeah. Silence certain things. Uh, so yeah, uh, great show. Looking forward to, to talking to everybody tonight, and uh, and we'll get into more um, of of the race and everything else. And we also tonight, the Yamaha LCQ raffle is tonight. Marks, we are going to give away a motorcycle and nineteen other prizes. Yes, we are. And the the pot has still grown since Saturday. So yeah, these riders are in for a bit of a surprise on what they thought they were going to get. Yeah, we're going to have gonna that nice. breakdown, right? We're going to have that breakdown yep. and everything. Yep. And uh, and then we have the contingency and everything else. 
Uh, so thank you to Yamaha and Blowfish for hangovers as well for that. Uh, really appreciate it. And don't forget the, the app is coming out Friday, everybody. So the app will be out Friday. Uh, I'm not even going to comment okay. on that. And, and also Amazon as well. Uh, you can also get this show on Amazon. Uh, or, sorry, get, the, get a widget. Buy something through Amazon on the widget. All right, got it. Um, okay, uh, so the big talk, Anderson gets his seventh win, right? Uh, he really really ended up uh, on a roll near the end of the season, um, and I get that. I want to talk about Bam Bam, though. Bam Bam on Mookie. Uh, and, okay, so he got docked 10 points. He, he lost fourth in the points to Marv. Now he's fifth. My whole thing with Bam was, like, for a long time, whenever he did these moves, he would go, I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's hard yeah. racing. Like, and we all like, dude, just own it, right? Just own it. And that's cool. Like, if you want to be that guy, cool. And you've both been probably bam bam mm-hmm. at some point or another. Um, this one, he does it to Mookie. And, I mean, I thought that was greasy. I mean, do we oh, all agree, yeah, right? I mean, it, it's a greasy it's move. stupid. Okay. I think it's stupid, but so he, But then he gets up there and he's just like, uh, hey, man, I'm racing for money and I'm racing and this is what I've been doing all my whole life and this is how I race. It's like, so why did you always tell us yeah. that you didn't, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. And then also, like, okay, so third in the points is worth money for him, obviously. Se- season-ending points, right? It's worth some money. But even if he got Mookie, he wasn't getting third in the points. He was, there All was right. a big enough gap where Malcolm, if he'd Malcolm had brought it home in fourth, he there's was only, still. There's only four points, though. So I think and if he hit him. And he wanted to break parts. Okay. So that's yeah, my yeah. next move. That's my next thought. So then. If he knows the points in his head, and you guys know this shit when you're out on the track, if he knows the points in his head and he knows that this pass isn't going to get him third in the points, then that tells me he was li- trying to yeah, break trying parts to, trying to end or break yeah. legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, and now I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, well, yeah, one position wasn't enough. It had to be two or three in order to make a difference. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because two they would have tied, right? Yeah. yeah. And or something, or something like that. in that position, he's hoping that he's down long enough that he doesn't have a chance to pass me or Mark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. There's, there's the points, I guess. Right. And I'm sorry, man. Like, I'm all for hard racing and all that, but that is BS. Like dude, that, I, was, that, was a, that was a lessy tickle. Same sort of scenario. Yeah. Fucking yeah. blew yeah. him off the bike. Right. Dude, dude, dude. You, you blew a 200-pound dude off his bike. <laughs> right. Like, come on. Yeah. You know? Crowd was gnarly. The problem I have with it, like, the move, yep. obviously, whatever, but it was anyone surprised. You know what I mean? Like, he's been doing it for years. So the moves, whatever, like, not surprising me. Problem I have is he goes straight to the podium, so he's yeah. protected by his Dude, team. He and clicked, won't, won't as soon face, as he, he won't clicked, face Mookie yeah, Mark. He, took, he landed know. off that finish line, checkered flag, and he clicked gears to get back to the podium. Right. Like, dude, you're running. Yeah. Why, what are you running from? You yeah. did it. Yeah. yeah. You did it. Just sit there and take it. I think I might want to go back don't, to – Don't don't hit and fucking run. Right. Sit there and take it like a man. Right. I'm sorry. Right. That's right. how I feel. Right. Well, it's, it's – yeah, I don't know. I mean, everyone's got a plan to get punched in the face, yeah. right? Yeah. Tyson says yeah. that. And it's true, man. Yep. Yeah, it's don't true. don't hit and fucking run. If you hit him, sit there and be like, "Yeah, sorry, man." Sitting up there on the mic, I don't know. I fuck, I would have lost my shit. <laughs> uh yeah. I just I didn't like his. I didn't like the move, and I didn't like him saying, "Hey, man, we're racing for money, and uh, I'm racing yeah. for third. Like, so what? If you're racing for third and you're racing for money, I get it. So your plan then was to actually hurt something. Like, wow. Like, and, and he should have did yeah, the old not- wave like he did to Anderson. Yeah. Sorry, didn't mean. <laughs> yeah. My bad. Yeah, my bad. I just no, none of that yeah. surprised me. I just I just wish that he'd kind of face the music a little bit, but it never happens. It doesn't, right? No, and it will never will. Well, no, it'll okay, never. so but I, mean, I I think you know, and I'm sure you will talk about it more, but the the point situation and what they docked him, I think was obviously you know a little extreme, but it's a no, it's, a it's point. not it's not extreme. He was on probation. Yeah, he was on probation. So, mm. they, you know, he got together with um, Anderson at A1, and then he got together with Anderson at uh, whatever, and then he was on probation for Bogle at San Diego. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, I think what I guess what I'm saying is, like, a fine is one thing, but now that it's points and you're getting affected by it, that might be something that he'll go, okay, this is real now. You so know, I heard through the grapevine, too, it was $3,000 fine. Which, now, he, now he won 25 k Yeah, he won 25 k with the third, probably. Yeah, so right? three like, grand is nothing. So three grand is yeah. nothing. But y- the 10 points, Coop, you're saying, like, like that's something. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that's worth more than any dollar amount for a racer yep. in a championship series. If it, if that was, I agree, if that was at round 10. Round yes. 17, it's yeah, over. It's over. Because so he's got third anyway. I think now finish. there's yeah, a standard. Fourth or fifth don't matter. That if it happens again, yeah. they've done this. So it's like, hey, if he does it at A1 next year. Yeah, and he will. Nothing's going to change. Yeah. And so, nothing's going to yeah, change. Yeah. And Nothing and I, will ever change. And I've watched a lot of races where he's been behind Coop, and that bike is wide open. Pegged. Right? Pegged. 
It's like, I, yeah. you hear you hear his bike over yours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's one of the best defensive riders in the sport. Yeah. And turning That's down everywhere. And, dude, that his bike is wide open behind Coop. I, I just, like, okay, the Anderson thing, remember on the finish line or on the start straight? Yeah, uh, yeah Whatever yeah. race that mm-hmm. was? Yeah. I was fine with that. Because I thought I felt like Anderson had enough turn to enough time to look up and, and swerve or cut in. You know, we see a lot of that. I'm gonna get you on the inside. No, I'm not, right? That, to me Yeah, yeah he well, just I, he creeped around I, the inside. I was, was okay a, you know, with that one. Like, like I'm like, okay, yeah. like I you That know, was it that was different. This one, I'm not okay with well, yeah, like, like I think I, this is greasy. Like I said, it's not the move the move yeah, obviously that was a bad move. Everyone yeah. knows that. But that's not what bothers me. It's face the music, dude. Don't run to your team and get protected. No. Right. Don't, don't do right. that. Right. If Malcolm's going to come up, let him do whatever he's right. going to do. Talk to him like a man face to face. You know, say I meant it. Whatever. <laughs> I have respect for you. Well, I mean, he a, did to the crowd, but I'm saying, go yeah, up to yeah. Mookie. Yeah. Say, yeah, that's yeah. what you expect when you're racing me. Right. No problem with that. Right, right. Uh, the crowd, Phil. Oh, are, you, are you hearing that, Coop? No, I was already back at the truck. No, no, no. no during, during the race, race. like oh, when Mookie yeah, yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. you were probably like, what's going on, right? Yeah. Like, I thought they were cheering for us. For the Mark Webb battle. You're all welcome. The crowd, dude. They were out for blood. Yeah, it like, was kind of gnarly. I was surprised. It was for yeah. for Utah. I was like, shocked. I didn't think the Salt Lake yeah. City guys were looking for that that much. I, I was I was cheering. Yes, I was well. just like fucking get him. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but he would have never passed him though. He would have got there and then yeah, you know, right? Why would and, you and, then, risk it again? and also too, <laughs> how sick was Mookie's pass on him, dude? Yeah, yeah how was... sick was that? Yeah, he hit that corner good. He was like he was on a on a, on a slot car. Yeah, slot hey, fastest guy in that corner all night though, Nate Thrasher. Holy really? shit, I know, dude! Uh, where did that come from? I don't know. We'll get into that, dude. Yeah. His corner speed, like the ride was great, but his but corner speed. When, un- he, when he was behind Craig, and I'm and he went, I'm just like, what are you doing? Yeah, Why yeah. are you passing Craig? Like, mm-hmm. but then no, he was he like, was no, like, I'm, like, I'm I'm going. going. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. But um, yeah, like I don't know, Coop. I, I guess just Bam is never going to change. I mean, yeah. th- this is who we. Like you said, that that's tough because I I. I'm friends with Bam. Like, I get along with him. I've known him my whole life. But like you said, the, the way he races, you kind of expect it. But yep. like Seth's saying, the way he's handled it, every year it's different. You know, yeah. this year it's it's like, hey, I'm going to be cleaner. I'm or the new guy. Last yep. year it was, hey, yep. I'm, I'm aggressive and I'm Bam Bam. So like you said, I think right. at this point he just got to own it. But it's also just – it sucks because when you, you're racing him, you know it, it's coming. And that's what I think even in that scenario like last night or two nights ago, Malcolm passed him clean, straight up, was starting to get – going and then just killed mm-hmm. yeah you know, yeah on, on lap 10 right right I, I don't know i mean i don't know what that feeling is like but dude that's got to be pretty gnarly to be mookie and just yeah. get bam and yeah. you're you're flying off your but she actually mm-hmm. did the same pass on me but i saw i knew what he was doing yeah and i'm like hey he's gonna yeah. kill me mm-hmm. so go ahead right right but i think genuinely malcolm was in a spot where it was like there's no way someone would go for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I was saying on my review pod, and I cannot remember who it was for the life of me, in the 250 main right before that race, that same scenario happened. There was a guy coming in, and he was it was near the front, you know, fifth or sixth or something, and the guy just grabbed his brakes mm. before hitting him because he's like, oh, shit, like, you know, because the guy kind of turned mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. The exact same thing happened, except yeah. when you're bam, you just keep going. Yeah, yeah. you're committed. You, you know, like, I, yeah, so I yeah. saw the move happen from another guy. He, he got aggressive, and he was like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? So it's not like, n- yeah. you know, nobody knows what's going on there in that situation. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the same scenario, like we just said, if, if you're stuck behind the guy for eight laps and you're faster and you just get frustrated, I then also kind of have like, hey, it's dumb, but he's racing forward. Yeah. But yeah. when you get yeah. past and yeah. then two later, two turns later, you're just going for the kill yeah. for the like champion. Like he was about to get know, dropped. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, it's not great. Right, right. There's also, yeah, there's a little bit of etiquette where it's like, man, this guy's just going faster than me. Yeah. yeah. Like he's just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. you know, so let him go. But I don't know, man. And then, you know, and then Bam gets on the media in the press conferences and stuff. Like, I don't know what you guys, it's just hard racing. And, you know, you're just like, yeah, dude. Yeah, I noticed that this year too. You're like, dude, yeah. first of all, as Wygant likes to po- point out, before Anaheim won, He's posing with a baseball bat, saying "Bam Bam" on all the on all the <laughs> cartoons. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, bro, yeah. you got a baseball bat in your hand. Yeah. Um, what, that what, that's fine to me. Just don't. Yeah, I don't know. Just don't run. I don't but, like that. But you're so you're actually coop. Like, you're not a fan of the move, but ten points. You're like that's that's you know that's something. Well, it means yeah. something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I mean, obviously, we're all at a level. Where we're, we're trying to make money. We're trying to go racing. All yep. that, but right. to get points docked. Yep. That's that's massive, especially if you're in a championship battle or a championship mindset, like points or, or everything. Everything, yeah. You know, yeah. So yeah. I think, like you said, round 17, it doesn't really matter, but it is a big deal going from third 
or fourth to now fifth. Yeah, yeah. And, and I don't know exactly everyone's contract, how they get paid or whatever, but. I would think he's a top three guy only, yeah. though, right? I would yeah, think, yeah. right? Would have to assume. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. So that was that was nuts. Mm-hmm. And then the crowd freaking out <laughs> was waiting for Mookie yeah. to catch up to him. The crowd kind of shocked me a little bit. I Dude, didn't expect that. Yeah, that was gnarly. Yeah. E- both in Colorado, the, the crowd for Eli was gnarly, and then this one too. Like yeah. Colorado was next. Colorado, yeah. I heard that on TV. Dude. Yeah, me yeah. too. Gnarly. It was good because we just went through two years of COVID mm-hmm. shit, and so it was yeah. nice to see. Yeah, you know our sport get the passion back with these fans mm-hmm. right so uh, uh yeah that was that was something something special but so yeah i don't know well 10 points and now he's off probation i guess for another year <laughs> <laughs> off or just it's now like a two-year probation <laughs> i don't know man it it, it 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 was so bad to me i i just was like holy shit what are you doing barsha but um yeah that's what he does uh so yeah get into 250 class uh christian craig he fell down but Still, I didn't really worry about it. I figured he was yeah. going to get it done. You no, know, no, he had that. Yeah, he had it pretty done. Yeah. Nate Thrasher's just – like, I heard he was going back to star next year. I think he has a year left, I believe. Does he? Okay. I mm. think. And yeah. it's just rides like this where he won the two Atlantas last year. He literally has in his career – we did the math on our review pod. He has two top fives in his career that are not wins, and everything else is outside the top five. It's not a great Supercross record. Yeah, it's But when he does going. things like it, this yeah. or whatever, you're like – Sign him up. Crazy. Yeah, no, Nate, definitely, he had, like, that ride didn't, it shocked me because of how his season's gone, mm-hmm. but Nate's capable of that. I, I, I have a lot of time for Nate. I have a yeah. lot of respect for that kid. He, yeah. He's, he's gnarly. I liked so. how he was just like, yeah, Christian, I'm going to go buy you, but then yeah. I'm also, I'm going to hurt you here, but I'm also going to get Hunter Lawrence. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I was more surprised on what's yep. happened this year. Yep. You know, that, that ride kind of, especially coming off last year, the two wins, yep. I expected a season, maybe not to be that good, yeah. but at least, you know, yeah. winning some races, top three in points. Yeah. So I'm with um, you though. What you were saying earlier, like first lap, I'm sure he probably had some instructions a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, right. if if we need you to pull or whatever, you're in that position. Mm-hmm. And it was like first lap, like, nope. See you guys. Yeah, I'm going to the. Front. I, I gotta go. And then like, I was surprised. I was too. And then I'm like, well, I and guess he's gonna Christian, get like you said, like, right. Man, I'd be like, whoa, where's where's this guy going? <laughs> yeah. Right, right. But Dude, he, he backed it up. You're like. not listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then, you know, the biggest gap is from first to second, and mm-hmm. Nate took care of that. Yeah. Three points, right? Yeah. So uh, good job on that. Yeah, his whoop seat was great. It's, and he even got a he little went, sketchy. Yeah. Well, no, but yeah. <laughs> even after he almost killed himself in the whoops, he just brought it back. I know. I, it was very impressive. The last two or three, he railed it, ba- reeled it back yeah, in and was, and was good. He but, did, yeah. Hey, Especially those were for the tough, last huh? lap. Like, I, I was – last lap I'm watching on the gate going, hey, this is going to be – interesting go time because hunter yeah. the lap before caught him yep. you know a good bit and i knew hunter was going to send it but to to know you have to crush those whoops last lap pressure and he did he absolutely crushed him yeah yeah so. yeah he's and that, that says something because you know he's tired you know his arms are pumped yeah. and he's still and he's gonna send it yeah uh, you know what i mean so uh yeah it was it was a good good race for nate thrasher christian craig gets the championship jet tries to triple in <laughs> on a 250f <laughs> Can we, it was a shootout like yeah. even more yeah uh did you go uh, so somebody went three four, out of, after the big triple. A couple, no, a couple that, guys did. I thought after that was low high low. After, no, that was after the start straight right. The yeah, low high low left right there. No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, after supercross yeah. triple. They went three quad. Somebody practice, did. Though. Yeah, really? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah so yeah, yeah. I thought it was Sexton. Yeah. I asked Chase. He said I didn't do that. But who, I swear I saw somebody I'm do to it. I think who did it. I don't. <laughs> in the middle <laughs> rhythm, though, like, no, not me. In the middle rhythm, Justin. Yeah, yeah, Barsha and Bogle. Bogle did it too. Bogle went 3-3. Three, three. Oh, I'm sorry, not in the middle. 3-3 uh, three, three on the tabletop section before it starts straight. Hmm. Bogle did that? Yeah, Bogle did that. Really? Yes. Practice First or race? Uh, uh, practice. Practice. Yeah, practice, yeah. Hmm. The last practice we were all Bam did it in the race. He went 3-4. Yeah, Bam was the, the only one. He did it yeah. like lap yeah. 3 to hmm. 6, and then it got then too he, ruddy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. where he caught you the most, that one lap. Mm-hmm. That's how he got close to you. Um, things are going in and out. So somebody did go 3-4, though. I'm yeah, positive no, no, I saw They it. did. Right. I'm trying to think I who did it. I can't remember. There's no way. I swear to God they did. Yeah. I swear to God. I saw it, yeah, too, I and I'm like, that. I caught I caught it on the corner of my eye, and I never. I thought it was Chase, but he's like, Looking at me like I'm crazy, like you are right now. Yeah, I, right. I mean, I do <laughs> think you're crazy. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, Papa Mech Show presented by Motorsport.com. Coop Decal was a fill works. guy, two in. What? Coop was a fill guy, yeah. two in. Yeah, two in. Just right. consistent, all yeah. 20 laps. Yeah. 20, 20, 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh, hey, yeah. that track was my type of track. Fucking dialed. Why? No three ins, no nothing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Everything, everything safe. Whoops were gnarly. Oh. You were pretty good in the whoops this year. I was really impressed. Yeah. I don't know if you got – you guys must have oh, been yeah, too. Like, dude, he was, he was solid. Yeah, I felt good in the whoops. Um, uh, so lots to talk Must about too. Technique. So technique. I got to talk to you about 
Club MX and Enzo and Troll and how hard you are on them. Oh, God. And you know what I mean? I want to get into that as well. Mm -hmm. So we got lots to talk about with that. Uh, Also, too, I want to thank the folks at uh, Skosh for bringing you Phil Nicoletti. Skosh, Pulp 2022 is the code to save with Skosh.com. They got phone mounts. They got chargers. They got cables. They got this base link modular charging system here as well. Uh, Use the code. They got boom, uh, boom bottle. Did you, did you get one of those boom bottles that I give you one? Mm-hmm. I thought I did one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, they actually nice. sent me a couple. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah. they so sent me some too. Oh, yeah. Great. So uh, they're, they're awesome. You've got a magnet on them. they got a, they got a bottle opener too. It's probably good for the pool yesterday that you guys were at. Uh, Scotch.com, Pulp2022 is the code to save with those guys bringing you Phil Nicoletti on the show tonight. Are you kidding me? And, uh, and lots more to talk about. So uh, I want to talk more Salt Lake Dungeons coming up. Coop, let's get into you though. Let's dive deep into you. I'm going to go, go piss so I yeah. – yeah, you go. All right. Okay. It's for uh, real? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I thought you were kidding. Can we do like a, a filler real quick? Yeah, we can. Absolutely. Right. I thought you were kidding, but yeah, yeah. Okay. No. Coop's getting nervous. Well, let me. <laughs> let me <laughs> no, he, like, does, he doesn't want to face we, the music. He actually he, has to go throw up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's, so, like, he's like Bam going to the podium yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no one's in there to protect you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so while he's in there, yeah. what, what happened to Cooper Webb this year? I mean, who wants to start? Who, who wants to get into this? I mean, I will say, I'm, I mean, we'll let him answer the question. Yeah, but. I know you're going to think I'm bullshitting. But December, best I've seen him ride. I do think you're bullshitting. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. December, best he's seen him ride and the best the bike has ever been. Right? It was the best bike KTM ever had. Super good in the whoops. No problem. That's what the word was, well, right? It's longer. It's saying, longer. It's going to work better through yeah, the so world. It's the worst not, year for KTM, period. I'm not yeah. saying 250 any, guy was not good. Yeah. One yeah. win for Marv. One win for Marv. Yeah. 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 I'm not saying anything about the bike, but you can ask him. December, dude. Yeah. Incredible. Best okay. I've seen him ride. I'm talking because going into this, Coop's not a practicer. He's a racer. Right. Going into the season. We've seen that like on Saturdays too. Going into yeah. the season every year, he's never, I don't, in my opinion, he's never been overwhelming. You know, it's yeah. like, okay. Yeah. But then yeah. the gate drops, he's and, a racer. And he, and he builds, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Round, yeah. round 17. Right. But oh. December was the best I've seen him ride. Yep. And then he'll take it from here. All but right. I actually, asked him if he agrees with me. I don't know. It's the okay. best I've seen him. So, you know, you're an all-timer, two titles, right? Some incredible rides. Uh, this year, no wins. Few podiums, uh, an injury, like it didn't go your way. Um, we know the brand new bike had something to do with it. There's no doubt. I talked to somebody at KTM halfway through Supercross, and they're like, "Hey, I think it's half on us and half on Coop right now." This was somebody at KTM, and then you know, we switched back to Alden and everything else. But not the year you wanted to have. No, uh, what right. what happened? And you know, obviously the new bike is part of it. I totally know that. But take us through it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was a tough year. I think. There was a lot that transpired, obviously, in 21. I think it started kind of all the way back then. Okay. Um, I got to the point where I had won that championship, and I was getting pretty burnt and probably was going to only race one more year. Yep. Um, and I really thought about it and, and uh, just wanted to kind of do something different, switch it up. And so that was kind of the, the theory of, of switching up programs mm-hmm. and, and doing something new and different and more to, in my mind, extend my career and, and just have something to look forward to, as bad as that sounds. Mm-hmm. Um, so we made the move at the end of outdoors in 21. So then outdoors obviously didn't go that great. The end, everyone, you know, I, I got better, but it thinned out. And then this off season, yeah, we had the brand new bike. I think, like you said, I, I haven't been able to gel with the bike right away. Right. Um, but I think it was a little bit of, you know, off the track stuff. I think there was a lot of stuff going on behind the closed doors where it was me versus certain people and trying to prove every single thing right or wrong about me. Okay. And uh, a lot to prove, a lot on my chest. And, uh, and a lot oh, of it was self-induced. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm glad you say that because, yeah, it, you could have just took the easy way yeah. and mm-hmm. run the same program. Yeah. So you put it on yourself and yeah yeah so i mean like you said a lot of stuff that that i should have done better Mm -hmm. you know i think um my riding like seth was saying i think i i was riding good but it's it's also hard to say you know i'd been on a a program with alden where i had been ridden with top guys and and riding with guys every single day and then um i started to ride with with jet and hunter a lot yep and then jet actually got hurt so it was one of those things where and hunter was a bit like me in practice where he's pretty far off yep so I was riding great, felt great, you know, bike was good. I think one of the things that, that we kind of messed up on was we never once rode the old bike this whole off season. Yeah. We started with the new bike, and it has some really good qualities. They might not have wanted you to. <laughs> right. You know, it's tough. Like, right. I, I get it. Right. And, and that, 
from day one, there was no option to go back. Yeah. You know, it yeah. was it was a new bike. Yeah, and th- you can't hide it. You can't hide the... So the, it was a little yeah. tough. Like, um, Salt Lake 21 was the last time I rode that bike in Supercross, mm-hmm. and I hopped straight on the new bike, and we weren't allowed to ride anywhere but KTM until December 9th. Yeah. Which I think, looking back, it feels great yeah. at the test track. You hit the same turns, the yeah. same bumps. APs, lo- everyone's loving their bikes there. And then we go to Florida, where... We're only there for at least I was only there for about three weeks before the season, and um, just kind of got to know the tracks. And by by that time, it's time to go racing. And mm-hmm. we didn't really have much. Uh, I don't know the word, but like data, data, or, or yeah. knowing how it is on certain conditions or areas. And a one, I rode great, but we we ended up jumping the whoops. And then um, I think at that point, I was still so confident yep. that it it didn't really matter. But then. Every week we're changing the bike. I mean, massive changes, massive changes. So I'm um, then, I'm not a guy where, where I can just hop on something brand new and go balls to the walls. I feel like I'm a very uh, conservative patient. Like, I'm not going to ride over my head by any means. Mm-hmm. So um, just a lot of that during that break. It was tough to get the right setting, get the right setting. We're, we're kind of like in that period where should have never left Alden's. You're out of shape. Yeah, you know, and and it's like, well, it is tough because behind the scenes, the they're behind the scenes, they're like eyeballing you, right? Yeah, it was pretty like, tough. Yeah, right. I mean, right. and especially with within the team because they told me that I'm making a, a ma- massive mistake, right. you know, which right. um, they're they're probably right in a way, but like I said, at, at that point, I'm my mind's made up because I'm I'm gonna yeah. retire. Yeah, not. you're you're burnt. So, anyway, that's kind of where it stemmed from, and then yeah, I, I feel like when I went to Florida, at that point, that's when me and Michael kind of separated. And then it was um, at a point where I was all in with Jet and Hunter and mm-hmm. doing their program and riding, and I get back to Florida. I'm away from the team, the noise. And at that time, it was the best thing for me because I told the Lawrences, like, hey, I'm all in on y'all's program. I want to be treated like a son. Like, yell at me, cuss yeah. at me, yeah. tell me where I'm slow. Like, I'm all in. So that was really good for me just to clear my head, kind of get back to the – knowing hey when i show up at the track this is what we're doing we're riding with these guys this is the program Mm -hmm. and that's kind of how alden's is where you you know exactly what you're doing each week what you're getting that just a good routine and i think that's that for me we we got to a pretty good point with the bike where we had fixed some of the issues and it was minneapolis that was the daytona that was the dallas right that's where it in my opinion my season got better and then uh we had a meeting and ktm once you know my contract was up and and we talked about extending it and they said that basically they i would need to go back to alden's which i was fine with like we we squashed our you know issues we had and i go hey at one point you zacko marvin no one's a fan of alden at different points right like things are things are tense with everybody right and um but we we sat down at dinner we went through what what i would like to see what he would like to see and that's when i went back and was like hey let's put everything in the past Mm-hmm. And let's like we just met. Yep. Let's let's start from scratch. Get back on the program and get everything back. And unfortunately, that was Detroit when I had you know I brain farted and yep. Chase landed and we I ended up breaking a my second metatarsal small fracture, but yep. still something that like I wasn't able to ride during the week. I'm hurt. I'm banged up. Yeah. Slowly, I'm not riding during the week. Not sharp. Which sucks. Yeah, yeah. You're you not know, sharp. Like catches up. Yep. I am trying to move. I'm doing this. I'm, it was just kind of a recipe for disaster. Yeah. And I was being a little, not, I wouldn't say hard headed, but like, nope, I'm racing. Yeah. yeah you know, no yeah, matter what, right. I'm racing. Right. And then you start trying to race when you're not 100%, not 100% comfortable. Confidence starts to go down. Not great recipe. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then two weeks later during the break, I kind of was able to get my hand back ready, right? Everything's good to go. And uh, I had a practice crash in the whoops like Wednesday before Mm -hmm. the race. And that's what took it out of me. Like, I think for me, it was something that that crash, it kind of came from nowhere. And I had been having crashes like in Seattle that were kind of just coming from nowhere. Uh And I was just not comfortable you, you almost know? that 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 the crash in detroit just set you back to zero, to almost, zero right sure. and you're just like ah oh, like we were building we were getting yeah. somewhere and now you're back you're not sharp now you're not happy with the bike right yeah. things are happening weird on the bike and, and we're and not yeah. able to ride yeah. down the week yeah. we're not able to yeah. do anything right so then right. it's like i said i had a really good leak everything's going great to st louis yeah. and boom i crash and and i i ate shit yeah like yeah. full on ate shit hit my head had symptoms from it for honestly a bit but same thing i'm like nope i'm yeah. going racing right like 
and then I just yeah you're, you're set up for failure right. in a sense yeah. like yeah. no confidence the weeks haven't been going great you're still at that point too I think in the back of my mind I'm like at the bike I'm like ah we're, we're not figuring anything out it's getting tough and yeah it, it just yeah we just kind of rode the rest of the season I did the best I could got great starts and we made you know we learned a lot as far as what w didn't work and what the plan is for next year mm -hmm. but it's tough when you're at least this year new bike with parts with austria like yeah it wasn't how like it has ever been it also it's too not having your you know riding in california and not having mm -hmm. your boot camp away from people and in mm -hmm. camp that sounds like that wasn't well, and what else was tough right. too is me and marv have always liked completely different setups mm -hmm. so one thing that's working for him we go and try it and i absolutely hate it yeah and ap's probably not much help but then ap's <laughs> hurt yeah i mean he, he doesn't know the bike at all at the beginning yeah. of the season <laughs> ap is the self-described worst test rider in the world so <laughs> yeah right like so i don't yeah, know if ap's yeah, helping yeah. so and much it's completely right? different riding style yeah. and, and he's he's five seven right. and ap six two right, right. And it's you know and um, even, even with like like you said with malcolm like I, I do think this newer bike the way it's built right now is help for towards a bigger rider mm -hmm. so that was one thing that we had to figure out is how do we get it smaller yeah, and, and yeah. For it's me longer and, right it's longer mm, and, and so you know it, it was just a tough year but i think yeah. um like i said a little a lot of it was probably self-induced but um it is what it is it sucks yeah i mean it's oh, to I, be a past champion well, and to get absolutely reamed sucks <laughs> i would bet like you're not <laughs> used to that right like yeah. it's, it's tough um yeah, there's look, there's a lot of manufacturers that introduce a new model and they learn a lot mm -hmm. in in the next year when they get data on it and they get some yeah. tests, you know, Ryan and Morris that's has been for me, a lot, like I know? said, I think for me that's yeah. where I know this group isn't going to fail and and they're not going to fail me and we have a great connection and a right. great plan and that's kind of what's transitioning even now is like everything's towards 23. The testing that I'm going to do this summer, the the rehab everything going back to Alden's, it's like a fresh start. Yeah. So, yep. um I I know we're going to get figured out and I think like I said for me to go into a new year clear-headed confident a lot to prove again uh it's good and i think even even as bad as it was when when i look in the mirror i did everything i could this year yeah i never once gave up i i could have easily when i was injured and especially with my head and stuff just been like hey i'm i'm done this year's right. been shit like i'm out yeah but i kept showing up doing the work <laughs> right. and i think it's gonna help like i i think uh i had gotten to the point where and it sounds bad but i got so used to winning super crosses that I mean, I wouldn't even do like a fist pump over the finish line yeah, or yeah. like anything. And it's like, yeah, you took it for granted. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Like especially a podium, right? A podium is like breathing. <laughs> yeah. It's like the easiest thing ever to get a podium <laughs> no, for. Right? And that, it's, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't want right. to sound cocky, no, but that's but, how yeah, it was. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I was only off the podium the last three years, like two times a year yeah. and super cross. Right. So I was pissed with second. I, I thought like from an outside looking in, first of all, I really like Michael Byrne. I think he's a smart guy. I think he knows his stuff. I was bummed that it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Look, sometimes people just don't mesh and things don't happen mm -hmm. and all of that. So I was bummed for Burner that it just didn't work. But and also, like I kind of heard behind the scenes that KTM was a little bit getting upset about this early, your, your your start. And I'm like, like you know, hold on, we're not even at round five yet. Can we just all calm down? Like you yeah. know, like maybe th give the give the kid some time. Like he's a champion; he'll figure it out, right? And I think that, and again, this is just strictly my opinion. Like I felt like things that I was hearing, like calm down, KTM. Mm -hmm. He's a two time champion. You know, he'll, no, it was tough. He'll like get you said, it figured out, but right? it's it's something where. As we know, it's a business to a cent in the yeah, sport, and yeah. they're going, "Hey, you were dominating, and you're not." Right. And this is the biggest thing that's changed. Well, I would have pointed to the motorcycle and be like, "That's the biggest thing that's changed, guys." For sure. That would be yeah. me. But hey, I yeah, it's political. There's lots of things involved sure. in that. I mean, no matter which way you slice, there's variables all around. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. So well, that's what I was saying. Yeah. There's two massive variables: it's, bike and trainer. Right. The person yeah. I talked to said it was, it was the same bike. Right. Different trainer. Who knows? Yeah. Could have right. maybe still. Well, yeah, like I, I said, the, the person I talked to said it was fifty-fifty. It's fifty yeah. percent on us right now, and I think it's fifty percent mm -hmm. on Coop. This person told me when you were, yeah. you know, slumping a little bit, right? No, and, and yeah. I agree yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. where, that's fair. but like you said, there's a, so many variables. There's what ifs, but you know, like I said, looking back, it sucked. But I think for me, I learned some stuff being away. Yep. And I learned what kind of works for me, what doesn't, and what I need to do. And right. I think it's gonna make me appreciate being back next year when I'm on top for sure. I think Phil, it takes a, and Seth, you know, Coop way better than I do, but way better than most people. Takes a lot of balls to go back to Alden Baker and be like, "Hey, let's no, gotta, let's no, let's I, start I, fresh, man." Like, I know you're not a fan of me right now, and I'm not a fan of you. Like, we had our issues. Let's let's get together here. Like, I think that's pretty ballsy to do. Like, I don't <laughs> yeah. know. That'd be a hard conversation to have. No, yeah, it is. But and yeah. I think um, it's a like man. Con it's a man conversation. It's tough. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's tough. But I think that's right. where for me, I, I feel like I'm the type of person I'll do whatever it takes to win. 
and if if that's what the group and yeah even myself it, it has worked it clearly worked as much as the the problems that i had before yep you know nothing sucks worse than not fulfilling your potential or having a year like i had yeah so like I, i'd go to alcatraz every day if, if i had to to yeah. be a champion yeah. like it, it's right I'll get over it. Right. <laughs> uh, I know at Yamaha, when we had the aluminum framed YZs, remember when those came out, nobody liked them. 05? 05. Nobody yeah. liked them. And the guys were like, hey, can we ride the old bike? And they're like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, you can't ride the old bike. We're racing this. Like, you can't go back. The, the new, the, your last year's bike, different mm-hmm. frame, different plastics, everything. Mm-hmm. You, know, you can't do it. And they, they never wanted to do that. And I think these OEMs, they're just like, this is our model, man. This is yep. developed. I mean, this yeah, is, this is what they have to sell. That's so. what we have to sell. Exactly. Right, exactly. Yeah. So we can't really do that, you know. But at the same time, for you, it might have been handy to, to maybe – maybe you had a few questions. Okay, it would have been worse if the, if the old bike was so much better. That would have been terrible. But maybe you get on the old bike and you're like, oh, it's not – the new bike's not far off. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, you're sitting at night going – you're one, yeah, you're wondering. You're wondering. Yeah, you're yeah. wondering. You can't confirm so, or deny. Right, you yeah. can't confirm or deny. But, I don't know. But it comes down to a point like, yeah, like you said, he's winning, getting podiums, and he wasn't happy, you know? So yeah. he's looking yeah. for something else yeah. to relight the, the fire to keep racing and wanting to do it. So you try and make a change. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't work it, out. It know? had it's to. It's just like, that's the way it is. But if you're still happy and you still want to go racing and still try and chase that, right? Like I don't know what it's like to win, but I know what it's like to be happy and riding your dirt bike. Yeah. And you're trying to find that so you can keep going. Like you your go, JGR days. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You go try and find it so you can get back to that. I mean, uh, Phil knows a lot about being happy. Oh yeah, he's no, no, always no. happy. Hey, I no, tell if you, you want to look at a happy special. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Okay. You need therapy. Okay. You talk to Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. All right. Last year, I was I was over it. Yeah. I wanted to quit and hang it up. And then after this year, I'm like, you know what? Right. Uh, I'm not winning at his level, yeah. but I had fun. So right. you keep going. It's crazy. I can't tell a difference by talking to you. <laughs> no, no, no. So, Coop, do you, are you worried about burnout now that you're back with Alden? Or did you do some modifications? No, did you, like did I said, you know? when we got back, it was, yeah. it was honestly one of those things that, like I said, there was something that, that some stuff that I would like to have changed and some yeah. stuff even changed internally over there with like, you know, how operation was and everything okay. like that. And, yep. and now there's a lot of off Alden's plate. And he can focus on us now, which I think is great. Yep. Um, but yeah, I think we have a good plan. We we talked about things, and but at the end of the day, what I get back to is the winning kind of is is what uh, you're striving and yep. what you, and what you want to get, and and getting back to that. Like, it doesn't matter in my mind the stuff that sucked before because winning and doing good and and making the most of your career Overcomes is it. outweighing yeah, that's that. Worth it. You know, so. But no, it's good. And even right. since I've been back, it's been good. I think the new group that's there is really solid. Like, it's a lot more fun day to day. Okay. Yeah. I think we're all pretty respectful of each other. And like, if one guy's faster, this guy's faster. It's, hey, we're we're all good. And yep. it's it was tough in the past where we were very competitive with the the older group that was mm-hmm. there. Yep. And we we had some run-ins, you know, weekly. Yep. So yep. I think that helped. And then, like I said, I think the deal they did with ktm um that kind of took some pressure <laughs> off us was was nice right, uh, right. financially yep. and like i said i think now just leaving and coming back was the best thing for yeah, me because yeah. i was able to see all the benefits just of being some there. perspective right perspective right, right. you know call tall cup of perspective uh <laughs> yeah it's interesting no thanks for talking about it and being honest about it for sure it, it's got to be tough for like yeah just getting your ass kicked and you're just like you're yeah. just like you're like oh man i hate my life right now i'm yeah. just you know so but no i mean yeah. like i said it's tough but yeah. i think it's everything happens for a reason i'm a, I'm a firm believer of yeah. that and um I, I appreciate ktm what they've done and and even alden obviously he could have told me to f off too and, yeah and we both were going hey right we see the potential in each other and, and what we brought to each other so mm-hmm. let's let's go chase another title yeah uh no absolutely and so the summer you're out for the summer for this nationals uh and again i don't want to make this like what the hell is wrong with Cooper Webb? I want to talk to you about nationals later on because you're a 250 national champion. Yes. And you have one 450 motocross win. Yes. Now, you shouldn't, I'm not saying you should be a 450 motocross champion. I'm not saying that. Like, shit happens. But I want to kind of find out, like, where are you at on nationals? I'll figure it out. Okay. All right. So, MC now or later? 95, dude. No, we'll do it, we'll do it later. Yeah, you yeah. know, MC 95. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> MC now, yeah, after, after me and Phil educated him, hey, he knows. Scoot about up it. a little bit if you can't say that. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so you're out for the summer. Talk about that decision a little bit and the things that led it, led you into that. So that was kind of a conversation we had with the team and with Alden. Um, part of the reason that we wanted to eliminate some of the issues were like, he doesn't know where I'm at. KTM doesn't know where I'm at. I think obviously mentally I'm in a pretty low spot confidence wise. So I think it was just a decision to go, hey, first gen bike, like yep. 
let's get you dialed in. We pay you to win Supercross, and I'm 26 now, so like these are the golden years. So let's hammer down with Supercross, try to get the win for next year, be a champion again, and then go to the motocross, do it all over again. Yep. Do it that way. I think the Alden thing, like I said, it is tough. And when you race 17 and then 12 and you have two weeks off yep. and then you got to start over again, it got to be tough. And I think uh, Supercross is a lot different than motocross, as we know. Mm -hmm. And especially for me on the burnout side, like motocross tough. Not against it. Yeah. And, you know, I grew up on it. I've won, like you said. But I do think for me, I need some different ways to keep motocross interesting. Yeah. To where Supercross, you can kind of get away with it because it's every day you ride it, something new, new mm -hmm. obstacle, new new lines or, or this or that. It keeps the mind sharp. To where I think for me, outdoors, it's a lot harder to keep my mind sharp for outdoors. Yeah. Just it's more pound and, and ground type deal. Right, right. No, I think I'm, and you've been at it a while now. You're 26, mm -hmm. you just said, which actually blows my mind because you know you remember Coop when he first came in, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, holy shit, the dude's 26 now. But yeah, you've been at it, you know, the grind both seasons for a long time. Now. Yeah. So so that that gets to you guys. Full props to the dudes that do it all the time. Yeah. But if anybody, if anybody, a veteran, if a veteran comes and says, "I want to do Supercross only," I understand it, man. Yeah. Like it's it's nationals are not. Yeah. No joke. You know. And so. I think what's tough is, like we said in the past, is I've been in a Supercross championship to the last round every single year. Mm -hmm. So it's like we always start late on motocross prep, and then you're playing catch up with the bike, the the motos, everything, and then it kind of same thing. You get to round six, and you're out of it, and it's tough to just have that same mindset. Yeah. And I think even, like, I respect the hell out of the guys that have back-to-back, -back, like, Supercross and motocross. Yeah. It's freaking impressive. Yeah. Yeah, we don't see much of that anymore. No. It's, it's like, Dunge and Villapoto were doing it, but yeah, even... Yeah, we, we took that for granted for a while. We did. We yeah, did. Sure. Like, Villo, Villo, though, what, did he miss three seasons of Outdoor Nationals? Yeah, like, he what, you know, quite a bit. Yeah, he yeah, missed quite know. a bit. So you look at Dunge doing it, you're just like, bam, yeah. bam, and you're like, 29 races, 450 class. It's yeah. just... The stations, yeah. Monster Cup, yeah. you know? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I, anybody, any rider who's like, hey, man, I'm kind of burnt, I get it. Like, yeah. you guys are working I, so hard, right? I totally so, get it. Um, uh, that's that's good stuff, for sure. Um, so you you anticipate re-signing with KTM then for next year? Yep, we're, yep. We're yep. basically done deal, just yep. passing out a few words. Right, but right. that's planned for next year. I'll be back with them. So it's good. I think that's also something when that was on the... the the burner this year too like you're you're fighting for a contract and the season's not going good yep. so i appreciate them for obviously they could have really been like hey you're not performing you gotta earn this contract like, <laughs> i mean which could I they have which i stick up for coop though that's bullshit though you know yeah I, yeah it's just like you, you, i don't know how many times at this level or someone like him you have to keep trying to prove yourself you know what i mean it's just like our sport, it, it sucks because we have selective memory, and they only think of what's happening now. They forget about last yeah, year. Yeah, short-term memory, you know? bad. Like, yeah. they see Anderson winning seven races this year, but that's it. But what about all the races he won last year? Seven? Seven Eight. last year? Eight? Yeah. Like, dude, people forget that. Yeah. You know? Just yeah. like, come on. No, it, it is It is that the media forgets it, the fans forget yeah, it. Yeah, it's no, it's, it's a crock it, of shit. I think know? that's uh, a professional athlete in any sport. That's how it is. What did you do yeah. for me this year or right. what did you do it, for me lately? It's, that, it's wrong. I think it's wrong. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, but I, I feel like like if I'm Pitt Buyer, I'm like, Coop's an all-timer. He delivered us two championships. I mean, I'm giving him. I don't know I, about that. I okay. Mean, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> you know. Right. Uh, it's certainly also, too, like. Marv won, right? Marv had a nice season. Mm -hmm. I never would have thought he would beat you in points, and he yeah. did. Uh, and so I guess if you're KTM, you're like, oh, look at Marv. He's crushing it or whatever, and that makes it tougher on you too where you're like, yeah, but I don't ride like Marv, and I'm not the same size as Marv and, and everything else. Yeah. You know? so, no, it's, it yeah. was tough all around, like you said. And then yeah. he, he rode really good this year, and I think he also had – a lot to prove. Yeah. You know, and he's fighting to I think he was pissed at that. Racing. I think he was pissed at his contract and everything coming sure. into this year where he was For like, sure. I'm gonna show you guys, right? Mm -hmm. So And yeah, he was solid this year, really. Right, good. right. Uh yeah, so you're back at back at Baker's and you're going for Supercross twenty twenty three. Uh and yeah, I think that I mean to me the bike will get better. It has yeah. to. You guys will learn. You know, you no, hundred percent. I think science. even even yeah. now it gives us an opportunity like to focus on that. It's tough, like we talked about when you get two weeks off and then it's like we got yeah. thrown into that new bike figure everything out we right. got three months on top of training so this will give us a time hey i can go to cali for a week at any point to do any testing i need i can we can do whatever we need to do which i think for me gives me a lot of confidence and then you go to boot camp with hey this is what we fixed this is what we figured out mm -hmm. let's not tweak and and you can see the progress from now with if we make modifications we know i've been at alden's obviously whether it's lap times or feel or whatever that is mm -hmm. you, you kind of know when you're riding those tracks hey it's better it's worse and you know what you're looking for now yeah Yep. This off season, I think it was like, 
you don't know what you're looking for until you go race. Right. You go race. Now we know what areas we really need to improve. Right. And so that'll yeah. be good. Yeah. I, uh, you know, most guys who are having shitty years, most guys on Coop's level who are having shitty years, Phil, they don't come in and do radio shows. They don't <laughs> enter texts. No. So props for you to come yeah. in. You know what I'm saying? They're like, no, I know. I mean, no, and that's yeah, what so I think I was alluding that. to yeah. this year. Like when you had those injuries and you have that stuff and you're, you're at rock bottom, it, I think it is, uh, easy to kind of go that oh, yeah. go, Hey, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> but he's been, at, I mean, he's been at rock bottom before 17 yeah. and 18 weren't great. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no. Right. You know, he's making big money and didn't deliver. And then, you know, went to KTM and over delivered for what it was. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a good, ta it's, it's good to get a taste of reality again. Yeah. And, yeah. remember what it was yeah know? when you start winning again it'll yeah. be like you said maybe more fist pumps yeah you know what i mean? I like, won't be so phyllish yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah really right uh, uh 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 by the way cooper Webb brought to you by the folks at decal works on the number two red bull ktm it is decal works graphics uh whether it's uh honda cali uh, ktm suzuki uh husqvarna gas gas quality service and knowledge at decal works decalmx.com promo code pulpmx to get 20 percent off pulpmx code gets 20 percent off at decalmx.com and uh, they'll they'll make the graphics that look just like Coop's bike or anybody else's bike. They can put logos on it and customize everything else. So thank you to Decal Works for uh, coming on the show and bringing us Cooper Webb, uh, Ryan Dungey coming up here in uh, nine minutes. To talk about that comeback. What did you think it was April Fool's? Did anybody check the calendar when you saw that? Uh, I was a little shocked. I was very shocked. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had heard rumors of it for a while, but yeah. I was shocked that he's actually doing so, it. I saw a video, a homemade video, maybe like a month ago of him, him riding. It looked track. pretty good. No, no. Uh, yeah, it was Sandy. On the sand track. Sand yeah. track. And I texted somebody. I'm like, Dunge? And they're like, he's testing for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, sorry. He's testing for KTM. And I'm like, okay. Like, that mm -hmm. makes sense. Like, whatever. Yeah. Run through some parts. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. I didn't even bother following up because there's no fucking way he's coming back. <laughs> like, why would I ask that? Mm -hmm. He's testing. I mean, like, two years ago, I would not be surprised at all, but it's been a long time Dude. now. Well, we know we tried to talk to Honda, right, yeah, last mm -hmm. year about buying, and we know... I saw an interview with DeCoster after Denver and Rogers D. Gaff about interviews. Mm -hmm. And Rogers was like, yes, he's asked us every year about coming back. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and I'm like, so, yeah, I was really surprised. Good for Dunge, though. I mean, hey, man, I don't, I don't know why he wants to do it. I'm going to ask him on the phone. Like, dude, you got, a lot, the question. you got yeah. a lot of money in the bank. You're six, five years, five and a half years gone. Like, you know, so yeah. we'll, we'll talk to him. My only question is, where is he? Like, does he think he's going to pick up where he left off or he just wants to race because he's bored and wants to have fun? That, that, you know what I mean? Like, what? Hey, Rick, Rick, yeah. I know, I know. When I'm bored and want to have fun, I want to race at AMA National. I, I know, like Especially not, Paula. Nothing says <laughs> yeah, bored and fun. Paula Hangtown. Paula Hangtown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing says I'm going to hit this triple with these ruts up the yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I mean, Dunn's just a machine, though. I think he's, yeah. you know, yeah. He, he obviously loves racing. Loves. I don't know the guy really, but I always think yep. he he loves suffering. Yeah. Loves training. Oh, we'll, so we'll, we'll get to the bottom. I get of it that here. side of it. I just want to know where is yeah. where, he, where he thinks he's going to be, or just wants to do it just just because. Yeah, know? yeah. Like, uh, Seth Rarick in studio. Seth Rowe. So uh, you were you were start racing Yamaha manager for yeah. a little while there. Uh, you went to Alden Baker's, uh, working on the 250 side of things for a little bit, mm -hmm. and you then said it backwards, but yeah, yep. Yeah, uh, sorry, Alden Baker star Yamaha, and then uh, you went to Rocky Mountain this year as a as a <laughs> coach trainer guy. Yeah, and we know that fell apart. Uh, what can you tell us about that or what happened there? Uh, as far as what happened team-wise? You, you team-wise, yeah, anything. Yeah, I actually stepped away before all that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did. So as far as what happened team-wise, you have to ask someone above my pay grade. Yeah. Um, obviously, there was like, you know, the two owners and all that. So Right. Um, that that part of it I can't speak on. Um, so, okay, so did he bail? Did he see the end coming and he bailed, Phil? I think a lot of people saw the end coming okay. for a long time, but – this was just the final straw. But 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 Seth Rowe was like, I'm out of here early. I think so. Okay. <laughs> now I obviously I knew I he didn't go to St. Louis. I know yeah. something. <laughs> no, I stepped away before that. Yeah. I didn't know what. I still don't know, but okay. I knew something wasn't right. Just because yeah. obviously I went there. My job was supposed to be a team trainer, right. which. McElrath, Anstey, uh, uh, and, uh, Savachi. and Savachi, yeah. Yeah, so my personal reason for going there is that's – I mean, I actually really enjoyed the deal at Star. That was that was really cool. It was a great opportunity. Uh, personally, I love the training side of it. That's yeah. what I enjoy doing. Right. Um, obviously, a little less stressful, you know. So, like, the off season was, was great. I, I didn't really have any problems at all. Uh, once the season got rolling, it kind of started turning. I was probably maybe more stressed than I was at Star. Uh -huh. um, there was just some sides that weren't, like – a travel was always – you know, a travel's getting booked late. Um our, yeah, they didn't have during the, our weeks weren't going to plan like I had them laid out. We didn't sometimes have you know parts or yeah, it's, it's just certain things for the guys to do mm -hmm. their job. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Um, and then turned into, you know, mechanics start asking me, you know, what's happening? Well, why don't we have this one? And I'm like, dude, I'm not, I'm not yeah. a team manager, you know? Yeah. And then, uh, you know, yeah, it was just, you know, he said, she said, just mm-hmm. a bunch of drama behind the scenes during the week that it got to the point, man, honestly, I was so, I, I couldn't do it, dude. Yeah. I was about to have a mental breakdown, honest, honest to God. Right. Um, so I stepped away and then obviously I think it was the next weekend. I'm like, I'm seeing my phone's blown up. I'm seen on social media. Yeah. No one's there, or maybe the riders. Uh, did who go. knows, I, yeah. dude? Yeah, we still don't really know. No, <laughs> and that's the thing, and that that uh, that was a little shocking. Mm-hmm. I didn't know exactly what. I I still can't honestly tell you what happened. Right. All I know is I did. I, this is a selfish answer, but I had to step away and take time for myself, dude. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it anymore. Right. So that uh, it, it sucks because I mean it's obviously a le- very legit team. And it sucks to lose it, a team well, in the sport. Yeah, the the team, I look at the riders and mechanics that are out of gigs. No, right? that's that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. I gave you the selfish answer, but yeah. really, it does. It's a bummer, dude. Yeah. It, it's a bummer. Yeah. It, was hard, it was hard for me to step away and then obviously tell everyone. Right. I kind of felt like I was maybe giving up on everyone, which isn't really me. But uh, I, yeah, I had to. And right. So then that all unfolded. So what I, are you gonna do? What, what's he doing? Do we do we know? Do uh, you guys know? <laughs> well, what are you, you going to do? I, I, you're going to think of mine, but I don't know what's next for me. Really? Yeah, I really don't. Is he, is he, is he lying? We're making phone calls. Okay, we're making phone calls? Yeah, yeah. Okay. phone calls are going around. I mean, you got to make, a, he's gotta make a, phone he's calls. He's been winning 5Ks. Yeah, oh, I'm, yeah I'm, okay. a, I'm a local 5K champ, dude. Well, yeah. how does, no, that, does that pay well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh, me and Zach did a bike race. It was a $100 payout to win. Oh, okay. Or no, 100 or was it 300 200 100 top three? Neither, oh, okay. neither of us got top three. And you had to pay 50 to race. Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. So I'm 50 in the hole from that one. Right. But no, honestly, like, obviously, yeah, I've been trying to see what's out there, like what's going on for next year, but – as of now, dude, I'm you, in, I'm enjoying life in Florida. Oh, right good. Now. Yeah, you. Uh, is he still have his chick. He still have oh, yeah. his chick. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah well, we're good. I mean, the home life's good, dude. Keep okay. her be pumped. All right. Well, I mean, if you don't bring in money to pay the mortgage or rent or whatever, maybe the home life won't. She's be got good. two jobs. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. nice. I'm just here wow. talking to you, idiots. Checking that. That's out. right. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, that's good. No, um, it sucks, man. So we understand Savachi's going to ride Cowie, fill in for Cowie. McElrath's going to do Rockstar Husky and Joey. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, I got it right. Savachi's doing Macho Cowie. Yeah. Yes, Macarat's going to do Rockstar Husky until Dino's back, and then I don't know what Max is going to do. But I'm not sure either. So that, yeah, it's a bad situation. There. Yeah. Uh, um, maybe you can be like <laughs> Phil's rehab guy for his arm, like coach him through rehab. We know Phil lays out a lot of money for that. The only kind of rehab stuff. he would do is hit me upside the head with that thing. Mm. Yeah, that's about I can it. only take Seth in small doses. <laughs> okay, all right. Five and a half hours right now is a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, hey, before that's why get... they're across from each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, we have uh, we have Matthew on six for Coop Webb. Matthew, what's up? What's your question for Cooper Webb? Hey, Coop. I'm from uh, Pondell Shores, which is pretty close to your home. Yeah. Town. And uh, I was just curious, what were some what were some of your favorite tracks to ride around here when you you know lived here? Yeah, growing up there in North Carolina, Eastern North Carolina, there's not a lot of tracks, man, as you know. But, Sand uh, Ridge, dude. Yeah, there's some now. But I grew up, uh, Jimmy Jimmy Weiner owns it now, but it used to be called Crystal Coast uh, back in the day. And that was the track right. I rode uh, shoot, every day. That was the only track we really had within, it was about 45 minutes away. And nice sand track. And, uh, that sounds man. like a name on an MX TV, ATV Fury thing, Co- Crystal Coast. Crystal <laughs> Coast. <laughs> you know what I mean? It sounds yeah. like a video game track name. But, yeah, we have uh, – not many. I think now there is a little bit more, but definitely a bunch of uh, kind of just local tracks, night night tracks. So yeah. Crystal Coast was the one I grew up on, and yeah, I think the closest AMA race was three hours away from my house. So uh, yeah, yeah, that was that was the good one. Jimmy Weiner owns it and runs it now, and does a good job with it. Yep. All, All right, right well that's it. Appreciate it. All right, thanks for the call. Thanks. Appreciate it. We have a we have a, we have a story on here. Uh, Daniel has a Phil is a good guy story. Mm-mm. All right, Dan- rare. Daniel, what's oh. your story about Phil? Hey, everyone. Uh, first off, congratulations, Stephen, 500 on Thank the you. show. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, Phil, um, 2017, JGR, Ironman, second moto, you ended up, I think you broke your ankle um, in that last <laughs> moto. So uh, 2017 was a banner year for did Phil. You, did you break your ankle? I was coming back from my heel, oh. but I crashed and jacked my heel okay, up yeah. again, but I yeah. DNF'd. I was okay, though. Yep. He was well. He was so okay that he was actually outside of his rental car with his foot up and ice, and I think in a splint. And my older brother asked for his number plate, and J Bone was nice enough to give that to him. And then he asked, "Hey, can you sign it?" J Bone had no clue that you were in your rental car, icing up your foot, and you look like in a lot of pain. But man, I 
I really appreciate that. Jaybone walked up to you and you signed it with a smile on your face and and then I think your girlfriend or whatever I like, drove you away oh. and mm-hmm. you were like was that, Mac? Was, that, was that Mac? Was that Mac then? Uh yeah. Okay. Um so yeah, it was uh going there, Yeah, that was a that I was just a rough year, to but no clarify, no, that's no, all. No problem. God bless. Anytime. All right. Good good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Phil Phil's, Phil, Phil's job, a man though. of the people. He absolutely is. Yep. He's a man of the people. By the way, uh in the co-host seat this week was supposed to be Logan Carnell. We love Logan, but we had to bump him for you three guys. You know, but he is watching, and he, he happened to say that um, uh, Phil came up to him at the monster party and told me he liked me. It was the best part of my night. <laughs> so you do like Logan Carnell? Yeah, he's okay. No, I appreciate what he does. I would like think how he, okay. he's, you know. I mean, you got to respect the, yeah. uh, the hustle. The, the hustle. hustle. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Got to respect that. I would I, I'll, be, I'll be honest. I didn't like Logan for a long time. <laughs> Back in the day, club, he was lazy and just kind of like slothish, you know, and never really tried. <laughs> it's the truth, you know. But Slothish. Uh, yeah, he just, yeah, right. whatever. But, uh, okay. yeah, he had the lazy type of personality. And back, you know, 10 years ago, I, I couldn't put up with that sort of stuff. So, but now. Oh, yeah, but you can now. I've come around. He's getting to soft. It. He is, you yep. know. Yep. Um, so now so, yeah. he makes money doing well, his thing. And, yeah, I, he, I can appreciate the You made his that's night cool. by saying that you liked yeah, him. That's cool. So that's what you do to these Dude, guys. Right. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, our next guest on the Pulp Mech Show uh, It's brought to you by the folks at Renthal uh, Red Bull KTM using Renthal bars Of course, they've got more titles than all the other brands combined A fraction of a second, a few grams A couple of millimeters, it all counts Welcome to the winning world of Renthal And uh, they got the fat bar, they got the fat bar 36 Did, did you like the purple? Were you down with the purple? Mm. No? Mm. Okay, alright On our bike it was yeah. yeah, not great I thought it was badass I thought it was badass on certain bikes Oh yeah, but yeah, on KTMs. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, eh. yeah. I just liked it because it. But when did they do that? I liked back it on in the, the day. Yeah, it was like mid 90s. Mid 90s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah how just, don't you know? I think so it, I only, it only it only it only looked right? good on the Cowie. Uh, so the undisputed global leader in manufacturing designs, Renthal has become notorious for relentless obsession to detail and quality through the commitment to produce the finest products on the market today. Renthal.com for more information. Renthal bringing you our next guest of the night. He's multi-time Supercross motocross champion. It's Ryan Dungey. What's up, Ryan? How are you, man? I'm doing good. How are you guys? We're good. Thanks for calling in. We got uh, we got your teammate here, Cooper Webb, in studio. So uh, you know, yeah. sup? I see that. What's up, Coop? <laughs> you got any bike setup tips for him, Coop? <laughs> He's my test guy. What do you mean? Yeah, pass it on to him. <laughs> uh, um, uh, well, Ryan, yeah, thanks for coming on the show. And of course, uh, dude, you you shook the industry. Like seriously, in the pits, everybody you talk to is like, "He's coming back," and like everyone wants to talk about it. Um, you're running, coming back for the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championships for the, at least the first two. What the hell are you thinking, Ryan? What what went into this? Situ- <laughs> what went into this? Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people have that, but <laughs> honestly, um, you know, this is something I've wanted to do for a while. I mean, I think year after year, um, you know, granted the right circumstances came about. Um, you know, I wanted I wanted that opportunity, you know, to to be able to have that challenge, and it's something um, that that. You know, I didn't think it was going to happen, but as things kind of came together this year and, you know, I've always, you know, took care of my body, you know, tried to stay in shape the best that I could. Um, did I ride all the time? Not, not all the time, but I always stayed in pretty good shape. So, you know, when it got back on the bike, when things started warming up here, um, things were really good. And then the guys needed a little bit of help and they wanted a little help out in California, with some, some testing. And I thought, yeah, let, let's go check it out. And the speed was good. It felt good. And you know, there's some opportunity that opened up there with some of the guys, um, you know, like, like Coop sitting out the outdoors and, and Marvin not doing outdoors either. And so I was like, Hey, maybe there's, maybe there's something here. So I kind of knocked on a door and, and once you know, it opened up and, um, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited. I, I, I really am. I've, I've been, uh, you know, the last two, three months been really putting in a lot of time trying to prepare. It's going to be tough. These guys are, you know, it's been five years since I've been on the gate. So, I got a lot of work cut out for me, but I'm excited. I'm just really excited for the challenge ahead, for sure. Yeah, I mean, so it so you didn't really like like you didn't get on the bike and be like, I want to race the nationals. You were on the bike testing and felt really good and like, hey, why don't I race? Was that kind of how it went? You know, I think it's um, I felt good right away, but this new bike, especially in in my opinion, um, I got to ride it back in. Um, september last year when the guys wrapped up for the outdoors and it was a production or um, a prototype model and i think coop got to ride it shortly after that and i just was really blown away about it personally and and so when it when as this year came about and we went out there and rode the bike and i was like man i just was 
it makes you want to ride. It's fun. And, and so when I got on the bike, I got the chance to, we did a little bit of testing, made a lot of progress. This, this is outdoors. Engine felt good. Suspension felt good. And it just was like, things were clicking. And so, um, if it hadn't gone that way, it'd probably been a little bit of a different story, but, um, you know, it, right. uh, you just, but anyway, it's just, you know, it's one of those things. It's not like the team came to me. Um, it was definitely, you know, in all honesty, I, I went to them, explored the, the idea. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the first thing in my head was just, you know, Hey, maybe let's do like, you know, four or five races. That'd be kind of cool. Right. And, but then I got thinking about it, you know, it's racing is just a sport unless you're not, especially this sport. It's like, unless you're all in, it's kind of like, it, it's hard. And so it's like, of course, we're going to do the first two. If things go good, you know, we want to continue that down, down the road. But for me, just kind of having that, you know, the, the meant the long term of it, the, you know, mentally all into it as well as physically, um, I just, that, that's the best way to, you know, right. it's the safest way in my opinion. But yeah, so. uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm surprised, man. Like, you know, you, you've got, you've done everything in the sport. You've, you've made a ton of money, your legacy is secured, but it's still driving you to come race the nationals. Uh, yeah. I'm impressed that you, that you want to do this. You want to challenge yourself. What, uh, what are your expectations? What are you, what are you thinking you can do at least at the first two? Um, you know, I, I think for myself, um, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of guys out there and I just got to keep the focus on myself. But for me, I mean, in all honesty, yeah, I want to, I want to go out there and c- compete for wins. You know, that, that is, that is my goal. It's a tall order. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, it's, I think the biggest thing for me right now is just putting in the time, the physical prep, um, the motos, the intensity, the speed and everything like that. So I don't know where I stand, you know, it's not like I can really put myself up to the test unless, you know, uh, you know, I could go down to the Baker's factory, right. And we could all do motos together or something like that with the, uh, with Mookie and uh, AP and those guys. I think that that would be something I could probably get more of a gauge on, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, that's only a few guys. And so, you know, it's you're just going to have to, you know, see where it all fall, unfolds and, you know, but the biggest thing, the best thing I can do is just, you know, apply myself and, you know, execute, focus on yeah. myself, you know, do my own deal and race my own race and, you know, wherever it comes in, it comes in at, and, um, you know, but, but my hope is to be up there. My hope is to, to, to be winning and, and, uh, podiums for sure. Well, I mean, I know Instagram videos are tough to tell, but Phil, he looked like he was ripping in the one that I saw. Dunge, if you come back and win, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, he's going to be hey, pissed either way. I'm going to be so jealous. Like, dude, a guy takes five years off, six years. I, what, 2016 <laughs> and then comes back and wins. I'm going to be fucking serious <laughs> yeah. Phil can't be happy for you yeah, 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 yeah. right Ryan I got a question for you did you uh did you test at all or ride that bike on supercross or do you just go straight to riding outdoors uh I have never really rode the bike on supercross so all my experience on the new bike has mainly been uh, outdoors I yeah. got you so I, got I you. yeah I haven't I have not ridden it on supercross and back in you know, in September last year, when we when we were out there doing a couple of days of testing, we only got to ride the bike for I don't know less than a half a day. And even me and Ryan Marias were trading the you know, uh, you know he'd ride it one couple laps, I'd ride a couple laps, and that was only like a half of a day. So, you know, things were pretty promising. Uh, it felt really good then, and then when mm-hmm. I flew out there, you know, so it's I didn't want to ride Supercross last year i should say too because i hadn't really been riding that much at that time right, so right. Yeah, you weren't it sure. just was like man you know it's you supercross is a whole nother animal and it's like yeah you got to work through the arm pump and all that stuff before you you know throw yourself into supercross so mo tackled the supercross side of things rental.com bringing you ryan dungy on the pulp mx show um yeah so you uh, coop you know this and ryan you know this the coster is degaff with interviews he just says anything right it's, it's great for us not great for you guys <laughs> So Roger told me, Dunge, that you actually – you said, hey, maybe I want to um, come back or whatever for Nationals or whatever. And he said, okay, but you fly to Austria. And you did, Ryan. You flew to Austria to talk to Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to, to, in all fairness, I, I, I had already committed to uh, – KTM was doing a 23 model launch. Uh, oh, you know, okay. They were doing a bunch of press rounds. So I, I was already committed uh, okay, to, all right, to okay, Austria. Yep. It, it, I, and – none of this stuff was by any means like set up. It all pretty much fell into place. And so when I was over there, yep, I got to sit down with Pitt for a couple hours and catch up with him and talk about it all and just kind of, you know, the ins and outs. What yeah. you know. So, yeah, it, it did help that, you know, to go over there and see the, the bosses and, you know, help help the decision, I think. Yeah. yeah. 
I got one for you, Denj. Um, obviously, like you said, taking that time off, you get to think and you, you, you miss that. I would assume you miss the adrenaline and the racing and doing it. How has it been, obviously, knowing that you're racing now and the mindset and the prep, you know, before it was, hey, I got to go out and perform every weekend. I got to go win this championship. I'm the top guy. You know, I'm, I'm under all in, like, everything is so based around you. And, and obviously, mm -hmm. with that comes pressure to go mm -hmm. perform and perform, perform. Now you've been retired. You have two kids. You know, you've been away from the sport. Like, how is your mindset and do you – how much appreciation do you have now for what only that you did in the past, but now just for racing in general? Yeah, no, for sure. I, I think, um, yeah, you know, there's no, there was no way around it. Like when I was right, when I retired, like I, I needed a break now. Did I know at that time what I exactly needed? No. Um, I was going off of what I thought was best, my feelings and everything like that. But, where that, where I was then and where I am now, um, you know, relating the two, I mean, yeah, for sure. I have a lot of respect. I mean, I, I, I think that's never left, but, um, you know, my perspective and the position I'm in now is a lot different. Like, right. Yeah. You, you said it all. Like I have two kids or in Minnesota. Um, but I also look at that, like, you know, um, as a good thing, you know, I mean, having kids is, is rewarding and it's great. And, you know, I want to pour a lot of my time and effort into them. But at the same time, I think, you know, we all have something that, you know, it's deep down is gifts and talents and mm -hmm. what that is and, and your, your, you know, your purpose and, and stuff like that. So it's like being able to keep that going. And I, and if I'm all, and if I'm honest, you know, I, when I was done with racing, um, I completely shut it off. I thought to myself, man, I don't, I don't need this anymore. I don't need to be on the gate. And I, I don't really need the, it's not the adrenaline junkie in me is like, I, I don't, I'm not an adrenaline junkie, but I think it's the, the adventure, the, that the, the testing that you go through that racing brings, you know, test you as a, you know, how racing tests you in so many different ways and all avenues. And so it's like, there were so many things about racing that I thought like I could, and it's not even racing the sport in general, I should say that I thought I could do without it. You know, I thought I could just leave it, drop it, go do something completely else. And I think over time I started realizing like, you know, something's missing and it's not that the, it's just like who I am as a person, what I like to do, the things that I enjoy, what makes me tick, right? Like what gets me out of bed. And there was a lot of things that, that I um, probably, you know, um, just, threw to the side and thought I was going to go on living life. And, and so I think those things started slowly coming up year two, year three, being retired, not knowing how to handle it. Now I was pursuing other things. I was doing other things and that was good. But to answer your question, I mean, it's like, yeah, in the, in the spot that I'm in, of course the mindset is, yeah, I'm, I, I still want to go into this thing. I want to win races and I want to win the championship like that, that, yeah. that for sure <clears throat> to me, that motivates me, that drives me, that there's pressure there. But at the same time, you know, with, with the, it's, um, it brings out a lot of um, uh, just the alertness, you know, just yeah. focus and everything when you're on the track. And so I love the fact that I get to go to the track. I get to work hard. I get to do my bike rides. I get, I'll do, I get to do all that stuff. And I still get to come home and, 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 see, and be with my kids and, and, and my wife. And I think when I was racing, it was like in Florida, me and my wife would just sit there all the time. We're like, dude, we're so bored. We don't know what to do, you know? <laughs> and so I was kind of feeling like the first day after things launched, I was like, holy smokes, this is, this is reality. You know, it's, it's, uh, we're, we're going racing and it was kind of weighing on me heavy. But at the same time, I'm thinking, no, it's like, this is even better because all the reason is I just explained. So yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. It's, um, but yeah, I wouldn't go into racing any other way than going out there to race to win. Like yeah. I, you know that that to me, I just I wouldn't did, I wouldn't do it. Did yeah, you as guys, a champion, yeah, it's hard to not have that mindset. Well, that see, that's where yeah. we're at. Like, we're like, what does he what does he expect to do? And I said to somebody, he's not coming back to run five to ten. He he's not doing that. He'll just stay home. So he thinks he can win podium. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. Like that's just how you guys are, right? Uh, I did like Lindsay's Instagram. Did you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Where she was like, "Yeah, he's I'm not really stoked, but Ryan's back racing." <laughs> that was no, funny. Uh, yeah, I, you know, it. In all honesty, she asked me. I was like, "Hey, you know, be honest. That that's right. all you can do. I mean, why why be fake? I mean, don't try to put on a you know front somebody be somebody you're not. So, yeah, it's 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 hard because. 
for Lindsay's side, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's not in her control. It's it's you know, it's not her on the bike, and there's a lot of. I mean, any wife can tell you it's, there's a lot happening there. I'm sure, but um, but for sure, it's it's definitely a step of faith and getting out of the comfort zone again. And yeah. I know this is going to last forever, so that that's it's important to know that all the other things we have going on in life, we're going to carry through with those things. But you know, this is just a challenge. Like I said in the beginning of the conversation, that I, I wanted to pursue and. And Phil said, you know, nobody, nobody's really ever come out and, and done anything. So the odds are definitely against me, but you know, that, yeah. that to me, that motivates me even more to, to, yeah, to try to be successful in that area. Uh, Don, I got a question. So, so we see Eli, you know, he needed a breath of fresh air. He had to leave Cowie. He went to Yamaha and he's yeah. 30. Eli's 30 now. So he's quite older. Um, if you would have, I'm not saying, you know, you were happy at KTM and this and that, but if you just change something, if you did go to a different manufacturer or you change your gear company, like I'd even talk to, to Brayton about this as well because he's been doing the same thing for so long, same yeah. bike, same. just like you just need a breath of fresh air. If maybe you would have switched manufacturers or done something, do you think you would have been able to stay in it or were you just, when you're done, you were done, you just shut it off? Um, uh, no, I, I, I think at the point that I was at, it was, mm -hmm. it was more of a, it was like a mental, physical yep. exhaustion that... Mm -hmm. And I, I, you know, and one could probably look, you know, I could probably look back and think, yeah, maybe it changes would be good. And that's probably, you know, I made a couple decisions in, in the past that probably weren't, weren't the best, um, you know, but I was searching, you know, and, and, um, but for, at that point, yeah, I, I mean, you could have put a new friend there, but, you know, I, I also had a massive amount of confidence mm -hmm. and trust in my, the team that I was with as well, that, that takes yeah. a lot of time to rebuild and, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, no, I, I'd probably have to say no just because where I was at in my career. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 702 586 7857. You want to talk to Ryan Dungey about his comeback to the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championships? Uh, give us a call. Uh, Ryan, and then I had a, a couple questions. One, are you going to be based in Minnesota all summer or are you going to go down the factory at all? Yeah, yeah. So I'll be based in Minnesota. Um, that's actually what makes this thing doable as well. Uh, I'm not having to uproot my family. And we got a couple really solid. Uh, tracks here uh they're private tracks but they're you know pro national caliber so one's a really uh really rough sand track which is good and yeah, then we got the another that. it looked pretty sick yeah that was yeah. that the video on instagram because yeah i don't want anything to do that with that track, track. <laughs> that track looks yeah. sick to me i'm out i'm no, out of that place and i uh, i never even knew it was there and it was we went up uh, a buddy of mine zach williams he actually does the the circuit on the 250s and he's like yeah i got this there's a track up here you go check it out it was actually the first place i i rode when I the first time I rode this year, um, that's where I went, and I was like, "Yeah, arm pump out to the, like, <laughs> the first track that's thawed and, out up there." <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like wow, but um, it's good. It's good for training, uh, get the heart rate up, good for endurance and all that good stuff. Now we're getting more motos here, and then we got another private track. Uh, it's called the BP Motor Ranch. It's um, it's about an hour north, and it gets nice and rough and rutted, and it's a really nice private track, and just yeah, kind of a. Uh, Kind of like a Millville type of dirt, actually. It's really good. Is that? Go ahead. Uh, and I don't know if you can answer this one yet, depending on how it goes, but are you planning this to be, say it goes well, is this going to be just a summer gig or is this like a Windham 03 project where it's full blown? <laughs> Supercross 23. Yeah, yeah full blown comeback. <laughs> no, I, I'd probably have to say this is this would be, um, yeah, just the, do the summer. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is Grantsburg still around? You can go hit Grantsburg up. That, that place. Yeah, is we got Grantsburg. Oh. You, I can't believe you know that track. Yeah, I raced it. Oh, I raced Grantsburg. Done. Okay. I'm a D23 guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Kellogg, Elko, Grantsburg, Mazeppa. I did them all mm -hmm. back Dude, in the day. Yeah, you. Those are the hot. Yep, yeah, that's where we grew up racing. Yeah. Uh, so, all right, quick, quick poll here in studio. Phil, do you think he goes more than the first two? Yeah. Coop. Yes. Seth. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're all in here, yeah. Duns. You're doing them all. No, I've done, I, I mean, I don't really know him, but right. I, I surmise if he does something, he does it right. We're so doing – he's we, all in. We just couch the first two in that press release in case he goes like 12-12. Just talking the way – just the way he's <laughs> saying he's training and stuff. You're just not doing that for two rounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Dunge, yeah. if you go 12-12 with the first two, you'll probably be like, hey, it was fun. See you guys later. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I think what what's well, kind of unfair about all of this, okay. in my opinion, yep. and, and knowing Ryan – is regardless, like, I don't think people understand how legendary this really is for the sport of motocross to have Ryan coming back and even Tony out there and just, like, 
in general. Like everyone wants to go, all oh, results, 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 but it's like yeah. they yeah. just if can't goes, take it in and be like, if, oh, they're out there. If, if he goes, unbelievable. If he yeah. goes twelve twelve, I'm fine with it. I think it's badass he's back in the game. I, I agree. Having you know? Caroli and Ryan Dungey under the one tent is gnar yeah. it's awesome. That's yeah. to great. me it's a, it's a win right yeah. now. Yeah. You know? Poor AP. Forget about AP. Like <laughs> he's cool too, but like it's Caroli and Dungey. <laughs> yeah. so. That's just my two cents. Uh, I it, think, like Dunge said, he's going to go out there and do the well, best he possibly can, and he's a champ, and he wants to be a champ again. But uh, that's just kind of what bums me out. Is you see all the people like, oh, wh why is he doing it? Why is he doing it? Yeah, and it's like, hey. yeah, just appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Absolutely. I, I agree. That I is a cool team with Dunge, AP. What well, does and AP? Caroli. Will AP know anything about Antonio Caroli? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, will just be like, who's this guy? You speak English? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Dunge, I got a DM from a fan. He is yeah. irate that you got the number five back. And like, <laughs> really, dude, I don't care. Like, of you didn't all steal. things to care about. This well, is what yeah. okay. Up. Like, Jesus. look, if Dunge took it from a guy, then I, I okay. agree that's that's fucked up. Like, yeah. you can't do that. But it's open. It's not being used. So yeah. and Ryan, Ryan's coming back. Him. Right. This guy. Now, this guy's not happy. Well, now if MC came back, the two should be ripped from Coop. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Anybody outside sure. of, yeah, MC takes it back for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right, right. Have to. Uh, speaking of the number two, Ryan, by the way, too, I talked to Villo the other day after he told me about. Uh, oh, we, I he, don't even tell. Uh, okay, no, yeah. He, after he finished telling what me. Did, what that, did he say? Well, he told me he's the fastest finish rider in the world. Uh, he can ride anything. And then after that, he said that you're fucking crazy. <laughs> so no, just just FYI on Ryan Villopoto's opinion on this comeback. So. Uh, <laughs> he, he, I thought it, I thought about him because we were on the dang um, uh, a different uh, Ping, Pingree's whiskey throttle, and he was telling me how he was thinking about outdoors, and then he went and rode out in Paula one day, and he's like, "Screw this!" <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, no, I agree, man. He, uh, but you know, it's awesome. It, it's really, really going to be great to see you out there. I, I'm stoked. Uh, okay, so Paula and Hangtown, like. Probably not the two tracks that you're most stoked on, Dunge. Uh, uh, but, but and besides Millville, like, what are you looking forward to? Is is it the traditional Red Bud stuff, or like, you know, what what kind of what tracks are you looking forward to hitting? Man, I honestly all of them. I yeah. I think like being away from um, you know the the big ones that I always enjoy are the more yeah your Red Bud Millville South Lake Buds Creek. I mean the the, the ones that kind of really develop like that that nice loam dirt and ruts and stuff, but um, I'm kind of excited to go through all of them. I mean, my, the mindset for me, yep, we've we've talked about the first two and whatever, mm -hmm. but my mindset is to do the whole the whole series, and so to to be able to go experience all these places all over again, and it's been a while. Um, you know, I, I want to enjoy that too. So I'm I'm excited to get to each and every one of them. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got some phone calls for you, of course, because uh, yeah, you're Ryan Dungey and you're on the line. Let's go to. Uh... Skippy on three. Uh, Skippy, what's up, man? What's your question for Ryan Dungey? Hey, what's up, guys? How are y'all? Good. Good, good. Man, I just wanted to, uh, first off, ask uh, what your best junk man story is. Uh, <laughs> and then after that, talk about some just good old-fashioned memorable races. What are your favorite uh, memorable races? Oh, man. Who's junk, junk man? man? I don't... Do, do we know junk, junk man? Skippy? Yeah. He's John Mitchell. John Mitchell. Uh, he's at oh, JM Racing. Yeah, okay. Of, yeah, JM Race. He's out of Texas. I uh, I don't know. John Junkman. He's always. Uh, he actually got me into training. He was. He got me on the spinner and doing hours on that thing behind the garage. But I don't know. He's just a good guy. Uh, spent a lot of time with him as amateur. But um, man, I don't know. Would you ask me the second question? Uh, second question, just uh, what's some of your favorite or most memorable races? Not necessarily like as your best races, but just maybe your most just gnarly, like grittiest races that you've had. What's your favorite? Uh, what's the one thing that sticks to mind where you're like, yeah, that was gnarly? I would have to say um, probably probably Southwick in um, 2011. Yeah, just just not being at the bike, not being at the gate, and oh, yeah. fair, you know, yeah. being down a whole lap and just having to – that that probably the one that sticks out just because it was just yeah. Yeah, I was in of... that race. You started a minute behind and you lapped me. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know you were kind of a Southwick guy too, Rarick. And he was fit. <laughs> and he was fit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, that was eleven years ago. Uh, Phil, I know. Phil, what were you doing? Uh, what were you? What were you? I was in Australia. Oh, you're in Australia. Mm -hmm. All right. Getting kicked mm -hmm. out at that point or no? Mm, not yet. Okay, not Close. yet. All right. Supercross right. only. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Skippy. Cheers, boys. Thanks for the call. Uh, next question from another Ryan. Uh, Ryan, what's up? What do you want to talk to Ryan Dungey about? Ryan, you there? 
Yeah, we're here. What's All right. going on, guys? Uh, what do you want to wanna talk to Ryan Dungey uh, about? Yeah, yeah, what's going on? I just wanted to say uh, it's pretty sweet seeing Ryan come back to uh, to the pro ranks after five years off. Got to say it takes some, uh, take some balls to do that. I don't think it's ever been done. If it has, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, props on that, man. Looking forward to uh, to you getting back out there. Got to say, man. I'll Thank be honest. You. When uh, when you were racing, you know, all through your all through your career, wasn't uh, wasn't the biggest fan. But I, I will say, man, when you show up to Paul around one, we'll be there. We'll be hanging over the fence, uh, cheering you on, man. So I hope you get out there and get after it. And yeah, I mean, top three, Absolutely. top three is a stretch, I think. But uh, hmm? if that happens, I think the fans are going to be going nuts for you. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank thanks, you. Thanks, Thank Ron. You. Thanks for the call. Yeah, and I remember when Wyndham came back in 03. I remember he'd been out a year and a half. and Dude, he, he was so good. And year. he took the lead at Glen Helen over, I don't know who it was, who he passed. And the crowd, I mean, this is a California crowd for Louisiana Wyndham. They were losing their minds. They yeah. loved him. Dungeon's going to be in that same position, Ryan. Yeah. You're going to have the fans on your side, I think, no matter what you do. People are going to love well, him. Well, no, I, that's my hope. <laughs> uh, Ryan Dungey brought to you by Renthal Renthal.com for more information please check that out of course and Renthal will be on uh, on the bike of Ryan Dungey yeah gonna be gonna be a fun summer uh, Dunge I got a well it's not a question but we were just talking about you know Supercross and Motocross champions going back to back and doing both like you and RV were the last ones to really do it but I mean your career from 07 to 2017 right yep mm-hmm. you, you <laughs> hardly missed any races steel city you broke your collarbone you missed one other broke, than that you missed the super cross with a broken collarbone mm, no 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 you got to no. plate it you came back with a plate it that's right you didn't even miss yeah. it well i pl- i, I plated it. it but i missed about i think i missed about five races oh that's oh, it. Yeah. did you okay yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. other yeah. than that you b- just unreal right. like to be able to do that day in a year and day after day and train it's just like well, uh, Coop, dude, Coop literally yeah. just finished talking about it, how gnarly it was. Yeah, like, you know? it, it, to, it's just, yeah. I don't even understand, man. Like, it's, yeah. No, at that fucking level. Like, it's, it, it never dropped off. No. You know what I mean? He stayed at th- that level the whole time. Th- that's the tip of the spear dude, for that long. Gnarly. Absolutely gnarly. Yeah. Well, it's getting it's getting harder, I, I would have to argue, too, because, mm. you know, I don't want to discredit where my position, but, like, you know, we had, you know, on a given weekend, three, four guys, we were, you know, now, now there's so many more guys that like this, the stress and the pressure of, man, if you don't get the start, if you, if you are buried in the pack, it's, it's a lot harder to, everything mm-hmm. is harder. I should say it's mm-hmm. getting harder. Yeah. So just evolution. I think it, that stress is going to, you know, you know, the rider by the end of the year, I mean, supercross and motocross, I, I will argue it's, it's still those back-to-back seasons. It's, it's heavy. I mean, and I think every rider would, would agree to that, but it's um, even more so by the time they get to the end of the season, granted they do the whole thing. Yeah. You're looking, yeah. you're looking mm-hmm. at a, you're looking to do a nice little vacation by that point. Yeah. But then even vacation, what is it a month? And then you're back at it. Is it the month of September or <laughs> you're kind of back yeah. testing, right? I mean, dude, yeah. I, I remember when I was a mechanic. The nations. And, yeah. And Monster, nations Cup. and Monster Cup. Right. And then, yeah. So what do you, when do you stop? Well, it's short. It's short too. I mean, I, that's kind of the. Whole, I remember asking. I, I asked Ricky this when I was younger. I I said, "How do you?" Because um, you know, you're you're in it every single week, and yeah. you're like, "Man, like you're you're thinking, what's wrong with me? Where's my motivation? You know, what? Why? Mm-hmm. Why I'm not? Why I'm not just like foaming at the mouth, as some people like put it? And and you're almost kind of dreading to go to another race. But he's like, "Dude, it's so short. Like you just got to make the most of it." And I just I always remember that. Like, okay, it's it's gonna be over. It's it's gonna be over before you know it. And and dude, it, that was that was 2010, and you know it's like yeah, how fast it all went. And me and my wife were just talking the other day. It's dude from 2010 to two th- till now. It's like I don't even know where time went. You know, <laughs> it's like you know the yeah. movies you used to watch from 2004. That's almost 20 years ago. Yeah. You're like, what no, happened? Yeah, no people. You know? I, I started doing a mechanic thing in '96, and people would be like, "Hey, do you remember this year?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, that was like five years ago." No, it was like. <laughs> 2005 <laughs> you know you're just like what yeah it's crazy. Dude, it is yeah. you know you're absolutely right ryan you're you're, you're absolutely but right on that anyway you got to make the most of it if you know yeah. well I, i'm looking forward to this and, and it, it's going to be a fun summer it, it's going to be great who's uh yeah. is your brother wrenching for you or who's who's your wrench no i actually uh i actually get coops guy oh my, wow uh, guy wow reunited Chico. Yeah, I was wondering about that because obviously AP's coming back, so your brother is done, right? And and Frankie, but Frankie's around, so I was thinking maybe Frankie. Is Frankie gonna do Cairoli? No, I don't well, think Frankie's, so. Uh, Frankie's uh, transitioning. Is he transitioning. Transitioning. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
So, all right. So, Carlos. Good. Yeah. Back I with Dunge. Use Carlos for the, for the summer, and then. Uh, well, you know. Uh, then and him and and then. Dunge's muffler just fell off. I don't know if I want. You know, I don't know if you're aware of that, but his <laughs> muffler just fell off. Like, so I don't know. <laughs> I, w- I was no, given I was given Carlos shit about it because like nothing happened. Carlos is a great mechanic. Yeah. Unreal. And, and I was a mechanic for a long time, and shit fell off my bike all the time. And when I saw the muffler fall <laughs> off, the time. it's not that I was happy that his muffler fell off, but I'm like, ah! It ah, happens. It happens. <laughs> it happens to everybody. Yeah, Even yeah, Carlos's yeah. muffler falls off. <laughs> so, you know uh, what I mean? I, yeah. Um, yeah. Coop, I'm sure Carlos had a... He probably was like... Oh, he was dark. Talk about it. <laughs> yeah. He was dark. You know what? <laughs> I, I asked him about it, and he's, he admitted it. He's like, I don't know. It was loose. It's always my, like he didn't have any excuse. Oh, yeah. yeah, he had no excuse. That's that's right. Carlos. He, right. He's straight straight shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was yeah. just happy to see another you know an elite guy have a part fall off his bike. So he's just like me, <laughs> you know. Come on. <laughs> uh, later on, Coop, I'll tell you about summer cross. Okay, so just buckle in. Yeah. I'll tell you about summer cross. And my greatest my greatest win as a mechanic. Yeah. Actually, did you know Coop, who took KTM? They're their first ever win in America. First ever win for KTM. I think, uh, Ram. Yeah. No, I actually don't. Dunge, who, you got you got a, you got a guess? The first like uh the first I, time. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say uh, Ramsey, but I don't but I don't I don't know if that's Wait, right. What was the question? What like a, the f- an AMA Supercross? AMA National or Supercross? Dude, uh, yeah, are they first serious? Pro win. How do they not know this? They don't know it. KTM's. Yeah. He, he, I, this mm. dumbass definitely doesn't know. Well, neither yeah, does Dunge. I, I thought Dunge yeah, would know. Coop has no doesn't. idea. Okay, Coop's well, not, Coop's not going to know who this rider is, dude. <laughs> no, he don't. <laughs> no, he okay, oh, uh, Kelly Smith. Oh, I was going to say that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, you were going to say that? I was going to say that, but I was thinking, like, the only thing he's, not to be a dick, but the only thing he's probably ever won is, like, a four-stroke national. No. Which... Oh, no, no. Dunge, you remember Kelly Smith? You, I'm sure I you do. I do remember. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> High Point 2000, boys. <laughs> Mathis, the Steve Mathis tuned. KTM really? 125 took the win. What were the moto scores? Oh. We this went, just justifies to Steve to bring it up for the next five years. Well, okay, so I asked Roger one time. I'm like, hey, if you ever – I took KTM – I got their first win. So if you ever – you know, if, you, if there's any sort of ceremony you want me to do or you want to make me a plaque or anything like – Like you should go to the Hall of Fame, not Rog. Kind of. Like I was saying like, <laughs> it was a mud race. So mud – what tests the mechanic did, more than mud race? What Travis go? DNF1, right? I don't know what he did. Okay, Seth. Uh, we went one four for the overall. Okay, one four. That's what you guys. Did. Yeah, I think so, Travis went DNF one. So there you go, Dunge. You know, I just want you a little KTM history for you I and Cooper not, Webb. Yeah, I did not know that. Um, now I do. Yep. Yep. So you know, whenever K- all Arita. your su- both Second. of your success started with me, <laughs> started with me, and then I it, it carried on. Yeah. Okay. I want to put a poll up on Twitter. Can we do this for the the uh, people? Yeah, we can do this. Dungey in his prime. Yep. Coop in his prime. Uh huh. Supercross title. Who who wins? Okay. All right. So we <laughs> Dunge. <laughs> so you want you you want your buddy Coop to lose this poll? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah, I might get two votes. <laughs> no. okay. I think it, I actually, yeah. yeah. I'm all right. curious about that. All right. We'll put that poll up. So mm. all right. Uh, anything else for Ryan Dungey? No. I mean, I just think, like I said earlier, yep. I think it's really cool. I think it takes a. I mean, it takes some balls, so, to be honest, and I and I admire that, and I appreciate that. And like you said, it's been five years, and as Phil said earlier, he's got plenty of money in the bank, and yeah, you know. So I think it's badass. Yeah, dude. If how about you give me some of your money? I'll go into retirement, and then you can come back and re-earn that money, and then it's we're we're good. You get a little extra motivation. There you go. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You guys. Um, you guys, no. <laughs> we, we, we're, we're just being dumb. Uh, yeah. All right, Dunge. Hey, thank you for calling in. Congratulations on this announcement. I think this is cool. I'm looking. I'm so looking forward to this, uh, dude. I can't wait for till he laps Phil this summer. Yeah, that's gonna yeah. be awesome. Dunge, I'll be back in Millville. Stay out of my way. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. I appreciate the support, guys. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for calling, Ryan. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, you guys have a good night. Thanks. Right, see, ya. see ya. That's Ryan Dunge, everybody. Brought to you by Renthal. Coming back. I actually didn't think about that till just now. He will be racing Dunge this summer. Yeah. That Phil, just clicked. Phil's triggered that he didn't get a three-digit. Yeah. So, yeah, right do, do you guys care? Because I don't. That's oh, ridiculous. I, I, about I, what, I the number thing? Yeah. No, dude. He, it's Ryan Dungey. Well, Come on. rules are rules, but I don't care. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. Just yeah. like Cairoli taking that guy's number. Right, right. Dude, yeah. it's Tony Cairoli. Right. Come right. on. Right. Even if someone did have his number, 
Yeah. They should put a five X on it, and then Dunge gets five. <laughs> a slash. You know, yeah, yeah. Dude, you get a slash. slash. What is this enduro yeah. racing? Yeah, yeah, no, it's like a local race. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah. the same number. Someone's getting right. an X or slash. Yeah, this yeah. guy, Sorry, this guy in my X. DMs, he was very angry that the rules were not followed. That Dunge is not three digits. So yeah. I'm just like, I don't know, man. People get pissed over anything. Yeah, obviously. like I don't. I have a lot of opinions on a lot of things. That one, I'm like totally fine. Yeah, with. It, oh yeah, hundred percent. If Stu wanted to come back. Sorry, AP, you're getting a slash. No, you know, see, no, I don't agree with that. If the guy has a number. <laughs> oh, fuck. Except for Jeremy. No, except, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, come on. Yeah, yeah. Jeremy, Jeremy bypasses anybody. Right, right. Oh, right, except right. for Jeremy? Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy I mean, I'm with you on the James thing. 100%. To AP has to give it up. I love AP, but dude, yeah. it's just James Stewart. We're talking about Jeremy McGrath, Ryan Dungeon. Come on, dude. It's okay. The number. All right, all right. Uh, all right, before we go to commercial break, Phil, do you know there's a real option for riders to avoid cleaning an air filter ever again? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you get a pre-oiled, yeah. ready-to-use pro filter. Mm. Take your old filter, you throw it away. Mm. Put the new oiled one in. Mm. Huh? I use them a lot at JGR, actually. Okay. Mm. Uh, sold through Power Sports Dealers nationwide. Uh, available for UTVs, dirt bikes, street bikes, and everything in between. Profilter.com. Pulp20 is the code to save with those guys. And also Maxima USA. Children, please calm Sorry. down. Uh, Maxima USA SC1. I love it. Uh, it's great. And uh, spray it everywhere I can, especially when I was a mechanic. And it made, really made my bike look like new. So it made me look like I did a bunch of work on it. MaximaUSA.com. Pulp 20 is the code to save. 927. Still the number one selling performance two-stroke oil in most markets around the world. And uh, really thank the folks at Maxima for helping us out. Pulp 20 is the code to save with Maxima USA. Suspension clean, contact clean, uh, MPPL. All of it. It's all great. All right. We're going to commercial break here. We're coming back with Jeremy Martin, who... Phil and J-Mart are now good, so we can discuss that. <laughs> God, you guys, up and down. Remember when I made a shirt with your with you on it? and he, mm -hmm, Ripped it off. So yeah. I bought a Phil <laughs> merch. I bought some Phil merch, wow. and, and I got J-Mart to put it on, and we actually we had to put tiny slits in it because it wouldn't rip. <laughs> so then J-Mart put it on, he ripped it off wow. for the camera. That's how bad the rivalry was at one point. That got us a lot of laughs, but you guys are good now. Mm -hmm. I never knew you had merch, to be honest. It was a long time ago. I never knew that. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, Travis went 16-1 at High Point 2000, according to Lee McCollum. Six, okay, yeah, I knew wow. it was a bad first moto. Yeah, well, yeah. Kelly Smith, 1-4, <laughs> took the win. Solid. Yeah, absolutely, thank you. Uh, we're not going to mention that in the first moto, Travis was checking out when his spark plug cap. Okay, that's what I, that's what I remember. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, I you know that. what, though? My spark plug cap stayed on, Lee, so yours didn't. All right. Go to commercial break here. We'll be right back. Sure. Cooper Webb, Phil Nicoletti, Seth Rarick in studio. Jeremy Martin coming up. Chris Blose. We got the Yamaha raffle as well. We cut the sales off, Marks, right? Yes, we and did. And we, uh, we have a total, or you're going to get a total. Nope, got it already. You got the total. I do, yeah. I sent it to you. Should we add to that Twitter poll, like Lee McCollum, Steve Mathis? No, no, no. <laughs> did, did, do, Pete, do we have the Twitter poll up? Negative. He yeah, thought oh, he will. will. You, so... One thing about the guy in the corner there. No, I think that would be a good battle. Coop, he loves his prime Ryan Dungey. Dun yeah. So he loves that Ryan Dungey. That is actually Dungey. a good one, yeah. So let's put he's that out. He's touching himself thinking about it right now. Ryan no, I'm already, no, I'm already done. Yeah. Can we what? Can we Finished. what? I mean, if we're, before this commercial break, I'm, I'm actually genuinely interested. Let's bench race before we go to commercial. Okay. Mm. Steve. Yeah. Ryan Dungey, Paula round one, Moto scores. Okay, so this came up already once. Uh, I hope he's not listening to the show. He's yeah, it's tough. It's probably not. But jumping in, like 7-7, seven, 7-6. Seven, yeah, seven, I mean, yep. I'm saying 7-8. I eight. think he'll be happy with that, too. Yeah, yeah. you're just, you're just jumping in. Yeah. 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 I think, what do yeah. you got? Yeah, I think 5-8 to eight range. Like you said, 7-7 seven, seven, I think is yeah. a solid day. Um, and I would – if he wins – he'll get better. If yeah. he wins, I will be very surprised. I will eat my words. He yeah. can. He's gnarly. But when you look at Damon Bradshaw, Mike Krodowski – uh, uh, anybody that's come back after time. Villo came back at Monster Cup. I mean, it was a one-off race, but still, Villo comes back at Monster Cup. It, it is tough to do. This would be a question for Clinton, but what was who took the longest break and came back with Bradshaw, right? Well, it depends if you, how much you mean by, like, because Mark Barnett took four years off, too. Like, yes, yeah, that was out of, that's before right, my time. Th there's a lot of guys that did that. If you look at the, the vault, there's some guys that came back, like, when <laughs> JoJo. JoJo came back. Yeah, but I mean, like know. a legit comeback, like okay. this. factory that's, equipment, train, that's, doing the. Whole yeah, series. that's a different yeah, question, yeah, yeah. right? Right. Uh, so, all right. So, we're, do you think he can win though, for real? Great, great, great radio. <laughs> Fuck, great, great, he's great waffling radio. so hard. I don't. Yeah, we'll I just know. We'll I, problem is, we'll I raced Dungeon is Prime, so I know how that how he is. I just don't know how do you. I don't know how you get back to that when you're out of it because the intensity is the, the thing. When you're in it every week, you take that for granted. 
you know. Um, I don't know. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Coop. That's my teammate, dude. I can't say. Okay. Dude. Nah. Um, can he win? Are we saying races, championship, just races, win anything? Races. It's a tall order. It is. I agree. <laughs> I'm going to say can he win? Like, can he? Yes. But will he? I don't think so. Yeah. If he does. Holy shit, that's a story. Well, if he does, it's Dude. unbelievable. It's, yeah. it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. 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 That's if like he... a Rocky type story. Oh, know? yeah. It's, yeah. It, 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 <laughs> when I was a kid, I thought Rocky was a real person. <laughs> Dude, we amazing. all thought Rocky was a real okay, person. Okay, so before we go to commercial break, the raffle is closed. The Yamaha LCQ raffle is closed, and I'm going to get to this race. We're going to talk more about it later in the show. You guys all watched it. Including the side bets that we had, all the prop bets, all the contingency bets. You know, we had like Lee McCollum throwing in a thousand bucks and listeners throwing in a thousand bucks, Courtney Lloyd, all these people, including all of that money, Atlas, FXR, you know, guys like mm -hmm. that. It's $135,461. Are you shitting yes. me? Yes. Yeah. So, wow. and the money up for grabs from you people in the raffle, $126,300 divided by 22 guys. Divided up in 22 guys. Wow. Yeah. Really cool. Thank yeah, you, everybody. Awesome. Thank you to Yamaha. Thank you to Blowfish for hangovers and everybody. So we're going to give away a bike tonight. We're going to uh, give away. We're going to announce our prop bet winners and more uh, from the Yamaha LCQ Challenge. But first up, we're going to have Jeremy Martin on the other side of this commercial break. So stick around. Be right back. Thanks for listening. And if I'm fucking sprayed eagle, it was, you know, if I'm doing some, like, dirty shit or whatever. Mm-hmm. Those who love motocross know motorsport.com has the knowledge and expertise to make your next ride your best ride. Motorsport.com has a broad selection of in-stock parts and gear at competitive prices. We specialize in bringing you OEM and aftermarket parts, riding gear and accessories for dirt bikes, motorcycles, ATVs, and UTVs. All thanks to the most dedicated and experienced team of gearheads in the industry who use the very parts we sell on motorsport.com. Motosport.com always offers fast shipping and free delivery on orders more than $79 to ensure you never miss a ride. Whether you race on the track, ride the trails, or commute on the street, shop Motosport.com today for the best customer service and experience when buying the parts and gear you need to stay on two and four wheels. Make your next ride your best ride only at Motosport.com. Steve. Kiefer. You want to hear about one of the best rides I've ever had? Dude, it's not time for After Dark yet. <sighs> Chill down, dude. I just want to talk about Race Tech stuff. Oh, that's it. Okay, Gosh, go Gosh, man. Basically, I've had the chance to do some stuff with Race Tech recently with the CRF 250R and, of course, the KX250. And as you know, I've talked about on the show, I wasn't a real hardcore fan of Race Tech stuff back in the day. But since Rob and Andrew and those guys have assembled at Race Tech, the stuff has been great. So uh, for you guys out there listening... You guys are looking to get your engine work done or even some suspension work. Or as Steven says on the show sometimes, get your seals and <laughs> your oil rebuilt in your, fork, in your fork and shock. Get it rebuilt. It helps. 15 to 20 hours. Head over to Racetech.com. Check out. They even got a cool little simulator. You can look at uh, what size spring rate you might need for your bike. So a lot of cool features over there on the website. But uh, And as you know, Yamaha Blue Crew guy over here, you guys have some of that on your bike. It's fantastic. Zombie Blos uses it. Jerry Robin uses it. Starling, all of those guys over there. Malcolm Stewart won a Supercross with Race Tech stuff a few years ago. Pulp 19 is the code to save. Mention Pulp MX when you when you call. You can save on the service. You can save save on motor work. You can save on springs if you just want to do that and get it put in yourself or do it yourself. Race Tech is the one stop shopping for motor and suspension work. You can also mention the code Home Life 2020. That's better. That's a better code, I think. We'll do either one. Just <laughs> listen, people. Give your bike some love. Get your suspension modified service. Get your motor modified serviced with the folks at Race Tech. Good people. Love the guys at Works Connection. They continue as a 10-year sponsor of this show because, yeah, just like you, they're committed to the sport for 33 years. They've been designing and distributing leading-edge performance products like the Elite Axle Blocks. Elite Clutch Perch Pro Launch Start Device for performance, radiator braces and skid plates for protection, along with a shock pump, attack, hour meter, and more for maintenance. Works Connection, great guys up there in NorCal, and super cool company. I'm more stoked to be uh, associated with them. When you take a look around the AMA pitch, you'll see Works Connection proving ground for products under the canopies 
of Team Honda, HRC, Star Racing, and other top teams. And they, the best part of this whole deal is if you use the code PULPAMX20, you get 20% off your order. Visit your local dealer, check out motorsport.com, and uh, ask them to see the Works Connection product line for 2022. Great company, great products. Check it out. Thanks to Works Connection for coming on the show. PULPAMX20, the code to save. With 80 years of experience manufacturing power sports pistons right here in the USA, Weisco has evolved into a full range of performance components for dirt bikes and other power sports machines. Whether you ride a two-stroke or a four-stroke, Weisco has a variety of pistons from reliable forged replacements to the performance-focused Racer Elite series. Weisco has recently expanded our Racer Elite line with SX and MX proven USA-made connecting rods. Now adding to the Garage Buddy re- build kits, clutch and valve train components, and our CV4 thermal protection line. This makes Weisco your single stop performance name. Visit your favorite online or local dealer or Weisco.com to find products for your machine. Maxima Racing Oils was created for world-class racers who challenge the limits of possibility. Their demands on equipment drive us to look beyond conventional ideas and to exceed industry standards. It's in our DNA to identify problems, formulate solutions, and execute at the highest levels of competition. Case in point, the championship-winning Factory Kawasaki Race Team, longtime Maxima partners who extensively use Maxima throughout the bike. Maxima's USA-made products exceed JSO requirements and can be used in all motorcycle brands. Kawasaki, Honda, Yamaha, Suzuki, KTM, Husqvarna, and more. Maxima Racing Oils. Experience the difference. Visit MaximaUSA.com for more information. In 1990, my dad, Jamie Gregg, started Guts Racing. Guts stands for Gregg's Ultra Trick Seats, because I was just a little kid that wanted a trick seat. And if you're out there looking for a trick seat, go to GutsRacing.com, your local dealer, or Motosport and place your order. Support the people that support Pulp MX. You can use Pulp 2022 for 20% off at GutsRacing.com. FMF Racing is proud to celebrate over 45 years of fun, building every FMF exhaust right here in the USA. Owner and founder Don Emler may have started FMF Racing in his garage 45 years ago, but Don is still hands-on in our 100,000 square foot state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Southern California. FMF's goal? Design and manufacture the world's best performance exhausts, 100% in the USA under one roof. FMF is a proud sponsor of the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship for over 25 years. Max Superfan Dylan here. The only thing I love more than seeing Eli win... Whoa, wait, Dylan. Sorry to cut you off like Steve does his callers and guests, but a lot has changed. Similar to your favorite rider being on a new team, the new Michelin Starcross 6 tire range provides significantly improved performance and durability. Designed to win. The new Michelin Starcross 6 tire range offers up to 16% more traction when new and up to 19% more traction when worn in comparison to the previous generation. This means consumers will not only benefit from improved performance on their first few rides, but that this performance increase will continue throughout the extended life of the tire. Michelin is a legendary innovator in motorcycle tire technology, and thanks to Michelin Silica technology, the Michelin Starcross 6 tire range provides up to 11% more durability than the previous generation. This means consumers will enjoy the significantly improved performance throughout the increased life of the tire. Take it from me as I too have to buy my own tires. This added value is great news. The new Michelin Starcross 6 tire range is available in six versions, specifically sand, mud, medium soft, medium hard, and hard versions with the naming designation corresponding to the type of terrains and conditions where the tires were designed to win. Another innovation is the Michelin adaptive design with specific positioning of the tread blocks in three zones, central, intermediate, and lateral zones with the single goal to offer exceptional grip for the front tire and exceptional grip, traction, and longevity for the rear. 
To learn more about the new Michelin Starcross 6 tire line and all the quality products that Michelin offers for motorcycle segments that Steve cares nothing about, visit michelinman.com slash motorcycle. And then visit your local dealer or online retailer to choose Michelin product to maximize your riding experiences. Also, too, also too make sure to follow at Michelin Motorcycle on Instagram and Facebook. Attention riders, welcome aboard the all-new Atlas Vision. We hope you enjoy the added mobility, quicker flight time, and additional views. Please follow along as we outline the safety features of this revolutionary device. The first thing you will notice is the added headroom. The fore and aft positions no longer come with annoying restrictions, so feel free to move about the cabin. Quicker flight times can be achieved by unmatched comforts and unencumbered movements. Yes, we're built for speed and comfort. And now available to all customers is a 360 panoramic view. Go ahead and look around the cabin. These new angles are available at no additional charge. Located on the underside of the frame is the gold standard of impact absorption, D3O. In the event we accidentally take a trip to Indonesia, we suggest that you remain with your neck in the underextended position and allow this proven material to do its job by reducing the forces over 50% better than ever before. Although the Atlas Vision will not be noticeable, it will be there when you need it. If you are riding with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your vision first and then assist the other person with a prodigy, type, or brawl. We ask that you keep your brace on until your moto is finished. We remind you that Atlas makes flexible neck protection. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the product is prohibited by the limited lifetime warranty. You will find this and all other safety information in the user manual located online at atlasbrace.com. At this time, we ask that you remain standing with throttles in a wide open position with your elbows up and hips fully unlocked. Whatever that means. On behalf of the captain and entire crew, thank you for flying Atlas Vision. Enjoy the views. For over 30 years, Decal Works has led the industry in quality and customer service by offering the best custom motocross graphics, plastics, seat covers, and Rider ID products. Decal Works is officially licensed with Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Suzuki, KTM, Husqvarna, and Gas Gas. Their expert staff will go above and beyond to make sure your questions are answered. Decal Works is a proud sponsor of Red Bull KTM Factory Racing and the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna Factory Off-Road Team. Visit decalmx.com and be sure to use promo code PULPMX at checkout. Quality, service, and knowledge is what makes Decal Works stand out. Decal Works, number one for many reasons. Those who love motocross know motorsport.com has the knowledge and expertise to make your next ride your best ride. Motorsport.com has a broad selection of in-stock parts and gear at competitive prices. We specialize in bringing you OEM and aftermarket parts, riding gear and accessories for dirt bikes, motorcycles, ATVs, and UTVs. All thanks to the most dedicated and experienced team of gearheads in the industry who use the very parts we sell on motorsport.com. Motosport.com always offers fast shipping and free delivery on orders more than $79 to ensure you never miss a ride. Whether you race on the track, ride the trails, or commute on the street, shop Motosport.com today for the best customer service and experience when buying the parts and gear you need to stay on two and four wheels. Make your next ride your best ride only at Motosport.com. Maxima Racing Oils was created for world-class racers who challenge the limits of possibility. Their demands on equipment drive us to look beyond conventional ideas and to exceed industry standards. It's in our DNA to identify problems, formulate solutions, and execute at the highest levels of competition. Case in point, the championship-winning Factory Kawasaki Race Team, longtime Maxima partners who extensively use Maxima throughout the bike. Maxima's USA-made products exceed JSO requirements and can be used in all motorcycle brands. Kawasaki, Honda, Yamaha, Suzuki, KTM, Husqvarna, and more. Maxima Racing Oils. Experience the difference. Visit MaximaUSA.com for more information. Max Superfan Dylan here. The only thing I love more than seeing Eli win. Whoa, wait, Dylan. 
Sorry to cut you off like Steve does his callers and guests, but a lot has changed. Similar to your favorite rider being on a new team, the new Michelin Starcross 6 tire range provides significantly improved performance and durability. Designed to win. The new Michelin Starcross 6 tire range offers up to 16% more traction when new and up to 19% more traction when worn in comparison to the previous generation. This means consumers will not only benefit from improved performance on their first few rides, but that this performance increase will continue throughout the extended life of the tire. Michelin is a legendary innovator in motorcycle tire technology, and thanks to Michelin Silica technology, the Michelin Starcross 6 tire range provides up to 11% more durability than the previous generation. This means consumers will enjoy the significantly improved performance throughout the increased life of the tire. Take it from me as I too have to buy my own tires. This added value is great news. The new Michelin Starcross 6 tire range is available in six versions, specifically sand, mud, medium soft, medium hard, and hard versions with the naming designation corresponding to the type of terrains and conditions where the tires were designed to win. Another innovation is the Michelin adaptive design with specific positioning of the tread blocks in three zones, central, intermediate, and lateral zones with the single goal to offer exceptional grip for the front tire and exceptional grip, traction, and longevity for the rear. To learn more about the new Michelin Starcross 6 tire line and all the quality products that Michelin offers for motorcycle segments that Steve cares nothing about, visit michelinman.com motorcycle. And then visit your local dealer or online retailer to choose Michelin product to maximize your riding experiences. Also, too, also too make sure to follow at Michelin Motorcycle on Instagram and Facebook. Love the guys at Works Connection. They continue as a 10-year sponsor of this show because, yeah, just like you, they're committed to the sport for 33 years. They've been designing and distributing leading-edge performance products like the Elite Axle Blocks, Elite Clutch Perch, Pro Launch Start Device for performance, radiator braces and skid plates for protection, along with a shock pump, attack, hour meter, and more for maintenance. Works Connection, great guys up there in NorCal, and super cool company. I'm more stoked to be uh, associated with them. When you take a look around the AMA pitch, you'll see Works Connection proving ground for products under the canopies of Team Honda, HRC, Star Racing, and other top teams, and they've the best part of this whole deal is if you use the code PULPAMX20, you get 20% off your order. Visit your local dealer, check out motorsport.com, and uh, ask them to see the Works Connection product line for 2022. Great company, great products. Check it out. Thanks to Works Connection for coming on the show. PULPAMX20, the code to save. FMF Racing is proud to celebrate over 45 years of fun. Building every FMF exhaust right here in the USA. Owner and founder Don Emler may have started FMF racing in his garage 45 years ago, but Don is still hands-on in our 100,000 square foot state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Southern California. FMF's goal? Design and manufacture the world's best performance exhausts, 100% in the USA under one roof. FMF is a proud sponsor of the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship for over 25 years. Steve. Kiefer. You want to hear about one of the best rides I've ever had? Dude, it's not time for After Dark yet. <sighs> Chill down, dude. I just want to talk about Race Tech stuff. Oh, that's it. Okay. Gosh, go man. Basically, I've had the chance to do some stuff with Race Tech recently with the CRF 250R and, of course, the KX250. And as you know, I've talked about on the show, I wasn't a real hardcore fan of Racetech stuff back in the day. But since Rob and Andrew and those guys have assembled at Racetech, the stuff has been great. So um, for you guys out there listening, if you guys are looking to get your engine work done or even some suspension work, or as Steven says on the show sometimes, get your seals and <laughs> your oil rebuilt in your, fork, in your fork and shock. Get it rebuilt. It helps. 15 to 20 hours. Head over to Racetech.com. Check out. They even got a cool little simulator. You can look at uh, what size spring rate you might need for your bike. So a lot of cool features over there on the website. But uh, And as you know, Yamaha Blue Crew guy over here, you guys have some of that on your bike. It's fantastic. Zombie Blows uses it. Jerry Robin uses it. Starling, all of those guys over there. Malcolm Stewart won a Supercross with Race Tech stuff a few years ago. Pulp 19 is the code to save. Mention Pulp MX when you, when you call. You can save on the service. You can save, so, save on motor work. You can save on springs if you just want to do that and get it put in yourself or do it yourself. Racetech is the one-stop shopping for motor and suspension work. 
You can also mention the code Home Life 2020. That's better. That's a better code, I think. We'll do either one. Just <laughs> listen, people. Give your bike some love. Get your suspension modified, service. Get your motor modified, serviced with the folks at Race Tech. Good people. With 80 years of experience manufacturing power sports pistons right here in the USA, Weisco has evolved into a full range of performance components for dirt bikes and other power sports machines. Whether you ride a two-stroke or a four-stroke, Weisco has a variety of pistons from reliable forged replacements to the performance-focused Racer Elite series. Weisco has recently expanded our Racer Elite line with SX and MX proven USA-made connecting rods. Now adding to the Garage Buddy Rebuild kits, clutch and valve train components, and our CV4 thermal protection line. This makes Weisco your single stop performance name. Visit your favorite online or local dealer or Weisco.com to find products for your machine. For over 30 years, Decal Works has led the industry in quality and customer service by offering the best custom motocross graphics, plastics, seat covers, and rider ID products. Decal Works is officially licensed with Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Suzuki, KTM, Husqvarna, and Gas Gas. Their expert staff will go above and beyond to make sure your questions are answered. Decal Works is a proud sponsor of Red Bull KTM Factory Racing and the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna Factory Off-Road Team. Visit decalmx.com and be sure to use promo code PULPMX at checkout. Quality, service, and knowledge is what makes Decal Works stand out. Decal Works, number one for many reasons. In 1990, my dad, Jamie Gregg, started Guts Racing. Guts stands for Gregg's Ultra Trick Seats, because I was just a little kid that wanted a trick seat. And if you're out there looking for a trick seat, go to GutsRacing.com, your local dealer, or motorsport and place your order. Support the people that support Pulp MX. You can use Pulp 2022 for 20% off at gutsracing.com. Attention riders, welcome aboard the all new Atlas Vision. We hope you enjoy the added mobility, quicker flight time and additional views. Please follow along as we outline the safety features of this revolutionary device. The first thing you will notice is the added headroom. The fore and aft positions no longer come with annoying restrictions, so feel free to move about the cabin. Quicker flight times can be achieved by unmatched comforts and unencumbered movements. Yes, we're built for speed and comfort. And now available to all customers is a 360 panoramic view. Go ahead and look around the cabin. These new angles are available at no additional charge. Located on the underside of the frame is the gold standard of impact absorption, D3O. In the event we accidentally take a trip to Indonesia, we suggest that you remain with your neck in the underextended position and allow this proven material to do its job by reducing the forces over 50% better than ever before. Although the Atlas Vision will not be noticeable, it will be there when you need it. If you are riding with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your vision first and then assist the other person with a prodigy, type, or brawl. We ask that you keep your brace on until your moto is finished. We remind you that Atlas makes flexible neck protection. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the product is prohibited by the limited lifetime warranty. You will find this and all other safety information in the user manual located online at atlasbrace.com. At this time, we ask that you remain standing with throttles in the wide open position with your elbows up and hips fully unlocked. Whatever that means. On behalf of the captain and entire crew, thank you for flying Atlas Vision. Enjoy the views. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Paul Mech Show presented by Motorsport.com. Uh, Fly Racing and the folks at Decal Works. Uh, got a great in-studio uh, guest here, Cooper Webb, Phil Nicoletti, Seth Rarick. Phil, how's Coop doing so far, you think? I think I think he's been good. I think, I think he blew the cobwebs off. Yeah. I think he feels better. His okay. palms aren't as sweaty anymore. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think he thought he was getting interrogated in here, but right. yeah, he got the he heat race out of the way, you know? He yeah, will. Will. yeah, good. yeah. no, we, you know, I mean. Ready for the main. Coop. We always ride a little tight Coop. in the heat race. I know. Like, I know, Coop, like, you need more publicity and you need to get more noticed by the fans and stuff, but I know this is all is your big goal, but we've really helped Phil. Uh, the Pulp Show has really <laughs> helped Phil. He's made a career of it. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, yeah, so Phil, you know, again, the Pulp Show and everything else has really done a lot for you. And now we're going to bring Pulp Nation to Coop. Yeah, and now right. Pulp That's Nation. Pulp I don't Nation know what you're talking about. I think Coop's a social butterfly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at races, you don't – whenever I – like, on track walk, or, like, you're very serious. You, there's, mm. there's no – do you guys agree? <clears throat> like and on race day? Yeah. Serious? Oh, yeah. 
No? Okay, I don't no, know him as well as you guys. Well, no. I, no, well, obviously not. I'm going to go in there, but yeah. I'm saying out to the public. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, when, yeah, I, yeah. when I see him, a track walk or, yeah, yeah. you know, through the pits, he's very it's serious business. on race day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. when he's in the semi walls, it's right. loose. But then, like, you know, I, we have so many mutual friends from Weege and these idiots or whatever. They're like, no, Coop's rad. But yeah, yeah. on race day, yeah. yeah. I can yeah, respect he, that. Right. He's a rad personality. Yeah. You were rad yesterday about 3 p.m. Hey, before we get Jeremy Martin on the show, uh, thanks to the folks at Michelin. Uh, the Starcross 6 is out there, uh, featuring Michelin Adaptive Design. Offers up to 16% more traction when new and up to 19% more traction when worn. i got to get a set of these Michelin Starcross 6s for my Blue Crew in the garage, even though I haven't ridden since before Anaheim 1. <laughs> Dude, it's been rough, okay? It happens to the best of It us. does. Uh, six versions, sand, mud, medium, soft, medium, hard, hard versions. Michelin.com motor slash more, motorcycle to learn more. About the folks at Michelin, the Starcross Six. There's reviews about also by our by our own Chris Kiefer uh, out there as well on PulpMX.com on on RacerX as well. The Michelin Starcross Six, get them, and uh, you'll stick to the track like glue. Uh, so far in our poll on Twitter, 227 votes on who was better, so Brian hot. Dungey or Cooper Webb. Peak mm-hmm. Supercross, 75 percent say Dungey wins. Yeah, that's... really yeah. 75. 75. Wow. Again, though, I think that's just back to a fan thing. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. No, I think well, it's. I mean, I, I think statistics a little bit. I think too. no, no. I'm saying it, it. It just should be closer. You know what I mean? But I think it's just because of fan. I don't know. I feel like well, no, no. Definitely should be closer. It's, it's the old yeah, thing exactly. about yeah. exactly. It should be. It's closer. the old thing about too. So Webb's racing right now, and it's the old thing like Dunge is gnarly, and then if you, Bob Hanna. Yeah, five like, years from now they, it'll be the yes, other way yeah, around. Yeah, five years right, from right, now. Right, yeah. yeah, when when he's Fair measured enough. up against uh, Chase Sexton. Five years from now, it's going to be like, Coop was way gnarlier than Chase yeah, Sexton. Yeah, yeah. Everyone wants to go to the old guys mm-hmm. being tougher and gnarlier. Correct. Right? right? I give Dunge credit for saying what he said about today's competition versus... Yeah. That was... Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. He, he, was, yeah. You know, he kind of acknowledged it a little mm-hmm, bit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. So I respect that. No, yeah, I agree. So... Are you kidding me? Firepower <laughs> Parts. Uh, thanks to the folks at Firepower. Uh, they have the featherweight lithium uh, batteries. They got chains made in Japan as well. Uh, a lot of privateer guys. Club MX using Firepower batteries. Mm-hmm. Chiz using the chains and batteries. Firepowerparts.com. Don't waste money when replacing OEM batteries or chains when you can get more power and supreme reliability by choosing Firepower. Fire, follow them at, at Firepower Parts. Instagram at Firepower Parts. Of course, Marty. Marty is a Firepower Parts rider. Is I thought we'd see Marty. I thought we'd see Marty. What racing? racing? Yeah. Marty doesn't look like he, he's okay. Racing. He's a little above <laughs> his. He's a little above his fighting weight. Yeah. <laughs> but but you know, I just thought maybe he'd jump because I he still rides. He still tests and stuff. Yeah. But, you know, I'm he sure he can go. I'm sure he too. can lay down a lap. I bet you he can lay down a lap <laughs> like no other. So, uh, Firepower Parts Honda, of course, with Jordan Smith and uh, and Jared Fry. Uh, so please check that out as well. Um, and uh, and much more uh, from the Firepower Parts guy. They, they do good work over there. Our next guest on the show, he is a two-time 250 motocross champion. He's brought to you by Wisco. Speaking of Club MX, they use Wisco, Factory Honda, uh, RMATV. Uh, used to use Wisco, SGB uh, as well with A-Ray and Cade. Whether you're at a two-stroke or a four-stroke, Wisco is a variety of pistons from reliable forge replacements to the performance-focused Racer Elite Series. they got the Garage Buddy rebuild kits. Uh, there's a there's an email on pulpamexshow.com. For Wisecode, if you want to get a show deal, simply uh, send us an email or send them an email. Tell them you listen to Pulp. They'll give you a deal on Wisco Pistons. Uh, visit your favorite online uh, guy like motorsport.com, your local dealer, Wisco.com, to find products for your machine. All right, let's bring our next guest in here. Like I said, he's two-time motocross champion. He's uh, Star Racing's Jeremy Martin. What's up, Jay Martin? How are you? What's going on, boys? How are we doing? We're good, man. Uh, Webb's in studio, and he's been like just a, a radio natural, Jay Martin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that, that's good. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> um, uh, hey, so so you and Phil are okay now. You guys went. It was good. You were training buddies, Omera, all of that, and then things went south with your relationship. Hi, Jeremiah. What's up, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> and so now things are good again. Dude, that's just the ebbs and flows of life, man, in the sport of motocross. It's yeah. more the ebbs you know, and you flows can... of Phil Nicolay. <laughs> yeah, is it, is be it, honest, uh, J-Mart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it the ebbs and flows of being friends with Phil? Yeah, well, you know, Phil Phil still owes me some rent money, and then, uh, you know, I'm still a little <laughs> bitter about him uh, 
beating my ass in the kitchen floor in the house we rented in California, and my elbow got cut open. So, you know. <laughs> I forgot about it. That's a good toss-up. Uh, so, Phil, you, you've, you've fought with a lot of your friends over the years. It's no. Some ups and downs. No, no, no. Coop, have you ever been pissed at him? Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah, like you guys had it out? Mm. Mm. Dude, I mean, it's a yeah. roller coaster ride being friends with this guy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah. it's it's a lot for real. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I'm gonna get into your treatment of troll and uh Enzo yeah, later on the show. Go. So I'm gonna get into that here also. Uh but J Mart, um so yeah, you know what? I thought you were coming back for some of the end of the nationals. Uh obviously uh-huh. you, you hurt your shoulder, but not gonna do it. Got fixed, uh uh got your shoulder fixed and gonna take the uh, the nationals off and uh and also too, you uh you got some news to break for us. Yeah, I got some news, and I figured out no better place to, to break the news than on Pulp MX and yeah. uh, come out come out and say I signed uh, with Club MX Yamaha. Wow, there we go. We mm-hmm. we even got a photo, don't we? We got a photo. Yeah, it's on screen. Yeah, it's on the screen, it. right? Um, congrats, man. That's awesome. That's really good. Uh, though you're gonna be teammates with where's the picture with Phil? It's on our YouTube. Screen. Not here. No, huh. Sorry. I don't get to see it. I'll be Sorry, teammates t- teammates with Phil C- Filthy, so that'll be fun and. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to him kind of bashing me during the week there on the Supercross track. Yeah, um, obviously it didn't. This year didn't go out the way you wanted to. We we talked to you about that. We've had you on the show before. What led you to club? What uh, attracted you to it? Talk about that a little bit. Like who who reached out and, and what did they offer and why did you go that way for next year? Yeah, so um, Brandon reached out to me and he was pretty aggressive right away. And I think one of the things that I really liked about it was. Uh, the facility, for one, is it's really good. They have a ton of supercross tracks, um, you know, and I think looking at my career and how things have been the last two or three years with with the injuries and stuff like that, I just need I need a change. I need something different, um, and I felt like at this point in my life, I think that that would be like Yamaha, and I have a little bit more say in – kind of what goes into uh, the motorcycle. So mm-hmm. I was pretty excited about that. And then um, just, just, I just need something different. I mean, I, I come back, I get up to speed, I, you know, hit the deck and run out of talent. And then, you know, <laughs> I, I get healthy and then I come back and then it's, I'm kind of in this cycle. So I just need to kind of do something different. That was the whole thing of this. I can understand that, huh? Mm-hmm. Like, like just a, like you talked about with Dunge a little bit or, or you talked about him, like changing it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Um, uh, and, but, but the Yamaha is a good bike. There's no doubt. It's a good platform. Um, and you're going to stay on 250, J Mark? Yep. So I'll be 250 next year. I chose to do 250 again all next year because, um, like I said, like I haven't finished a complete season in a while. So I kind of felt like for me, that was pretty important that you finish a full year and you kind of build before you go into the 450 class and do 17 rounds on a on a big boy on a big boy bike. Right, right. Did, did you have the option uh, to ride 450 for club, Jeremy? Absolutely, I did you have did. the okay. option. Okay, so so you chose yep. to stay down. Yep, I have a lot of freedom in this deal. So that was another thing that was pretty appealing to me um, was just 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 being able to have the freedom and and not feel like. Um, I'm really thankful for, for everything Star did, and they were really aggressive to try to kind of get me again for next year. But like I said, I just needed a change. Yeah, I was a little shook uh, when we were texting last weekend. You said you were um, – I don't remember exactly what you said. I just know you said you were staying 250 all next year because I've been here in club, 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 and you said 250. I'm I, like, oh, he's going to PC. I thought 450 for club too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. I'm, last week we were texting. He said yeah. two fifty. Yeah. Then I was like, "Oh, PC for sure." Right. So yeah, I'm a little surprised yeah. by this one, Jeremy. But I'm happy for you. Yeah, dude. I, I called Mitch um, and uh, played the phone tag, and then I, he didn't get back to me. But uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm excited about this deal, and uh, you know, see, we'll see what we'll see what it brings. And uh, the best part is your teammates with Phil. I mean, Phil, hmm. what what are your thoughts on this? It'll be interesting. Got another Martin to deal with. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not happy about that, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, shit comes full circle. It'll be fun next year. I'm I'm a little bummed. German's got his contract done, and I'm sitting over here twiddling my thumbs. Oh, but, uh, oh wow, they, they got okay. the priority there. A little, little bit of jealousy. Right. And yeah, yeah, priority. So is what it is. I guess I'm old man on the totem pole. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're looking at, like, you know, someone's ceiling, you got to think Phil outweighs J. Martin. Right? 100%. I mean, Phil, I mean I that's a fucking no-brainer. I know. How are you not signed first? This is bullshit. i got to call Brandon, dude. Yeah, I, right. How are you not on Mitch Payton's team, yeah, Phil? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 
fucking bullshit. Well, I think Phil's yeah. probably going to Star, though. That's yeah. That's why they're yeah. stopping. Yeah, yeah I, I, I can see that. I'm out of here. Uh, no, uh, Jim Mar- yeah, it's, so is it, is it just for next year, or did you sign two, or can you tell us? All I did was a one-year deal, yep. um, and that's just what I wanted for right now, and then I guess we'll just kind of see how things go next year, and then um, obviously, um, depending on how things go, um, there's definitely a future there, and that was pretty exciting for me, too, with club, mm-hmm. like, it's um, in a stage to where it's getting better and more steam and we can build the team together um, and hopefully make this thing a pretty, a pretty exciting big deal here in the future. Yeah. I got a feel for you. You know, you, you went back to star and, and, and you showed great speed at times, but yeah, couldn't stay healthy. Right. And then every time you get injured, you get knocked back down off that treadmill. You got to get back on it, get up to speed. Like it's a tough deal, man. It really is. And, you know, you were you were battling the donut boy uh, last summer, and, and, and you know, and looking good, and then an injury, and then yeah, like it's just, I don't know, man. Sometimes it's got to be so frustrating for you. Uh yeah, it's pretty frustrating. I think last year when um, you know Will and and Seth were there in the beginning of the outdoor series, and I went down in uh, Denver in Colorado. I remember having a conversation with them, and I should have bit the bullet then and got the shoulder fixed mm-hmm. um, and the wrist, but. Uh, I think I was just, I just wanted to be out there so bad because when I broke my back, I missed so much time. And, uh, and then even in the Supercross season when my shoulder came out, I just wanted to be out there. So, uh, you know, I guess I learned a good lesson, you know. <laughs> I'm glad you got that fixed or that thing fixed, dude, because I knew that was just a, a, a time bomb, you know. Yeah, it was brutal. Yeah, it's one of those things where you, you're riding hurt, you're not up to your potential, but then again, you want to keep riding. Well, Coop, you spoke about that this, just, just this year, where you probably should have missed some races. And you're like, no, I want to go out there. I want to be out there. And then it starts this downward spiral of, of yeah. stuff, right? Like, no, it's tough because I think, like J-Mart said, and especially when you are you have the mindset that I, I think that we both have is like being champions and being racing and winning, like you don't want to be a, a pussy, essentially. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's tough. I, I need that. Uh... I need to get a little bit of whatever Coop's eating and drinking over there because I've been taking some licks this year and he keeps going. <laughs> yeah, no, no I, yeah, believe me, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you guys, Coop, you guys had some races in 250 uh, class and not always seeing eye to eye either. Like, there's some pretty good rivalry between you guys. Oh, but, there was a fucking Oh, there was. Oh, but yes, when there you, was. But, a hell of a deal there. <laughs> <laughs> J-Mart, J-Mart's out back. Yeah. He's out back. Uh, you know, no, yeah. I mean, but... Talk about, you know, and, I, and you've, we've seen this many times with two fast teammates and, and yeah. you know. No, looking back, like you said, at the time it was we, we had a rivalry, and but we were, you know, we were getting paid to go win, and two people can't win. That's just the bottom <laughs> line. <laughs> and, uh, mm-hmm. but no, looking you know, back, like, I, I cherish those days. Like, I think it really helped me become the racer that I am today, yeah. you know. Like, he was a gnarly competitor, and guy would not roll over. So, I think that was, you know, it was so good for, for my career and, and our career, and, I think, you know, knowing him and knowing the fight that he had, like, for me, what, what goes super un, unnoticed is, like, the back injury for him, mm-hmm. like, coming back and being back to that level after so much time off and just, like, it got completely written off and, boom, he's he's right back to being competitive. So, yep. yeah, wasn't always pretty, but, you know, looking back, like, I'm, I'm glad it, he, it shaped us, I think, both. He was such a bulldog, and mm-hmm. J, J. Mart was, like, late in a moto, right? Like, just... Yeah. You know, that's where I thought but where you guys hey, you guys had separate styles, Coop, you know? But Coop was tough, man. Like the mental game and the guy could <laughs> suffer and I was just like he always knew like if I took a line like and I could get alongside him, I knew the next lap he'd do it and I'm like, Fuck. <laughs> Damn it, man, you know? <laughs> you're like you're like Yeah, well well we see that now. I mean we've talked about that in the fourth supercross, like your race craft is next level like where you're like oh really you're gonna get me there watch Mm -hmm. this or you know what i mean like you have a great ability to be like i can fix this right here you know what (laughs) i mean like like you know like yeah you can move around the track yeah but no it was fun days valen uh uh, jeremy martin the show brought to you by weisco pistons of course j mark going to club mx with phil nicoletti if phil gets his deal done (laughs) my deal's done do we need mertz do we need do we call mertz smart they could Uh, what'd you say if they were smart they'd clip you <laughs> yeah yeah a long time it, ago this it'll show. be nice to have someone on the team that like you know 
you bring, I don't want to say legitimacy. That's not fair. But you obviously ups the ante for yeah, the level of the I team. I think it does. And yeah, then, like, so. having yeah. – yeah, but, like, Phil's just hurt their name so much this year. You know what I mean? <laughs> even last year. That's what I do. So yeah. it, it's nice. At least if Phil gets his deal done, it evens out, you know? And, and you know what? We had a Martin over there this year winning awards. Rookie of the Rookie year. Of the year. <laughs> you know, we had him winning awards. Yeah. You know, it's more than mm-hmm. Phil got. So, mm-hmm. Did you text Big Al congrats? German, Rookie of the Year at 32 years old in the 4VD class. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I FaceTimed him the next day, and we were we were ta- talking about he, it. It was pretty funny. He looked shocked when he got the award yeah. on the camera. Yeah. Like he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he, but we were we were talking about it on our review pod, and like honestly, like no offense to to anybody else, but there was no other rookie in the 450 class that did like Carnell, but he started 250. So mm-hmm. like full time 450 rookies, yeah, nobody. He was about it. So, I mean, look, he still had a good year. I'm not saying he had a shit year. I'm trying to think right now. I guess you're right. Th- huh? There really isn't, right? Yeah. So, hey, well, dude, Alex honestly though, right. Big Al, Big Al had some, he had some speed, but I tell you what, he had some wild moments. <laughs> oh, well, he, <laughs> he, he, he was uh, just hanging on sometimes. Coop, Coop yelled at Al a few times. You did? Yeah. Yeah. He <laughs> yelled at Al? Yeah. Like lapping him or no, oh. dude, he. Oh what, man, what, 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 he's a rookie. He's a rookie, so you can't be mad at him. You know, <laughs> you know he's just starting out. He's just but starting out in the sport. Me and him, it seemed like we were magnets. Every practice, he would be in the middle of the track on a roll lap, just I guess waving at fans. I don't know. <laughs> or the yellow flag was out for Big Al. Yeah, you know? uh, he was also like he was very. Uh, I saw him hit the whoop sometimes, really good. Like swear to God, like legit, like top five, six level. Like, mm-hmm. and then other times, dude, he was a yard sale. Like I, he wasn't consistent with his mm-hmm. speed. Sometimes it was good. The video he posted from A three when the whoops are big and long, it's just like he comes through one time perfect. The next lap, it was just like dink to dink every which way except for fucking straight. <laughs> you guys see that video or no? Oh, dude, I'm gonna find it. You're gonna find okay, it. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It was wild. It was fucking wild. Yeah, and he hit <laughs> a, and, and full props to him too. He hit the deck a few times, but he's gotten up. He's getting up. Dude, St. Louis was gnarly. It was yeah. KO'd. Yeah. Dude. Hey, I have something for you, Jamar. Like, obviously, I don't know too much about the deal and stuff, but you'll be at club full time and like <laughs> using uh, them as like your your training and riding. Or, Let me uh, see, Phil. How's that work? Yeah, so I think something that was exciting for me was uh, I'll obviously be working with Brandon and riding with guys, but um, right now I actually work with uh, my brother and John Westing for a training program. Mm. So. For me, that was a pretty cool thing. Like, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Brandon is willing to work with me and let me kind of do that same program. So yeah. that was exciting to me. Yeah. Very exciting. No, oh, that's cool. Because, like I said, I think it's tough when you have been injured and, like you said, been in that rut and you're you're trying to do things better, trying to fix the problems. But um, that was what I was wondering. I know obviously Club has a great facility. I I rode there a lot in North Carolina when I lived there. So. I think it's uh, it'll be a good fit for you, and I think obviously for you, you know, I would assume your goal is the same is to go get that that Supercross title. And um, how does that affect things? Like obviously on a on a Yamaha level, is it something that you're kind of wanting to? I mean, I know how you are, so I know you're gonna want to go out there and show them what's up. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. So the cool thing, I I, I still get factory support for parts and stuff on this Club MX deal, so that's exciting. Um, I know the bike really well, and I, I'm going to take the time to to build to build the body back up and not rush into just trying to haul ass right away. Mm-hmm. So that's exciting for me to work on the technique and and be open minded and um, you know, dude, I'm I'm just just trying to learn and and get better because damn it, man, I miss winning. I miss winning. <laughs> no outdoors, J Mart. What do you mean this, this year? year? Yeah, this yeah, year. No, you, none, done. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, yeah, they just I mean, said he's signing with some. He was riding yeah. for somebody else. Well, yeah, I know, but I know his shoulders gonna be good before the end of the series. I'm assuming. Yeah, but he already. I, I, I tell you, this one was as you kind of knew, Seth, on the whole deal. I mean, this the shoulder was already butchered, and yeah. then when it came out this time, it was like further made it way worse. So um, the doc kind of told me six months, six but months, I'm yeah. optimistic that we can. Uh, you know, you never know. I mean, dude, I've already got the itch to go ride, and so maybe I could make the last couple. We'll see. We were just reminiscing uh, uh, motocross the nations, France. You guys were Yamaha team with with Barsha, and we were talking about America's winless streak, right? Which has been a while now, and how well you three rode mm-hmm. at that race, and France just crushed it, right? 
that was really cool. Uh, just you guys got second, but man, you look back on that, you guys were teammates, and it was a great team. You guys crushed it. Oh, oh, we crushed it, man. Like the point score that we got was crazy low, and I mean, I feel bad. Like I feel like I kind of let the team down. Coop stepped up to that 450 and just crushed it, and and uh, I didn't quite deliver, and I was still a little oh. bitter about that on my end. <laughs> no, it was. I mean, like you said, looking back, I think we. It's yeah. cool to know that the effort we put in, and I think it was like the lowest points that Hatton won yeah. in 25 years or yeah. something crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. looking back, I mean, and I'm sure he was the same way. I was pissed and felt like you you failed, mm-hmm. but yep. when you put it in perspective now, like we we definitely had a good day. But man, it was tough to to come up that close. It, it was such a like that that team wins, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, ten times yeah. out of ten normally, right? That was just a great mm-hmm. day. Yeah, you. That's right. I forgot. You stepped up the four fifties that day. That's right. You were not a four fifty guy at that point. So, yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was pretty nuts, man. It was. What. What a day for both of you guys. Uh. Uh. There, of course. Uh. J Mart. So, what'd you make of Supercross? Christian got it done. Uh. You ride with him a lot. Um. Before the injury and everything else, like. Um. He's so talented. He's so. Yeah. He's so good on the bike. He finally got a title for for star racing. Dude, I, I think it's it's amazing. Like, um, you know, some people kind of you know, say he's a little bit older in the class, but regardless of, of the age, we're at the top level of the sport. And, you know, the ups and downs, I've been his teammate for a long time. So mm-hmm. to see him finally get the championship, I mean, dude, I was just crazy. I was happy for him, you know. I mean, I've had my ups and downs. And to see somebody um, persevere and get it done finally, it's, it's really cool. And now he's off to the 450 class and – uh excited to see what he can do next year there yeah it was definitely a nice year for him too of course and another guy tomac uh he was there down there at the goat farm for a little bit too you guys used to be training partners and and yeah uh he won too man uh good team for that good year for that team hey so i got a question for you how the heck did you raise all that money for the privateer deal that was amazing dude that's our listeners that's our people man they, they bought these tickets yamaha gave us a bike right so that's pretty cool to give a bike away. We got 19 other prizes. We're going to announce it later tonight. Um, you know, yeah, Blue Crew, bro. That's how we did it. Yeah, good, good work on that. That was super Thank you. cool to see. It's yeah, the, good racing too. Yeah, we'll get into that. I, I can't believe Chiz won. I, I can't. I those guys were giving me so. I think you said he would win. Oh yeah, a few weeks ago or yeah. at some point. Hundred percent. You were one of the guys. I, I can't believe you let him so, in. So, Brees and him started second row, and these privateer guys were getting pissed at me, and I'm like, guys. Guys, it's a six-minute race. They're in the second row. Yeah, but do you see their race craft? And they're going to get like six and seventh. And Cade and other guys are like, "Oh no, like they're going to win." Yeah, uh-uh. I I didn't know. That was really that was really bad. Are you surprised? Uh, I'll start with Jamar. Are you surprised Chiz won in six minutes? Well, some someone said he started like second row or or backwards, right? Second row. Yeah. Honestly, I was impressed. I mean, it was a lot to like to make passes and to make that happen. I mean, I thought it was it was legit. I mean, I think the the gnarliest thing for me was seeing that dude um, in the two fifty lock that bike up in gold oh, and bars. You know, Wageman. Yeah, was, was he on a two fifty? I think he was on a four fifty. No, Wageman was on uh, a two fifty. It was. He's on two fifty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, Brees would have got second, but he went off the track on the last turn. So mm-hmm. my guys in the back row in a six minute race got one and two basically. That don't surprise me. That's good. Me. That's gnarly. I, I don't know. These privateer guys were like, told you, told you. <laughs> so I don't know. But, yeah, it's cool. It's awesome to uh, to have those guys and, and have to raise the money for those guys, right? So, um, you know, yeah, it was, it, was, it was cool to have that happen. So, J-Mar, you're going, going back to club. Does this mean you and Phil are roommates again? Or? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Phil, Phil's a good dude. You know, we have our differences, but uh, – Hey, God he owes you rent money, I... dude. You can get him back right now. Yeah. <laughs> dude, no. <laughs> uh, no, J-Mart, he, trust me. I, we're going to get into this later, but I talked to Enzo this week about living with Phil. You don't want anything to do with that again, J-Mart. Yeah, that's suicide. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm kind of a little bit older now. I think I want my own space. Sorry, Filthy. <laughs> no, nah, it's okay. We had, a good, we had a good run when we were together, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, <laughs> we had J-Mart on uh, the Lee at Reraceables pod that we put out with me and Weege, and mm-hmm. we did Glenn Helen. 14. 14. You went 2-2. He went mm-hmm. 1-1. It was like a changing of yeah, the guard, guard right? Yeah, it was. was the, the backwards was bike. Early. And you guys were coming into your own, and that was the start of that year, right? Yeah. And and, J- and J- Mart, you told us on that show all these funny stories about training with Osho, and 
Phil and Troll off the back, and you and Osho <laughs> up the hill. Oh, that's great. I love those stories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think the most legendary story of all was with Weston Pike and, and just him screaming and just, yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't make this shit up. Dude. No. Every day, like, the re- I'll tell you, well, well, part of the reason why I'm hard on Enzo, but, like, I know what I did with Jeremy and Alex for training yeah. when I was young, and right. we were all young, and, dude, every day it was I'm not saying it was right or wrong. It was definitely wrong, but we'd ride and then we'd do a three hour mountain bike ride, no matter what. Rain or three shine. Three hours? Three hours. Jerma, was it not three hours? Well, I mean, it wasn't well, quite three hours, but it was, it was an Phil, hour was and three. a half. Yeah, for <laughs> Phil, it was three. J Mar no, was on two. It was, listen, at the end of the week, it was 16 hour weeks. Like, on it, the was, bike, yeah. it, was, it was, it was gnarly. For sure. And then, like, I won't ever forget, like, I remember, like, being cross eyed, and Johnny's like, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> dude and well but anyway back to the western thing we i was training with bud man a little bit on the bike you know and then he's just like hey okay you can you can come train with me and weston but uh he's got to come bicycling with you guys for like i'm looking at weston like yeah he's not climbing the fucking main divide yeah you know? right, <laughs> like, right. there's no power way ratio. Yeah, the power <laughs> way ratio is way off here <laughs> well anyway so we decided to do this one route and it was called horse thieves and it was a hike a bike it wasn't a mountain bike and johnny and Jeremy were just like yeah it's sick and this and that and I was fucking pissed that we did it. I got my mountain bike over my fucking back. I just got done riding Supercross all fucking day. And I'm doing a hike a bike 100 yards up this cliff. <laughs> okay? So I get up there, and Weston's still trying to... <laughs> <laughs> literally still trying to walk and chew gum at the same time They're trying to climb up this thing and i'm like you know what i can't fucking wait for weston fuck you dude i'm leaving so i got up to the top and i would take stick literally take sticks and draw an arrow like which way for weston to go <laughs> you know like you and guys if, are indians yeah, yeah, no, no joke. And, if there, and if there wasn't six around i'm fucking digging into the ground drawing arrows for him <laughs> well you're in the middle of fucking yeah, nowhere, nowhere right? Right, right and i'm screaming and i can oh, see german cool. osho fucking cruising along and also I, you just hear west and in the bottom of the mouth, motherfuckers, <laughs> dude. I mean, just going off, right? Going off. We got back, and he says, That's it, I'm never fucking going with you guys again, yeah. Ever again, that's it. you know, <laughs> he was fucking. <laughs> it sounded like you guys, it sounded like West, you guys did some gnarly dude. stuff training, like Osho just also getting ready for his own. Mountain bike yeah, racing. Yeah, yeah, no, that's it. Yeah, that's he's getting it. ready for he's, Yeah, he's getting ready for Vet Masters at Sea <laughs> Otter. Right, right, right. Over the hump like, red plate. Yeah, <laughs> dude. And he's Mad using J Mart to push him, right? Yeah. 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 I had to, yeah, it was the best deal ever. Didn't have to pay for a trainer, but just went and got my head kicked in. Right, 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 right. You right. Know? Yeah, no, uh, again, on the Lee at Reraceables, we talked about that race because that's J Mart's first national win. You went 1 2 2, he went 1 1, and it was just, yeah, you talked about working with, with, with Osho and everything else. and yeah, so for 2023, Jeremy Martin going to Club MX. Uh, um, that's exciting. That's good news. So do we have – so you're on the team. Mm-hmm. Troll we don't know about quite yet. Lopes. Mm-hmm. Is Lopes going back? Do we know? March Banks? I can't speak for anybody else. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I can't speak. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll no see what idea. happens. I know there's offers there for him or whatever, but yep. I don't know what they plan on doing or right. what the deal is. All right. Well, that yeah. that should be interesting. And then, Jmart, would could you ride four fifty um, soupy if you wanted to, like jump on the other coast? Is that is that is that something that they talk to you about? Um, honestly, if I brought it up to Brandon, it, it it very well could be a thing. I mean, at this point, it just seems like it's it's such a cool deal with a lot of opportunity to mm-hmm. to make the team grow and to be a part of club. I mean, dude, they've got ten tracks on the facility, you know, yeah. which is pretty gnarly and. Um, if I wanted to get on a 450 and, and do a coast, I'm sure Brandon would and, you know, muck off and, and, you know, all them yep. guys would like that and FXR. So, and even ATVs and more. So I'm sure like, yeah, right. yeah. I mean, anything's possible. I, I like the, I like that this used to happen way back in the day. The 250 guys would jump on the other coast. It happened a lot. Mm-hmm. Even championship winning guys were, yeah, were riding common. a 250 on the other coast or 450. You know what I mean? It, it would happen a lot. I think, I think it really works it, out it, well. It, it would probably be good for me because, like, you know, with me getting hurt, like what I have, like, um, whether or not you train super gnarly, um, Coop and, and Phil are out there every weekend, and I'm just sitting on the couch, and that's time that I'm missing. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think it'd be definitely good. Right. Uh, all right. We got a phone call for you. Uh, Jeremy Martin is uh, on the show right now, brought to you by Wiseco Pistons. Clint, what's your question for uh, Jeremy Martin? Uh, is. is- yeah, what's up? Right now? what's up, Clint? Oh, sorry. That's Coy. Um, Coy? 
I, so I just got this is for um this is for Webb and uh, Jamar. I just want to ask them how they feel about bringing like Yamaha and Star into like relevancy because before that it was like big drought, you know, championship wise. Yeah, and they came in in like 2013 and really just started crushing it. So I just wanted it's, to it's, get their thoughts on it. It's a very yeah, good, uh, very good question because honestly, and it's part of the reason why Brad over there hates my guts because I made fun of them for a long time. Mm-hmm. They went through a bunch of team right. managers. They went through like sort of B riders, guys hired, guys so, fired, right? Like, like until you two came along, it, you know that's really what started it. So that's a great question. Uh, go ahead, Jim. Mark, we'll start with you. Yeah, I mean it was it was um, it was obviously a really successful team um you know Sykes had won some super crosses and stuff but they weren't quite at a factory level yet like what they are now and and everything and and uh you know Webb uh Coop and I uh you know obviously there was guys before us but you know we started winning on that on that new 2014 model and uh it really kind of just it's taken off and into what it is now and and damn it man they got <laughs> they got quite a few championships and a hell of a hell of a record you know yeah i definitely think you two set the tone you know um you know not trying to blow you guys both here in studio <laughs> you're, you're here but i do i that's when it started to turn around i mean the bike bike was great so that was a big part of it before that it had a, an oil tank and a carburetor you know is that when you first started yeah 13 yeah. bike went bad though it wasn't bad yeah he won on no he didn't win on the 13 bike no no but but it was okay yeah yeah and then the 14 and, was a big big difference yeah exactly right and so. i think the, the kind of backstory to that was also like me and J-Mart were both very successful amateurs. And at least for me, and I would I think the same for him, we didn't have any any options to go no. anywhere. Yeah. So it was no. like we were getting passed up on other opportunities for, you know, other riders or other people. And then we'd come in and, and win championships. You like really that didn't day. have a bunch of people like – I had I mean, a star offer. That was all I had. Really? And I think the same for Jeremy, but kind of thought of you. Yeah, that was all. That was all I had. I mean, I mean, I had the Bobby Hewitt thing as an amateur, but then it just as it didn't like they kind of fell apart, and then I didn't wasn't a part of the team. Because at that time in thirteen, AC was the guy. Yeah, but AC, and then like for me, Bichelia was on Geico. Oh, really? So Bichelia was like ahead of you as coming out of amateurs. Oh, I just thought it was like you and Adam. And like Mikel Rath was TLD, right? And then same thing year before. I think it was like Bell went, you know. Geico so you had one Geico, one yeah. spot to go to at, coming out of amateurs. That or uh, Roger Nian told me if if I'm good enough that they could probably get me on JDR KTM. Oh okay, yeah yeah. Wow. But then that folded anyway. Yeah. Next year. I remember the first time I met you was uh, when you were doing the Honda 150 oh, yeah. at Steel City. J Bone's like, hey, this is Cooper Webb. We're helping him out. He's gonna be the next. <laughs> Superstar, I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. What, what's up, kid? <laughs> but on that, Carson, yeah. I just think that's yeah. a cool back fact, too. Yeah. Like, we both, you know, overshadowed, overlooked. No one expected us to do yep. what what we accomplished as far as championships and on a run and just, like, like you said, it, looking back, like, I dominated Supercross, he dominated Moto, and yeah, it was some good years. And, and they've never really let up. Nah, it's never really stopped, like, right? No, down, it's so. been crazy. Uh, good question, man. Thanks for the call. Thank you. Brother. Uh, Barry's on three. Barry, you have a Danger Boy question? Yes, sir. Uh, my name's actually Sadeus, but um, I was th- I was wondering if you guys think that uh, Danger Boy will go undefeated in this first outdoor season. A hundred percent. Twenty-four and zero. He he he's coming. He he's the man. The answer was all time. And it was it's great. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. <laughs> Can Danger is Danger Boy? Uh, why is he racing Supercross? Can he race those futures? Or? He's young. He's only what sixteen. Okay, I've uh-huh. ridden with him quite a bit at club. Yeah, he's decent. Yep. Okay. All right. How 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 old do you have to be to do the Supercross stuff for as an amateur? Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know. I I Isn't know a bunch a of. Class? Oh, oh, the super. Yeah, you got to be a class. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's B. B. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. We got some more calls. Uh, Gus wants to pump Cooper Webb up because I mean I'm sure Coop doesn't feel really great right now. What's up, Gus? <laughs> so I am the self-proclaimed Cooper Webb super fan on Twitter. I'm like the less creepy version of Dylan. Okay. <laughs> please be okay. that way. Yeah, please be that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the less creepy version. But the Twitter poll is going way sideways. We know that <laughs> if anyone Webb is on the gate, he is just in Dungey's head like <laughs> yeah. Jay Law and us. Yeah. And he would just cripple Dungey. He comes across the finish line, air pistols, Wrap the championship. Well, it, it that is a good point. I if, appreciate that. Right? If Coop's on the line yelling, "Who? who let's get this on, everybody!" 
Mm -hmm. You know, I don't see that happening with Dunge. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, not a bad point there, Gus. Yeah. That's all I got. Webb, we'll see you at the races next year, champ. Thank you, buddy. All right. Are you are you aware of that guy? Have you seen him around or, or no? I mean, I'm sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Uh, Jake's on five. What's up, Jake? Is that me? Yeah, what's up, Jake? Hey, turn, turn, oh, the, turn hey. the show off, Jake, in the background. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it happens. So, <laughs> it happens. Had a few too many knack <laughs> Coop, got a question for you. What's up? How uh, was your season less lackluster that Kenny was out and you couldn't mess with him with the pit boards and all the other stuff you used to do to him and get in his head? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. I'm not sure, mate. Right. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> uh, thanks for the call, tough man. Question. Thank you. Thanks, Jake. Tough question. Yeah, tough question. Uh, all right. Uh, J-Mart, thanks for calling in. Anything else for J-Mart before we let him go? Phil, any any, <clears throat> any questions for J-Mart? No. I, well, yeah. Jeremy, so what, uh, what's the goal for next year? We're the goal is to, is to win, Filthy. We're yeah. going we're gonna to do this deal. Nah, if I have something to say about it. Oh boy! Take you down. Do oh boy. I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna beat your ass <laughs> down. I'm gonna beat you down like we did in the O show. Ah, uh, come on, man! I got enough base now. I can handle it. It's no problem. He's got enough base. Wow! Look at that. Hey, yes, I do. <laughs> I see. I see you on Strava. I know what you're doing. Oh yeah. I literally beat the shit out of him. Uh, <laughs> all right, J Mark. Uh, I, well, I hope it goes well. And, and I'm sorry about being teammates with Phil. You know. Well, thanks, guys, for having me on the show. Absolutely. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, thanks for calling right. in. Talk Thank soon, you. Buddy. Uh, that's Jeremy Martin. I've already brought you by Wisco. Wisco Pistons. Go to uh, publicmexshow.com, and uh, there's an email on there to save with Wisco Pistons, two stroke, four strokes, whatever it is. Uh, so, yeah, Coop, did you, you're losing the poll, but, I mean, Gus called in. and Yeah, that, that, I mean, that hyped me back up. That's all you need, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. all you need. Yeah. You want to talk about two polar opposites, Jeremy and Coop. They both go at racing a totally different way. You know, Jeremy's – we all know, super fit, very athletic, sick on a dirt bike, bicycle, and running, right? He's Coop, an athlete. He, he, he's a legit overall athlete. Coop is, you know, you're, useless. You're, you know yeah, you are useless. But as far as racing-wise, mm -hmm. it's funny because, like, no matter what, Jerma can beat Coop on a bicycle and this and that. But overall, when it comes to Saturday night and racing. But I think that. I mean, that goes without saying. Like, I can't tell you how many times we were talking about Coop on, after practice or on Twitter and being like, whoops mm -hmm. are big, Coop's mm -hmm. eighth, you know, it's going to be a good night or mm -hmm. good night for this competitor. He's in trouble here. And then, God damn it, what happens at yeah, the end of the night? 9.09 p.m. when the gate drops. Yeah. It's like, he, fucking. He, he all of a sudden he gets a whole shot in the heat race. He makes it work. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, next thing you know, you're like, oh, mm -hmm. I guess we were. Well, I, I do think, like like we were saying earlier, that, that kind of went under the rug a little bit was, J Mart was still to this day 250, 450. I would say probably my gnarliest competitor. Really, huh? Yeah. Because he was one guy that I think could suffer to no avail. And yeah. you knew he was fit and fast and going to be consistent, good starts, and he would piss me off. Yeah. Like, that's, <laughs> that, that's a good point. You both can suffer, but you suffer, you, can, you both suffer in different ways. Different ways. You know? sure. yeah. like, and it's yeah. just weird how it meets in the middle to make each one of you badass yeah you know yeah like, and that's what i'm saying i think he helped like build some of the characteristics i have right you guys it's, elevated yeah. each other for sure mm -hmm. yeah 100 same bike same personnel same equipment yeah, yeah there so are no excuses no, at that point yeah that was good that's uh it's that's really interesting days. to see yeah that's 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 a that's a nice thing for you to say because i kind of agree like he yeah he was a bulldog man like yeah. he just you know wouldn't it stop sucks he still is and that's what yeah. i'm saying about the yeah. back thing yeah. like a lot of guys would have hung the boots up honestly mm -hmm. yeah you know and and to have him back and i think healthy and as we've seen like the guy's still unbelievable on a dirt bike and mm -hmm. i think he i'm sure he wants to get that supercross championship and obviously another outdoor title yeah yeah it'll be great to see uh fly racing fly com, of course uh, uh please check him out at motorsport.com or go to your local dealer justin brayton farewell to justin brayton wearing fly racing what a career what a fantastic career mm -hmm. he rode yeah. by himself once again in the main event it's kind of what he's been doing <laughs> he's uh <laughs> Five to ten seconds off of you guys, and then uh, five to ten. No, oh, oh, thirty seven seconds left. No, sorry, yeah, no, sorry. no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, wow. Dude, <laughs> at the end of the serious? race, at the end of the yeah, race. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. And then sorry. he's uh, he's ten seconds ahead <laughs> dude, of the next group of guys. It's like, dude, that was harsh. Jay Bray. No, he's just doing <laughs> yeah, doing yeah, his yeah, own I got laps. You, I got you. Um, uh, so please check out Fly Racing. They released their LE gear this weekend. Phil, did you see it? Mm hmm. And what'd you think about it? JB made it look good. All right. Uh, let's bring our next guest in here. It's Jason Thomas. What's up, JT? Tagging. 
So are we going to try to get Phil and Fly again? Or is that done? We're not doing that. Because <laughs> we've been doing Phil's this now. Team deal. Phil, Phil's uh, very expensive for one, and it, he's also walked into a team deal. So. All right. His right. number's gone up since the triple crown, the podium, yeah. the one. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oldest uh, guy to ever podium on a light spike. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no. J- the, uh, how old are you? 33. Yeah, Dowdy was 30. So I don't four, know. I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. a lot more guys on uh, uh, but, but, you know, Webb is here. JT, if you want to take a run at him for, uh, you know, when the Thor deal's over, you know, so. Uh, what? Kind of did that. Yeah. yeah. JT, who are you guys <laughs> even going to have next year, man? You guys are out. JT, no, we were, tar- we were talking you, about that. You guys got nobody. What are we doing, JT? I'm, uh, I'm doing yoga in my room right now. You guys uh, are going back to the <laughs> privateer route and just going to get every privateer out there yeah. like it's 09. Yeah. I'm limbering up. That's uh, I'm all that's left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We run uh, at Dunge. They're yeah. making a run at Dunge. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dunge is. I mean, it's Fox, right? I, I didn't. I didn't even know, but yeah, I assume. Gotta right, be. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, I assume. Be. Right. So yeah, JT, we got to get this 450 program running for Fly here. Yeah. Yeah, it's been rough, man. We, uh, you know, the, you know, Forest team. I, I still don't really know what's going on there. You know, that was three guys that uh, just automatically were gone, um, and then you know, JB's gone and. It's, yeah, it's just been one thing after another. It's yeah. been uh, it's been really challenging. Right. Well, I'll make another run at Coop here. Two year deal. What do you got going on? You got two years. Uh, I got a while. Oh, I got a while. Okay. <laughs> right. Never mind then. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, uh, JT, we we discussed the uh, Abarsha incident earlier tonight, and yeah, we're all kind of mystified on that one. Uh, but Coop actually. Why? How are you mystified? No, just what he was thinking. <laughs> we're mystified on what he was thinking. So I'm he's not thinking the same thing he's always been. Yeah. Thinking. yeah, yeah well, yeah. okay. I'm with you, JT. I, right. I I expect that. Right. Okay. So Coop actually though. You know, didn't mind the 10 points, 11 points. 11? Was it 11? 10. 10. I, don't know, I was going off you. I think you said 10. I think it was, I thought it was 10. I don't know. What Why were was. they going to give him a weapon? That's, that's, that's yeah, it's 10. Okay, okay. Really so, so, uh, so as far as, like Coop said, like points are what these guys care about. Like that's what you need for the championship. That's what you need for third overall. So, you know, uh, Coop here was saying like, yeah, 10 points is significant. It is a real fine. And I agree with you because you should just be like, Hey, double probation, secret probation. Don't you know? Don't do like points is worth more than money, and, and so that's that's the point that Coop made. Is it at the final round when that's all that's left? Yeah, though? we yeah we, yeah. we said that. <laughs> if it, if this if this fine happened at Saint uh, or Indy, it'd yeah. be completely different. Yeah, Ten yeah. points from Agreed. the championship yeah. at Indy. It's just like yeah, that's a hit. Right, but. Yeah, Lake. it's irrelevant. Yeah, Seventeen. Yeah, but no one cares. It also bumps, like we said, to fifth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, it is something, I guess, JT, for that. Yeah, I mean, it 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 does matter. Uh, I think uh, you made a good point on the review pod that they probably should have done, or maybe maybe we did. They probably should have done something about his podium finish because, realistically, if if he didn't have a bonus, you know, that was going to play out anyway, he can just kind of shrug his shoulders and be like, eh, yeah, I'll do it again. Mm-hmm. You know, like that, yeah. that didn't really hurt me. Other, I'm sure the booze weren't great like I, I don't think he enjoyed that um but as far as like the actual penalty that was levied on him i think he probably just shrug it off just like he shrugged off every other penalty that's ever yeah. been handed mm-hmm. out to him yeah, I think yeah if he hit him with a 25k that's a little different right yeah. i mean look the ama loves to review things so <laughs> they're not going to take his third away without like a thorough review yeah. Like at the race, at the podium, like at Salt Lake. Right. Gallagher right. would do it. Gallagher would do it. Yeah. Race. Well, of course, Gallagher. That's why he's not there anymore. He threw a black flag at Chad. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, that was, is that the worst penalty ever made? Like the worst decision? <laughs> Gallagher was the worst. <laughs> black flag. That was a really poor decision. Oh, it was terrible. It really was un- unbelievable, right? So I think the AMA is just saying like, we can't take Barsha off the podium right now because we haven't looked at all the tape. And I, I get that. But that would hurt. Hey, yeah, yeah you, yeah, Mookie, I, Mookie, but, get up there. You know, like. But at the same time, at the same time, how are you going to hand out a ten point penalty and a three thousand dollar fine or whatever it was mm-hmm. in that same amount of time? You know. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, JT, I, I took, I put the World Supercross schedule out on social media today. Uh, yeah. Uh, I kind of got it uh, from a from a second hand guy who got it third hand. Um, Real lots of strange. Uh, notations there's like french instead of france and it's just yeah i felt like i was reading a kindergartner's uh notepad no you know what listen uh, uh so what do you think of it so 2022 this year september 10th montreal october 1st in the uk october 21st and 22nd down under in australia november 5th yep. indonesia and round five tba that's the that's the uh six round series right now as it as it stands 
Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's definitely ambitious. I will give them that, uh, especially when you roll into 2023 and the, the proposed plan for 23. I thought 22 was manageable. Um, they're still going to have a ton of logistical hurdles, uh, but they're not they're not new to putting races on. So I'm sure they have a a well executable plan laid mm-hmm. out. Um, but then you roll into next year, man, and it gets pretty serious. You know, starting in June, we all yeah. know that the the uh, the conflicts that arise there that are pretty obvious uh, with multiple series, and then you're just all over the world. I mean, you're on multiple continents. Uh, the travel involved in that there there's a lot to unpack for 2023 yeah so in 2023 it goes uh in june canada U- usa canada mid-june late june i, I want to see that booking of the stadium in mid-june somewhere in america i'd like to see how that goes uh you know with the feld guys and everything but anyways mm-hmm. uh early july uk mid-july scandinavia and then in august you go france middle east and mexico in august <laughs> So, Let's go. Right? Uh, uh, that's a nuts. Yeah. September is Brazil, and then uh, Japan, and then Indonesia and Australia. Yeah. Wow. Pretty, pretty, pretty ambitious, like you said. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, I, on one hand, I'm very uh, excited to see um, this sport be taken to that scale, like just to see how that all kind of happens. Uh, but I just come back to how many times this has been tried and – yeah, I mean, you go back 25 years ago, they were trying this and weren't able to really pull it off. So, I mean, the world's a smaller place now, and they have, you know, other models that they could probably learn from, everything from MotoGP to F1 to, you know, even MXGP on some levels. But, man, I just look at all the difficulties that this is going to be, and uh, I'm hopeful, but I, I always defer to, like, man, that looks really tough to pull off. Coop, do you see yourself doing something like this before it's all over? Like, I, I think I think we see Marv do this, JB, mm. you know, those types of guys. Do you see yourself? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I, I like the idea, you know, I could, like JT said, I think that model is, is cool, at least from a racer standpoint, Yep. to be able to be internationally, you know, recognized and mm-hmm. put on that platform. Um, but like I said, obviously, if it's competing series, there's no way at least contractably or anything yeah. like that. No, but I mean, like, kind of when you're free, when you're ready to yeah, go. Yeah, I like, think, like you're saying right now, like for JB, yeah. no-brainer. Yeah. You know, and, yep. and for for that kind of opportunity, it's it's right. great. But uh, like, Would you do it, though, at the end of your deal, do you think? I mean, it's yours. I would. Yeah, yeah. Like, you would think of that, some, doing something sure. like that? Right. Go travel the world. And right. I look at, like, somebody like yourself, you're going to have a lot of money in the bank. You're going to have your legacy secured. So, you know, I don't know if I'd want to do that if yeah. I was in your shoes. But, yeah. I mean, yeah, I think if it's something that, like, it all depends, like you said, but it's yeah. something that I'm interested in. I'm a traveler. I like going different places. Yeah. So, yep. I mean, yeah, five would, years from now. I'll be very curious to see, you know, how they lay this out for riders. Are, are OEMs going to be willing to offer bonuses? Are they going mm-hmm. to have enough prize money on site to lure in riders alone? Um, because that's what it really comes down to, to get guys like Coop there. It's yeah. got to be financially rewarding, right? Yep. They're not going to fly all over the world. If, it, if there's not, right. you know, something to be made on the back end. I don't know how teams are going to be. I fully expect teams to keep doing the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championships. I do not expect teams to be like, see you later. So I fully expect them doing that. So how is KTM, let's say you stay with KTM and, you know, uh, 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 Max Volan moves up. And, and, and so how is KTM going to have AP and Max Volan in America doing nationals? And then also say, hey, Coop, we're going to sign you for World Supercross. We're going to give you factory suspension, factory parts, and mechanic. Like, where's yeah. that money coming from? Yeah. I don't see that part of it. I see a guy like JB taking a muffler and some suspension, mm-hmm. some clamps, yeah, you know, and doing Just like this. a bunch of bursies, sure, essentially. Yeah. Sure, but uh, I don't know. I if think you... it's tough, like you're saying, yeah. that makes sense or, or doesn't make sense, but right. I think it's going to be completely separate. I think there's not going to be a manufacturer going, hey, okay. we want you there. It's going to be a team. Like a, I think a, it's going to be owner. a private team right. owner. Going, Mike Genova, yes. somebody like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. And your team, you could but, ride a Suzuki, a Kawasaki, a Honda. Right. It don't matter. But this would you? Team. But would you want to do these races? Now they're not going to be full supies, right? They're going to be arena cross. Some some tracks are going to be big. Would you do this without like the ultimate in equipment? You know what I mean? I like, mean, situational, yeah. Yeah. If for enough money, hell yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> like, all right. Yeah. But because, right now, no. Yeah, because all we hear no. about is from whether well, it's Honda or KTM, parts, parts, parts. We hear yeah. that a lot. And it's true, I think, to an extent. Like, we don't have enough parts. With especially now. Especially chain, now. Yeah. yeah, supply chain stuff, right? But So I wonder, like, yeah, can, can these OEMs a, a, a do this with a whole other series? 
But it, whatever gets, we'll, just, we could, yeah. we'll just get Coop a 2021 factory KTM and send him out. We're oh good boy. to go. Oh, We're boy. Ready to, oh, ready to roll. Oh, boy. Moving on. Nah. <laughs> but it's, it's no different than, like, he's saying Bercy. Like, we, yeah. I, when I've done Bercy, I go with a suspension and an exhaust. True. True. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what? Actually, that's a good point you made earlier. Like, you are a traveler. You've been to a lot of races, yeah. whether it's Disney Nations, overseas, Supies, whatever, right? Yeah. You've done it. You're not scared yeah. to do it. So, yeah, that's a, it's a, certainly an ambitious schedule. I don't. Again, I think the people at MX Sports are not happy because they. I just don't see the teams being like, see a Nationals, we're going to do this. I don't see it. Maybe no. I'm wrong. You know? I don't know. I don't know. American teams I, are here to sell American bikes, right? I think are. private, yeah, privately funded teams, potentially if it does right. take off, the privately funded ones will be gone, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, it just depends on the growth of the inse- years. You know, if there's, there's incentive, if there's yeah. incentive and if Adam Bailey and their investors are actually going to pay the money to get the teams there and everything, I mean, the, <clears throat> the platform for it is sounds pretty badass and if that mold does work then yeah i think the privately funded teams will be out of there right okay you know yeah huh? it, uh, I'm and logistically if they handle it all and sh- do the shipping and all that stuff you know kind of hand- yeah yeah which i hear they are that's a big that's a big load off of a private team on how right. you know handle and all that stuff so yeah. oh, you I could go win a world championship yeah maybe i mean he's already canadian he's already canadian yeah. supercross champion yeah. yeah he could have canadian Experience. the world and he's just missing i'm just missing yep. us yeah. that's it i mean think about it one time which north, I think north carolina had canadian title american title and australian title well, he's not from north carolina okay so all right <sighs> never mind well, was no, JP? Not. it's not too JP? late though he's just entering his physical oh. peak you know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not too late. Well, I see that with his cast on. <laughs> never he's entering his physical Never peak. over. <laughs> never over. It's never over. Never right. count him out. I hope Bobby Laps is watching. <laughs> uh, <laughs> JT, we had J-Mod on earlier announcing his Club MX deal. What'd you, what do you think of yep. that? Yeah. I, I was very surprised at that. Um, I would hope and expect that Yamaha is going to support that. Um, I, I would have a hard time thinking J-Mod's going to go there without, you know, Yamaha kind of being like, yeah, we, we – will support this you know i don't know that could get sticky though yeah 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 yeah, for sure yeah Um, i I just like brownie was a 05 honda when he started beating him yeah yeah yeah. that's the only thing that would scare me a little bit right mitch was doing brownie stuff or that's what i'm saying pc yeah yeah Yeah, Yeah, i think it i think it kind of fits like j mart's persona though like j mart wants to be to me and this is just my opinion he kind of wants to be like the lone guy like he wants Mm -hmm. to be on his own you know not competing for a title with a teammate and kind of doing like he, how many times have he has he been out back of the semi like doing his own thing like it just seems like if he can get good equipment and be on a program where everything is centered around him he seems to thrive on that i, I don't think he likes sharing team effort and team expectation um and that that's just kind of what i've seen from him in the past is like every time he has a teammate that is contending for a championship, he gets really unhappy really fast. So <laughs> maybe this is the right situation well, for him. He's going to have Phil and Soupy to deal with. <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing at? Fair. <laughs> Phil, rides like that. Phil rides like he did this year. That's a fair point. Yeah. yeah. And Enzo. Mm-hmm. Enzo is crushing it. If Phil rides like he did this year, <laughs> look at him. Yeah. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> Fucking triple out, man. They'll yeah. get you. Yeah, yeah, Phil. Yeah, JT's <laughs> doubling around the so track what, all next year. So, so how fast Seth, what, did, what did we rule out for Phil? He doesn't like triples in. He doesn't like triple outs. Yep. He doesn't like three ju- ons. Three ons. <laughs> three ons. Um, he doesn't like supercross backs. triples. Uh, finish lines where you can't see the landing. Finish lines. Dude, Hardy who? Munoz. No dragon. Yeah. Hardy Munoz. <laughs> no, 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 no Hardy Munoz. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm on board of that. Hardy <laughs> no dragon backs. Yeah, Fuck you, JT. How did, how did Hardy? <laughs> How did Hardy survive dude, this dude, year? Dude, oh my are you god! Kidding me, oh. dude, that was a time bomb. He off. is. Holy he is loose. You want to talk about loose? It's that's honestly loose. like a hazard. That's, that's <laughs> not even safe. Seriously. He <laughs> got up every time. He yeah. got up every time. No, I mean time. a hazard to other people. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, all right. So, yeah. No dragon backs. No three ons. No three ons. No three outs of the corners. No three mm-hmm. into the corners. No, we're going to have a track. Turns, yeah. whoops, and walls. <laughs> and sand. <laughs> and sand. I and forgot sand. about sand. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, 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 true. That's, what, that's what Phil likes in Soupy, mm-hmm. JT. That's, that's his rules. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just just remove all of it. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> right. right. Like, just start straight away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Like LA much. Coliseum layout, like in whatever the first Seth, year Seth, I know you've was. never done a Supercross, but having to hit a finish line and not being able to see the landing and it's a fucking no, I know. ramp Mental. sucks. No, I'm with you. Sucks. I'm with you. I don't care. What about that one in Anaheim where you had to go over the... 
Wait, the, oh. the start straight, the, the finish line, or the start straight was through. Oh, the yeah, finish. he wouldn't have liked that one. He didn't no. do west. The but, finish was yeah. over the yeah. start. That was a big Monster, jump. Yeah. Really, dude, it was big. No, you yeah. don't remember that? Yeah, no. that layout would not have been Phil's track. No, no, no. no. no, no. I, I hate, I hate fucking finish lines. I it's always, I never jump it by myself. I always follow somebody. Like that big triple at Atlanta, yeah. I had to follow Hunter, and obviously Hunter died in front of me. But good <laughs> thing I didn't follow his speed. I'm like, this ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking only pulled. Time I ever, uh, <laughs> only time I ever followed somebody over a jump and like asked them if I could follow them was uh, that McGrath race. They mm -hmm. had these oh, like the ramps. gigantic oh, the ramps. ramp jumps. And <laughs> yeah. I, I'd never hit a ramp before. Yeah. Before the first lap of practice. Yep. And I, like, I'm like looking around. I'm like, okay, who here knows what they're doing and i was kind of like <laughs> eyeing everybody up because i i didn't ride press day and i think i actually followed mcgrath i'm like all right this guy never crashes and this is his race so i'm just gonna follow him and i was so i was scared shitless honestly Wait, but he actually did crash in that race he, he did, did crash out yeah. 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 oh my <laughs> god race, yeah. dude it's like the worst injury yeah, of his dude. career yeah was that his race dude, yeah there's, there's nothing it, worse than going up to a face and your butthole's puckered and you're like yeah i don't know if this is enough <laughs> or not enough and you're jumping well, i was like, never hitting a ramp before i didn't even know how it was gonna like react yeah like i and you just have to jump like this 90 foot jump so it is phil's luck to follow the race winner off a jump and he crashes yeah yeah, yeah yeah you know what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. Dude, so, I so God way too many yes. times that day so when you followed hunter like you knew like i better Little yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yeah, this ain't it. And last second, I gave it a little bit more. <laughs> and then you're dodging bike. And then <laughs> next thing I know, I'm dodging body and bikes, and I'm just like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Ask him about the double that day. Oh yeah, over oh, the he, over the over the thing. Yeah, guess how many times I did that? Once on press day. Yeah. And I'm like, there's no fucking way I'm hitting that off the track. And then like the face was all blown out, and I'm like, dude, after this the whoops, you be after yeah, the whoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. like, dude, that thing was deadlier than the fucking yeah. supercross triple. But the uh, tiniest triple there is the one that broke his arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No shit. And then you know what I'm thinking? I'm like, dude, they have the poor fucking futures kids out there jumping this shit. <laughs> Jumping it before they were we jumping it from the whoops too. Dude, Hymas right? is out there here out throwing oppos and shit, and I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one nope. time, yeah. one time. Yeah. Uh, also, Phil, um, yeah, it would be your luck to to for that triple for for uh, Hunter to go down right in front of you, of course, yeah. and take you out. That would have been your luck. Yeah, no, I thank God, I. Yeah, I was lucky. I got. Uh, and blinders. then you go on Twitter and you're yelling about unions, rider unions that night. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was, I was <laughs> pissed. And I yelled at Ross, a track worker, even though it wasn't him. And I don't know if it was Prater or Mew or somebody just like, yeah, we want a big super trip. And blah. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I said, dude, like I said, we ain't cats. We ain't got nine lives, man. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. You know? Oh. Yeah. And the only thing that made me feel better about ripping the track guys apart is that Eli fucking ripped them I guess apart Eli too. went off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, apparently. So yeah. that was cool. Were you there? We're not cats. We don't no. have nine yeah. lives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, That's amazing. Uh, no, I didn't do press. I never had to jump it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, JT, fucking before lucky. we let you go, we had Don John earlier. He said he's coming back to win. Like he thinks he can win. He thinks he can be that good, you know, and that's why he's coming back, which makes sense because. A guy at Dunge's level isn't coming back to run five to ten, right? So that's where he's at. Um, but what what do you what do you give him moto scores for Paula? Well, from my experience, you always like a guy like Dunge who's won his entire career, multi time champion, tons of wins. Of course, he he's going back and thinking he's going to win. You're not going. He's not going to line up going. You know what? It would be sick if I could go like eight nine today. You know, like he just that's just not him. Um. But I do believe it's going to be harder than he thinks. Uh, it's, he's been gone a long time, and the pace continuously gets better. The level of intensity gets higher, and I just think it's going to be tough. That doesn't mean he can't, he, he can't do it. I'm not saying he can't do it. I just think it's going to be harder than maybe he thinks it is. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think those opening laps when those guys are literally just turning their brains off and holding it wide open, like he's going to be like, hey, dude, like, I got kids. Like, what are you doing? Um, he's like, he's got to line up next to like a Ray dudes. Like a Ray. Like, that's, that's not a great time. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Um, well, a Ray's done. For so, hours, so yeah. Yeah. But guys like, yeah, a -Ray, right. But that's I just know, guys like that. Right. Like they're willing to die right then and there. I wonder like if Hardy Munoz would go up to a four fifty. <laughs> Dungey go right back in retirement. <laughs> all that behind him. All dude. I think Holy of is a Ray is, is AC telling me how he lined up next to a Ray at Iron Man and a Ray's front tire was flat. <laughs> and a Adam was like, Hey man, your front tire is flat. And a Ray was like, yep. <laughs> and, and, and Adam was like, "What are you gonna do?" He's like, "I'm just gonna send it." And Adam, yep. and Adam's like, "Oh my god, dude, just please!" It's like Lonnie's Kevin Walker story, right? Right? Like, just you know, guys like A Ray. So Dunge is gonna pull up to some guy who's a plumber, 
<laughs> you know, and he's just ready to die. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, realistically, I think uh, if he could get, you know, top five in the motos, I think that would be a success. And that sounds like it's uh, – Yeah, I, I agree. We all agree. We all agree. But I think it's realistic, man. I, I, I think – you shouldn't go into a situation like this asking too much. It's been a long time. Like if, if he had just wrapped it up like last year, I think everything's different, but it's, it's been a long time. Yeah. And he's, he's older. He's not even, it's not even like he's retiring at the same age as when he left and just, you know, time lapsing forward and coming back without racing for those years. He's older too, which makes it a lot harder. Yeah. I mean, you would think the Cairoli uh, conversation would be a little different since he literally just retired. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Caroli, yeah. I think, beats Dunge yeah, yeah. at Paula. Whatever. Well, you got to figure, for like, sure. Caroli was racing MXGPs in November. Right. That's just like saying. It's been like level. six months. Yeah. Yeah. Caroli yeah. was yeah. winning in November. Exactly. Yeah. He was winning. Exactly. Yeah. Winning six months ago. Yeah. You know, like, this is a t- it's a different conversation. Yep. Yeah. No, I agree. So give us your moto scores then. Don't waffle. I'll go 6-4. Uh, okay. Yeah, all right. Well, that's better than all of us in the studio here. So. Yeah. I think the fitness. His fitness is, is going to be something he'll be able to lean on because he knows how to do that. If you're saying um, Dunge 6'4", what do you think of Kyrilli? I'll say... 5'3". 4'3". 4'3". Okay, okay, solid. All right. Yep. Uh, sounds so. good, uh, JT. Thanks for calling in. Fly Racing, flyracing.com. Uh, please check him out on the web. And, uh, and yeah, thanks, JT. I guess. See you, right, see you. Hey, JT. Right, later, JT. That's Jason Thomas, everybody from Fly Racing. Uh, all right, uh, we got Chris Bros. Chris Blos coming up. We got the X-Brand Goggle Tariffs. Let's do the X-Brand Goggle Tariffs. Can we do that first before we do the raffle? All right, let's do the X-Brand Goggle Tariffs, please. It's the X-Brand Tariff segment. 15 second rapid fire. Q-A. Rapid fire. X-Brand Goggles, a choice of Seth Rarick. When racing, yeah, that's right. X-Brand. You're my guy. I was your You're guy. The goggle guy. 2010. I always, I, you know, why I built goggles for you and gave you goggles? Because like you were nice. You were like, there were guys that were faster than you that I was like, no, nah, we don't, we can't help you. <laughs> but you were like cool. You were like th- appreciative. Like still appreciative of that. Yeah, yeah. Like thanks, man. Like thanks. Get free goggles. And back then you then. know what you would do too? You'd be like, you text me and be like, can I get some goggles? And I'd be like, sure. And then you'd be like, where are you at? And you'd come meet me. It wouldn't be like, hey, come find me. Like he was just yeah. a cool privateer well, to deal with. I was so far back. You would have yeah, never found me. Anyway. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You I had were, a four you were, digit number. You were you easy to deal out. with. You were easy to deal with. Like, and you were appreciative. Yeah. So as a goggle guy, when I was doing it, <laughs> that was all it took. When he was amateur, though, he wasn't like that. Oh no, he ah, was. Yeah, he was more. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what? My first ever experience with Seth. This, mm. He's he's talking. This I got cool guy. Really? That's a made up. K Rock. K Rock. Kawasaki race champions. Yeah. I uh, was a young buck there racing, was watching the big, the big bikes. Yep. Thought Seth was a good rider. Yeah. Went up to meet him and, like, it's like, man, that was cool, you know. Don't yeah. know who this guy is, but yeah. cool got me. Went up there as a fan, asked his dad where he was. Yeah. Always in the van. Guy yep. wouldn't even look at me, talk to me, nothing. I don't remember this. But I do remember I got beat that day because, like, if you won the race, you'd win a bike. And okay. I led it to the last lap. The last oh. lap. Last lap. Who got I, you? Jason, Jason Brooks. Brooks. I don't ever heard that. from Connecticut. Okay. He 3, 348 on a two stroke. 349. Three, no, 348. It was 348. Yeah, yeah you're right. right. Chest protector, same size as the Pastranos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Lammy one. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jason lap. got me the last lap. He was a fast uh, local for guy. For a bike. He did some nationals, actually. Yeah. But a bike. Because if you ran race the B class Ironman, it was a five lap race. And if you won it, you won a 250F. Wow. Yeah. So it was a bike and, like, yeah, my dad probably spent his last dollar to get to the race, so yeah. I needed that yeah, bike, yeah. And, and I got passed. No time for a kid. No. Oh, I don't. Well, he says when he came up to me, I'm sure I was just pissed, right. and I probably just got my ass beat. My old man probably just beat the shit out of me, so I was not in the mood to meet anybody. <laughs> okay. Like, let's get out of here. <laughs> but the fact well, that I looked up to him at that moment was yeah. kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, back. yeah, it is. Yeah, big, absolutely. That's a mistake. Yeah, it's a, red it's a flag. big mistake. Yeah, uh, <laughs> X brand goggles. Choice of Kyle Chisholm, Ryan Brees, Freddie Norin. Josh Strang, Stranger, good dude. Uh, thanks to the X-Brand Goggles, EKSBrand.com. Pulp Show 20 is the code to save. Pulp Show 22 is the code to save with X-Brand. If you don't wear X-Brand, you won't win. If you need some, some top-level goggles, you let me know, Web. I'll get you on the X-Brand train. Uh, EKSBrand.com. All right, these questions are submitted by Corey Moser. You know who that is? Mm-hmm. You do? I know Moser. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Rapid fire. Steve, yep. if you get hit by a bus tomorrow, would you like to be remembered for Nets or the Privateer Race? Nets. Wow. Yeah, the Nets. The Nets. Because as you're going to hear in my race tech rant, not the privateer race. So, yeah, Nets. I, I saved everybody's lives with those. 
You're all welcome. You ever gone into one yet? No, you haven't really. Come on. Yeah. No. Okay. You, you wait till <laughs> yeah. you are. Yeah. A1, I'll be wrapped up in that. Yeah, one. A1 first practice, you'll see the number two hanging in one. <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah. All I right. thought this bike was fixed. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, too. next question. Uh, Cooper, this one's for you. What's the best and worst part about living next to cops? Next to cops? What? That's what it says. You live next to I don't cops. live next to cops, but <laughs> I guess if I did, the best is security. The Moser. worst is getting out of hand. Yeah. All right. We apologize. For the <laughs> uh, fucking we, we, cop. I That's just, what the fuck we come up with? I just read the questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Seth. Phil has embraced this injury by bringing his dad bod back. In your expert opinion, how much weight does he need to lose? Uh, I actually can't bust on Phil for this. He's actually an animal when it comes to training, so probably just 10 pounds to get to fight anyway, but he'll have it off. All right. Filthy, if you, had a, if you had to manscape Rarick, Webbs, or Beam's balls, <laughs> who, are you, who are you trimming? <laughs> Beam, dude, can you imagine that? <laughs> Not Beam, then? Beam's got a chauffeur from Utah doing it. Dude, yeah. <laughs> uh, so somebody's yeah. balls? Uh, yeah, Seth, Cooper, or Beams? Uh, Beam and Cooper are pretty hairy dudes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll go, oh, yeah, I'll go Seth. All right, 22 seconds. Manscape, don't forget, Pulp MX, code to save, Manscaped. Dude, throwing Beam in there was good. <laughs> yeah. How does Moser know, Moser know Beam? How does Moser know Beam? Uh, dude, everybody knows Beam. It's mental. <laughs> All right. Announcer knows him, right? <laughs> <laughs> Should we let it go? Yeah. Next question. All right, Steve. Yep. Who struggled with their bike more this season, Webb or Roxon? <laughs> oh, Webb, for sure. Because I don't understand Kenny's thing, because it's the same bike that he got second and won a bunch of races last year. So, yeah, I don't understand the Kenny thing. Yeah, that's a good – that's a valid point. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I understand being a former mechanic that bike setup isn't perfect, but, I mean, come on. All right. Coop's locked in right now, dude. <laughs> I know. He actually thinks this is like a legit game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's I like, know. I'm going to fucking win this. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Cooper, for two points, which do, which do you like more, leading a race start to finish or stalking a guy at the end of a race and passing them at the last minute? Oh, last minute. Nothing better. All right. Seth, which cordless tool company should sponsor Barsha for, saw, for sawing front ends off? <laughs> Salzall company? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Salzall. <laughs> real... My old man uses Salzall all the time. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was like, he was freaking MacGyver. Phil, in your normal crew, which guy flakes on plans the most? Ooh. That's a tough one. That is a tough one because we're all flakes. Yeah, everybody. Uh, who flakes the most? No, when I was out there. We did the mountain bike ride. You guys were good. It was like a whole group. Oh, shit. I, I really forgot. Impressed. Yeah. I was really impressive with that. a flat tire. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Actually, to be honest with you, I, none of us, like, when we all we, we all plan to get together, we're... I mean, it's got to say beam, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> beam. Yeah. <laughs> what about Osby? What about Osby? Osby's... He's a different, well, different character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Osby's yeah. a different character. How much but do that's, you... Oh, Os, Osby's not, like, a tight... Okay. He's... he's Close, but he's not in the outer, right? He's yeah, in the yeah. outer limits. Yeah, he's right, outer right, limits. Right. How so. much do you get home? Do you get up there much? Like once a year. Yeah, okay. Two Just weeks, for like a couple weeks. Off yeah. season, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve. Yep. How much money would you pay to put a stop to the championship bike engine engine blow up ceremonies? I would put the entire Yamaha LCQ money on that. $126,000. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe these idiots do this. Like, Okay, you want a championship, you want a bunch of money. Cool, right on. Rev your bike. I'm, I'm down. Do a burnout, I'm down. I'm all down with all that. I'm not some stick in the mud. But to keep fucking revving it and trying to blow it up and no one can talk and then just let's throw beer in front of it. And, like, I hope when I – listen. There's nothing better. <laughs> nothing. Oh. That feeling? Yeah, yeah. There, there, there it is. Come on. What, what point, though, do you just like, okay, man, let's celebrate my title and not try to blow the bike up? No, like, I, like, I agree with that. Like, I, I'm all for celebrating and doing a burnout and revving the shit out of it for a time period. But when we're an hour after the race <laughs> <laughs> and we're still revving the shit out of it and pouring beer down the exhaust, it's over, man. <laughs> it's over. 
Move along. That bike served you <laughs> Steve, well. It won you a Steve, championship. Steve, it's never over. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's I mean, over. I'm yeah. I'm it's with ridiculous. You on that. I think dropping the bike's worse. That's disrespectful uh, uh, to the mechanic. Uh, I'm also on board with that, as you know. Uh, I don't like that either. Yeah. Cooper, what was the dumbest theory or rumor you heard about your struggles this season? Mm. Frick, I had some good ones. Um, <laughs> Is this like social media comments or like or? Yeah, yeah, I think just right. more social. Yeah. On the spot, I don't really know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I heard it all, I guess. <laughs> no points for you. <laughs> yeah, zero do points. Do you, do Terrible. you, like, I can, so I, like, I got that DM about the number five, right? The guy upset. How many shit, how much shit do you get in your, do you even look? Yeah, I mean, you get it and see it. I don't. Like DM, but DM. Like, just, do you just. No, I don't. I don't. No, okay. Yeah, so off this. Or, man, never mind. Shouldn't say what? that. Well, you have somebody working your social. I think that's obvious. But I was a I'm sure you're in. I cleanse for a little bit. Yep. But. Yep. Yeah. I can't imagine the shit that you guys, you or you got, your level of guys gets. Like, what I get is ridiculous. Yeah. You know, and then somebody like yourself that's like, yeah. I usually, it's quite fun normally. I had a guy <laughs> tell me over and over, I can fix Kenny. Ha- give Kenny my number. I can fix him. I can. F- I will show him for two weeks that, it fi- and then I want a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> he said, I'll, I'll, "I won't tell him what to do. What I, I won't tell him how to how I do it. But for two weeks, I'll work with Kenny. It'll fix him. And then when it works, I want a hundred k, and I'll show him like wh- what mm. I'm. And I'm just like, yeah, bro. I don't know, man. Contact <laughs> Lucas Myrtle. I don't know, like." Just things like that, right? Yeah. You're just like, oh, my God, dude. Like, for, for, I don't know who you are, and I'm not passing this on. And why are you DMing me? Leave me alone. There's some good stuff on the internet. Yeah, oh, mental, dude. It's just nuts. Mental. All right. They Sorry. just type and send. <sighs> Seth, now that you've settled down with a chick, who's the most eligible bachelor in moto? Mm. The most eligible? This is a long time for his him and his chick, right? Like this is a while. Am I right? Like, mm. dude, I don't even know. Most eligible? How long? Six, hit, seven months? Maybe yeah, he's dated before. For hit this. up my boy Nick oh. Romano, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Man. Is that the one that? Is that the one who told me to suck on these nuts? Yeah. The Gandhi. Yeah. Okay. He's under eighteen too, but that don't matter. <laughs> uh, Phil, last one. Would you have fared better than Troll in four fifty Death Cross this season? Yes. <laughs> wow. Rookie of the year? <laughs> <laughs> he got a trophy. Rookie of the year. Yes, he did. <laughs> we went from rookie of the year last year, Sexton or Ferrandez? For Sexton. Sexton yeah. to Alex. Yeah. It's, same. Pretty, it's close. Same path. <laughs> <laughs> such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. That's been the X-Band Goggles Tales. <laughs> X-Band Goggles. All right, here we go. Uh, it is time to do the Yamaha LCQ uh, prizes and raffle. Uh, we're going to have these three guys in the studio help us out a little bit with the with the uh, prize winners. Uh, so, Marks, is this thing you sent me? This is what – yeah, okay. So, we raised for 22 riders $126,300 from you people. Thank you for that. Total, including the bonuses and everything else, as we said before commercial, $135,461. Uh, the Yamaha LCQ race – Chiz, top prize, including this is including the bonus money. Mm-hmm. 27710 for Chiz. Kevin Morantz, 21145 And by the way, uh, Morantz has agreed to give Brees some money for jumping on the Red, Red Cross. Red Cross. Oh, yeah. that's actually cool. So Morantz is kicking do down. About that. Yeah, Morantz is kicking down some money. I had to do some negotiations mm-hmm. between them. But yeah, Morantz is kicking down some of his money. Morantz got... A thousand dollar Hannah Ray whole shot award, only fans chick, <laughs> and he wow. got a thousand dollars from Christian Craig for the finish line. Hmm. Craig donated a thousand bucks, so Moran's made an extra two k on top of his money. Uh, and top fly rider too, he got the top fly rider. Chiz got top Atlas brace rider, top FXR racer, fastest lap uh, on the last lap, and fastest lap overall. Hmm. So Chiz made twenty four hundred dollars in bonuses. All right, it's Brees, been a good year for Chiz. Brees gets twelve thousand. 630. Marshall Welton, $12,367 for Marsh, including an extra $1,000 for um, no having no mechanic mm-hmm. on the line from Lee McCollum. Mm-hmm. Logan Carnell, $500 for the Lit Kit Award, 
and seven thousand five hundred and seventy-eight dollars for his fifth place finish for eight thousand seventy-eight dollars. Mason Kerr, Club MX rider, uh, he gets six thousand four hundred seventy-one dollars. Nick Schmidt. So we made random, randomly, we made seventh place more money just to see if these guys could do math mm -hmm. and figure it out all there. Mm -hmm. So seventh place was fifteen hundred dollars more than sixth place. Wow. And apparently, <laughs> apparently, Schmidt slowed down. And let Mason pass him. Really? Yeah. Right. And Mason's probably thinking, hell yeah, yeah I'm making more money, <laughs> yeah. dude. Fuck it. Yeah. 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 So Plus is a finish yeah. line. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I didn't see this, but apparently Schmidt clo let him let him by. Didn't Schmidt win this last year? He won this last year. He won 41 grand last year. Wow. Yeah. He's done well. Uh, so Schmidt won 8,841. Tristan Lane, 5,552. Uh, what did Lane win that 500 bucks for? Hmm. Give me a second. I'll look. Oh, I got it. Uh, PRMX gave extra money for eighth place. Devin Raper. Uh, he got. Uh, what did Raper win? He won uh, one hundred and fifty-five dollars and oh, eleven cents from from, from Snowboard, Snowboard Nation. Yeah. yeah. Devin Raper thirty-nine forty-five. Jared mm -hmm. Lesher won three thousand three hundred fifty-eight dollars. He got an extra two hundred bucks for the guy that finishes right behind A Ray. Swap Moto <laughs> Live <laughs> gives money. Uh, Adam Etignap won the most passes in the race and 11th place for 27.52. Uh, Bubba Pauly, 25.26. Josh Greco, 2,600. Rod Bell, 22.73. Rod Bell's mechanic won uh, 300 bucks from Eddie Ray and Jessica Patterson given to a random Did mechanic. Rod Bell crash? Why was he so far back? He had to crash, right? Yeah, I don't know if he... John Short crashed. I don't know if Rod Bell crashed or not. Uh... Brandon Muzika, Muzika, I think, won the award. Uh, I think he's, uh, that's how you pronounce Rod Bell's mm. mechanics. John Short mm -hmm. crashed, 2147. Scotty Winterstrom, 2121, including 100 bucks for wearing a kidney belt. Alex Nagy, 1895. Preston Taylor, 1768. Austin Kozad, 1642. Austin Kozad won extra money for being the last place Guts rider, Guts Racing seat covers. And Chiz won top placing Guts, ra guts Racing seat cover. I don't have those in there, so, so oh, yeah, yep. uh, add two fifty right, to each of right. those. Uh, A Ray won uh, nineteen fifty two. He got an extra five hundred dollars for Hero to Zero <laughs> award for losing the most spots, which yeah. makes sense. Uh, he got it from Ashley Faith and OnlyFans uh, uh, girl. Oh, so, um, Bryson Gardner won uh, four hundred bucks extra. Just a, just for a hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> just a hiccup. Pony. The Pony Pod uh, gave us money for the rider who had the worst lap time, and that was Bryson Gardner. He had, did like a 140. I don't know what happened. Uh -huh. uh, and Robbie Wageman gets 100 bucks from Starling and Cade for the shit end of the stick award, and he gets $800. Um, what was that for? Oh, first rider to DNF from Swap Moto. Uh, he also got a shit end of the stick award. He also got a did not save it award from Seal Savers. <laughs> so Robbie Wageman wow. made 1900 and sixty three dollars, and then he told me people Venmo him a bunch of money. That's really cool. yeah, a, yeah. He deserves that, dude. Right. That was bad. a wild ride. That yeah, so, so okay. Snowboard so, was buying a bunch of our jerky too. Oh, Snowboard bought our jerky. Oh, okay, bunch, bunch all right. Jerky, yeah. uh, we also had uh, uh, who got the the blurb one? Oh, that's a yeah. Actually, good. Good thing you reminded me. Go to Verb Moto Twitter. You can vote on the best podium speech of Chiz, Brees, and Morans. I think Brees needs to be disqualified because he keeps calling me Steve Matthews. <laughs> So I think he should get it because of that. Oh, you think he should get it? Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Vote, for, vote for him if he doesn't know my name. Uh, go to Verb Moto on social media and vote for the best podium speech. That person gets $200 as well. Uh, we had an out top, F, top placing. Oh, Wygant gave 100 bucks to Wageman. Good luck getting it, Robbie, from, y, from y, Wygant, but that's for the last place uh, rider as well. So a uh, lot of awards and a lot of cool things going on, and we're going to get those uh, – <laughs> Oh, Chiz won 500 bucks for top placing worst connection rider. It just goes w on and on. Wageman's okay, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, he's no. got torn knee ligaments. Oh, okay. Like oh, he, he does. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he has. He, dude, he had to blow something out. No, he, that's what I, I know, he, but I DM'd his brother there. He has multiple okay. ligament issues going on for yeah, sure. He does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you scary. know, But you know what? People say, be happy, man. You're not working a nine to five. For nineteen hundred bucks, yeah, so you no get the way. end off a supercross triple. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck yeah! Uh, I had a dirt bike's great. Dude. Yeah, yeah, dude, that was scary. Oh, it was bad. So, uh, so thank you to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for everybody for doing this. Really cool. All that money's going to the riders. Uh, so really, really appreciate it. I'm not taking a damn dime of this, and that's going to lead mm -hmm. me into my race tech rant next. By the way, uh, about this. So um, we are giving away, courtesy of the folks at Yamaha. A 2022 Yamaha YZ450F, 
and we have a bunch of other prizes to give away as well. And so, Marks, you have the little computer thingy. Yeah, the little computer thingy. The, so you're the gonna not so random randomizer. You're gonna say start. Yep. And well, then I'll, Phil, I'll, I'll hit start, and then Phil on the screen there. Uh, when you see the red button that comes up that says stop, you can tell me to hit stop whenever you want, and it'll pick the winner. Yeah. So let it go as long as you want or whatever, and you're gonna pick who wins this butt motorcycle. How how long can it run for? As long as you want it to run. Yeah, I mean. Oh, in, so in, just go in circle. Yeah, gotcha, yeah. Okay. In the interest of like show excitement, don't let it run for you know an hour. But oh, okay. Yeah. So, Steve, I, are we doing all the prizes after too? We're gonna run through them. Yeah, let's do all of them. Okay. I'm how, not. You know, I'm not even gonna look. I'm just minutes. gonna. When they say start, but you don't need to write anything down. It. Like we can just go. No. Go, so go, what, go. what I'll have you do is just say the name and the ticket number out loud, and I'll go back. I'll on start the a video. timer. Seven point one. Go back seconds. on the video and get them. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. You okay. Feel me? So for you everybody. It. Yeah, for each one. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, Phil, you ready? Yep. Is he running? Running. Stop. There we go. The winner of the 2022 Yamaha YZ450F YR20223468, Joshua McCollum. Joshua McCollum, thanks for buying a ticket. Thanks for supporting Privateers. You win a brand new. Just want a dirt bike. You YZ just want a fucking dirt bike? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Do I get Bill, are you happy for him? Josh, I want 10% when you sell that fucking thing. <laughs> All right, fantastic. All right, great. All right, you want to do the next one? All right, next prize. Uh, do you want to look on the screen there and say what it is? Dude, that's uh, awesome. Just fucking a, want a dirt bike. Yeah. Oh. Blue Crew, bro. That's what, that's what they do. Uh, complete set of gear from Fly Racing, including a Formula CC helmet. All right, let's hit this. Stop. YR20223202 Brian Burke style. Fly racing, complete set of fly racing. Do we got to do this every time? What? This is a long time. It's going to take a long time. Yeah, I told you it'd take two or three minutes if we keep going. We'll okay, all right. Uh, prize number three Race Tech, gold valve, revalve, pull bike setup, uh, including labor, parts, fluids, all of that from the folks at Race Tech. All free. All right, let's do it. Okay, stop. <laughs> Lee Slater, YR20224004. Congratulations, Lee Slater. Next up, we have a FXR complete set of FXR gear. Phil, this is your gear of choice. Mm -hmm. So you're also going to pick this winner, too. Okay. All right. Stop. Brian Tange, uh, YR20221027. Brian Tange. All right. Next up is. If you, uh, if you want me to make it a little easier, you yeah. can just read the last four numbers. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I will do that. All right. Next up from the folks at FMF, uh, FMF slip on exhaust. Stop. Tim Slayton, 22338. Oh, last one. Yeah, close enough. All right. 22338. J Law, 338. J Law. Tim Slayton. All right. Uh, Seth Rowe, Atlas neck, no, Atlas neck brace. Uh, we'll do Phil. You used to wear Atlas. Mm -hmm. He was an Atlas guy, too. You're an Atlas so guy? Was, yeah, more one point. Okay. Didn't you try one for a little bit? Mm. Okay. All right. Atlas neck brace. Go ahead, Phil. Stop. All right. Uh, <laughs> three, three, four, seven, seven six. six. Hunter Adams wins the Atlas brace. Atlasbrace.com. Thank you to that. Next up, seven. Works Connection. Seth Rowe. It's a Works Connection prize pack. Uh, here we go. Let's do this. I'm going to give these guys in the back a fair chance. One eight two eight Dustin Daughtry Dustin Daughtry 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 Daughtry. All right, wins the Works Connection Prize Pack. Uh, Liet set of premium Liet four point five boots. Let's do it. Stop. Two seven three one Corey Arnold wins the Liet set of boots. Uh, all right, number prize number nine Renthal uh, bars grip sprocket set with chain. Coop or Webb uses Renthal, so let's do this, Coop. Uh, Stop. All right, Tyler Schmidt, 2854. 2854, Tyler Schmidt gets the Renthal bars, grips, sprocket set as well. Decal Works, $250 gift card. Let's do this. Stop. Bobby Wilson, 3019. 3019, Bobby Wilson wins the Decal Works kit. Firepower, a full firepower kit, a battery, a chain, oil, oil filter, and tie down. Seth Rowe, let's do this. Brian Copland. Brian Copland, uh, 2467, wins the uh, firepower kit. Grillyourassoff.com, $150 valued ammo box full of seasonings. Have you tried the seasonings? Mm -hmm. You guys tried this? Did I give you some? Oh, God, they're good. All right, here we go. Stop. 
Joshua Jenkins, 1410. 1410. Joshua Jenkins wins the uh, growyourassoff.com. All right, another firepower uh, kit as well. Uh, all right, let's do it. Stop. Daryl Jamison, 2941, wins the firepower kit. Thank you to firepower as well. Pro Taper bars, grips, sprocket set with chain. ProTaper.com. Stop. Chris Williams, 3528. Thanks, Chris. 3528. Thank you, Chris, for playing. All right. A Y-Skill Piston Kit used by Club MX. Phil, here we go. Stop. Mark Gambetta, 3050 Wysco Piston Kit. Thank you, uh, Mark, for doing that. And uh, all right, next up, Maxima Dogger. Legend. I'll let you do the Seth. Nope. Oh, boy. No noise. I don't know. <laughs> Stop. Devin Stevenson, Devin Stevenson, 2778. Thanks for playing. Uh, thanks for buying a ticket, I should say. Maxima Racing Pro Filter Kit. Um, y School Garage Buddy Kit. Seth, let's do this. Here we go. Stop. Joshua Orlowski. Joshua Orlowski, 1284. You win the uh, Garage Buddy Kit. Roost MX Sticker Kit for your motorcycle. Prize 18. All right, stop. Dan Zink, 1299. Dan Zink, 1299. You win the Roost MX sticker kit. And last but not least, Guts Racing Complete Seat. All right. Stop. Chad Johnson, 2447. Chad Johnson, Is that you the win. Arena cross Chad Johnson? <laughs> yeah, maybe, oh, right? Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Right. Uh, <laughs> thank you to the people that gave away the prizes. Thank you to everybody who bought it. A hundred and twenty six thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's so, nuts, dude. Dude, that right? It's nuts. It, it's just nuts. yeah, it's it's unbelievable. So thank you everybody for doing it and uh and making it happen and uh, super appreciate it. And uh yeah, looking forward to um, Dude, it is impressive actually from like meeting you as an ex brand goggle guy. Yeah. To now you're like, you know, having a race. I know. I can't, I can't believe grand. Muley and Prater gave me a race. When yeah. I when I asked him, I'm like you're in this palace with a moat out around it and everything. It's crazy. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> no, this is a, you came a long way, dude. This is a upper middle class house. Yeah, and, well, I mean, uh, you know, this is upper, upper middle class. I'm lower, lower class. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do live in Vegas, you know, so, uh, uh, you know, not quite the same real estate out in Florida. So, uh, so thanks everybody again. I really appreciate it. And yeah, if we do the race again, it, it, hopefully it'll get even bigger, even, even uh, bigger than this. I, I would hope down the line. So, uh, Phil Nicoletti, Cooper Webb, Seth Rarick in studio. We've got lots more to talk about. Let's get Zombie on the line if we can, uh, Pete, and, uh, and and talk to him about his his career. MotorcycleNewsyJobs.com. Job of the week. This is a big one. This is really maybe, maybe Coop could help help this one out. Uh, upload your job. Upload your resume for free today. Uh, and if you're a company looking for a really good person in the industry, go to MotorcycleNewsyJobs.com and check them out. And the job of the week this week: factory services technician for KTM. Wow. Yeah. Under general supervision, the factory racing tech provides a high level of technical service and equipment maintenance to support the factory racing team riders. Whoa. I, th I didn't know they still had the factory services stuff. This is like the motors work and suspension they do and everything. Yeah, I thought that was done. Me too. So if you can fix the 2022 KTM, now's your <laughs> chance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. Wow. Uh, uh, Full-time job, MotorcycleNewsyJobs.com. So this, is all, this isn't maybe the race team, but this is right underneath testing – uh, factory services stuff, yeah. Help working with other other Husky Varner, Husky Varna. Does it have the pay on there? I might. Doesn't sign have up. the pay on there, really? no, but it's got. It's a full time okay. job. You do need one or two years of experience in race motor service or equivalent training. Mm. You got mm. that? No. Mm, no. Okay. All right. Uh, MotorcycleNewsJobs.com. Uh, our next guest on the show, brought to you by the folks at ORW OffroadWarehouse.com. Travis, you just went there. You got some great service getting the SDI suspension installed. Yes, I did. In I the love Raptor, it. I love my truck with it. Pulp of Mexico to save at offroadwarehouse.com. ORW, official sponsor of? Club MX. Club me. MX team. And you? Yep. ORW on the, on the butt patch. Mm -hmm. uh, so check, stop in to check out the latest in truck, Jeep, Overland, UTV, and racing products from the industry's leading brands. Offroad Warehouse uh, stores are staffed by knowledgeable, experienced team. Plus, they install everything they sell. Offroadwarehouse.com uh, and use the code Pulp of Mex. Uh, our next guest on the show, brought to you by ORW. This man called it a career. This week in the Salt Lake City, but I bet you we still see him at some races. He's a, he's a legend in the sport. Chris Blos, what's up, man? Not much. How are you guys? We're good, man. Congratulations on a career. Um, you know, you and Justin Brayton uh, wrapping it up 
this weekend, I asked him, and Coop, maybe you can relate. Like, so I asked Brayton, I said, hey, like late in the race, are you looking around the stadium and like soaking it in and thinking about all that? And Brayton's like, no, man, the whoops were pretty gnarly. I kind of had to focus on everything. <laughs> what about you, Blos? Like, did, did you have time to like let your mind wander a little bit? No, not at all. Um, I'm kind of right there with Justin. Like, the track was pretty tricky, um, especially the whoops. And then I kind of got into uh, like a late race battle with Swole um, because of the lapper kind of held me up and he caught up to me because of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, Swole actually got me with one lap to go and I ended up getting him back. Um, but yeah, there was really no time to kind of take it all in. Kind of tried to do that prior to the start of the main event, but. Um. Yeah, there's really no time for that. Right, you got to focus on everything. Uh, mm-hmm. How were the whoops, Coop? For you, like you, you know, they're tough. Yeah, they're 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 they were gnarly, right? Like <clears throat> yeah, all day. The way I had that that corner, no speed, long, yeah, dry. Chris, yeah. Chris, this is Seth here. I was pretty surprised. Uh, what what's practice? You weren't you on the board or on top of the board? He was. Yeah. And Second one. You were jumping the whoops, which was shocking because you've always been to in my. I mean, every time I've seen you, you've been. You've been a whoop guy, but you you always skim, and I was kind of shocked that you chose the jumping route, and it was faster. Yeah, you know, I was watching the the East Coast guys before we went out, and actually watched Lopes go through there. No, that's true. Yeah, he was. Yeah, because he he set like he was one of the fastest on the board, and other guys were skimming, and they weren't they weren't any faster than him. So I was like, you know what? Maybe there's probably something to that. And I kind of learned the jumping thing in arena cross back in the day and um that's like kind of and i kind of got a good jump line down and it ended up working so um at the end of the night you know everyone in the heat race we obviously skimmed but man it was just like powder on top of hard dirt in the heat race so everything just like blew apart so fast and then uh the mains obviously everyone was jumping so you know for the most part you guys see mookie go four right three yeah, three four yes, that was big that, that was, was big, dude. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, so no time to really soak it in then. Kind of like just whatever, look around and, you know, you, I, I saw you, a bunch of people had T-shirts around your rig and everybody else. So did you have a lot of people out at the race? Yeah, I just had my, my family, my wife, my kids, my dad, you know, my father-in-law, um, friends, you know, one of my best friends who actually uh, was at my very first Supercross ever. In 2006, he went to, you know, that one as well. Um, yeah, so that was about it. And, yeah, it was it was a good time. We stayed in Park City, had a lot of fun. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. Dude, did you do the COVID-7 races when we were there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, I did the COVID-7. Like, yeah. I think all of us loved it, right? Like, I think we went there like, oh, God, like <laughs> Salt Lake, right? Like, I know they were talking to Glendale. They were yeah. talking to St. Louis. And I think we all went there like, oh, man, this you, is going to suck. Was sick, especially Park City. Dude, it was awesome. It's awesome, yeah. I, I mean, I stayed downtown Salt Lake, but I was driving to Park City every day to mountain bike. Yeah. And it was amazing. Where'd you stay, Coop? Yeah, Salt Lake, just downtown. Oh, you did? Okay. Mm-hmm. Poop Coop's not spending one of no, those. No, you, you think I'm cheap, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, like you said, you stay in a Park City uh, blows. Yeah, that place was rad. That whole thing is cool. Yeah, it's super cool. You know, we stayed in Park City during that, you know, the stay back in, I don't know, I forget what year that was, last year? No, 2020. Year before that. Yeah, 2020. Yeah, 2020. And it was super cool. We went to a bunch of, like, waterfalls on some hikes and went to the Olympic Park. And when we went back this year, we obviously stayed there. And there was still a bunch of snow on the mountain, so it took at least my oldest kid, like, sledding and got to do a bunch of fun stuff with him and the family. So, yeah, it was a, it was a good time. We went a little bit early. Um, just to go do a bunch of fun stuff. And then, yeah. obviously, when it came race time, yeah, right. they were there. So I, I saw the interview with you. So you, you, you hit hard at A3. A was it A3 when you hit hard? A, A2. A2. Yeah. You hit really hard at A2, and you had a rib broke or something, and you're like, I don't want to miss Glendale. It's my last race in Glendale ever. That's where you're from. And you got shot up to, to go around Glendale. <laughs> just a warrior, yeah. Blos. You just weren't going to miss it. You just were not going to yeah. miss it. <laughs> Yeah, not going to miss it, especially the last round. I mean, being born and raised here in Phoenix, like, I never really left. So, Mm -hmm. you know, like a lot of people, they leave and go to, you know, training facilities and SoCal or, you know, wherever the the hot spot's at. Um, But, you know, I pretty much stayed here my whole, 
my whole career and um a2 i got three broken ribs and yeah, i tried writing that tuesday afterwards and i was just like yeah this is i i don't i don't know if i can do this and ended up you know getting a couple shots in my ribs <laughs> and for, even on press day on friday was pretty miserable but um i think maybe the shots or maybe just the adrenaline kicked in on saturday and it was a triple crown race too so i was like during practice you know you had to be like what is it top 18 yeah so and i was right at the 18th mark i was like man i really gotta send it and i sent it a lap and i think i qualified like eighth or something like that so <laughs> um and then just managed the main event so yeah, it was definitely one of the most painful times I've ever raced, that's for sure. Yeah, I like that. I like, you know, just, yeah, I'm going to tough it out in front of the family and friends. That, that's pretty cool. What a career you had. Um, you did some arena cross stuff, won there, uh, fourth place in a 450 main event in Vegas, a lot of top fives in 250 Supercross. Is there one or two rides that stand out? Um, super, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. I mean, I've had like a lot of great rides. I have like my Aussie championship, mm -hmm. um, the Canadian championship. Um, yeah, not necessarily like one specific ride. I just, I feel like every year, like there's some standout rides that, you know, that I have and, um, was the yeah, so nothing really fourth? that. Was that Vegas? Fourth in Vegas. Hart Hart Huntington. Huntington. Yep. Dude, that stands out to me. You crushed it that night. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good ride. I didn't even, I didn't even know I was fourth to like the very end, and then because uh, that was the night that like the Wyndham and Stewart crash in the loops. Remember, you guys remember that one? Yeah. yeah was yeah. that what ten or eleven? Right. That was eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I didn't know I was fourth till, till uh, late in the, that main event, and then yeah, I rode that one home. So I was pumped on that one for sure. Uh, Phil, you had any blows battles? You guys? Blows, uh, Christopher, I feel bad. I didn't even come see you or Brittany this weekend. But your guy's semi was all the way at the top, and I wasn't fucking walking up there, man. <laughs> <laughs> what a friend. <laughs> what a friend. <laughs> I didn't see Chris, and I didn't see – obviously, I didn't see you in Atlanta because, yeah, I don't even know. Um, I was sick. And then, uh, yeah, I didn't see Blows one time this year. I feel terrible. That's oh, weird, well. Phil, because I, I remember I came to see you in Atlanta, and you were sleeping. I was. And I walked in your rig. I, yeah. I, I was upstairs, and I didn't. Uh, no one told me, but I wasn't feeling great at Atlanta, and Atlanta was a you shitty day, You definitely didn't man. see him in the main event, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was bad. But, no, Blos and I were teammates in 13 with Alan. Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, I yeah, totally yeah. forgot about yeah, that. So yeah, the Enfab yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. So Christopher and Bobby and I, K. Yeah, and Bobby that's K. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You, you guys were solid. About that too. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. I wasn't in the beginning. Chris yeah. was. But then uh, you started making, you missed the first six or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, then, first six. And then, uh, yeah, me and Chris and Bob were yeah. pretty solid. What a then, meathead team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah dude, was dude, dude team. there was a lot of flying helmets out here. There was, and a lot of swear words. Did that team do outdoors? Yeah, we did. Yeah, me and Chris did. Bob didn't, though, right? Uh, yeah, Bob did. Bob, did. Bob, another animal. Bob, Bob, oh yeah, no. a bench Bob, on that. <laughs> Bob's the man. Dude. Bob, because Bob did Canada, so he would go back and go forth. back. Oh, and that's forth. the year he did a national yeah. Saturday in Canada he, Sunday. Yeah, we, he we raced Unadilla, and then he went. Uh, he did Gopher Canada. or something. Yeah, and that's right. Something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Gopher. That's an easy track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did that twice. I think he did it twice. Gnarly. Yeah. Yeah, but me and Chris had some good times. Yeah. Uh, and, and on another note, I drove that once. I drove to Unadilla and drove to Canada to watch. So, I mean, you really? know, same Gosh. kind of Iron Man stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Same, same yeah, level. Yeah, you had to perform the next day. Right. Uh, God, you, yeah, you were teammates with mm -hmm. Blows. I forgot mm -hmm. about that. Just, mm -hmm. just, a couple just slamming just your heads into the lockers. Team. Yeah, yeah, the aggro yeah. team, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cortisol's high in that race. I tried to get parts out of Alan Brown. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Hey, Alan, can I get a clutch? I've been on this one for 37 hours. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a yeah, chain? Let's just flip it. Yeah, yeah, can I get a chain, man? Mine's about to snap. Yep. You know? <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. But uh, Chris, how's the uh, suspension company coming? Uh, you yeah, got you got a race, oh, race yeah. tech outlet there. I saw, yeah. the, uh, I saw the Phoenix sticker on, uh, on the forks this weekend. Yeah, yeah, no, the Phoenix thing's going really good. It's been... Uh, kind of something completely different that I had, I've had to learn like the business side of things, which mm -hmm. has been pretty fun, but yeah, no, I started at the first of the year and kind of slowly just been doing stuff. Obviously my main focus was racing and training and all that kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, but now the season's over, ramped that up and no, things has been going really good and it's been fun kind of learning more and more about that. 
mm-hmm. whole suspension side of things. So I uh, I didn't know this. Is that your post race plan? You do you own you open a suspension shop, suspension company? Yeah, yeah, it was a post race plan. Um, you know, because obviously I knew racing was coming to an end and kind of had to figure something out because obviously I wasn't making millions of dollars racing dirt bikes. So, um, yeah, just figured it was a good fit. Could kind of stay within the industry and stay at the dirt bike track locally at least. And, um, yeah, so it's been a lot of fun so far. That's cool, man. That's awesome. Yeah, it's nice to nice to have somebody to have something to fall back on. Chris, I got a question yeah. for you, and these guys yeah. probably are probably going to – be mad because i don't remember the year but my first memory of you racing was when you rode for tld he was and, bad uh, you were badass that year no dude, 09. legit podium oh, right or, or like just top five every race yeah, a lot of top fives for sure i don't know if chris if you yeah got top fives no we were close to podiums um but yeah that year was 2009 when i rode for troy lee and then uh it was i was just a filling guy that year yeah and somewhat of a short notice but um yeah, that was a good year. Well, my that question was, was like, like, I mean, maybe yeah. it was just a tough situation, but I feel like that year you were really, really good, and you, I believe, went 450 after that. Like, w- was there no potential to stay in the 250s to try to get a championship or be a top-level runner, or, like, what kind of transpired? Yeah, no, that was uh, that was the plan was to go – 250 the following year that was the year Ping, david pingree was a team manager mm-hmm. um and also the following year and the plan was to i that was when the u.s open was still around so when i went to the 450 for the u.s open and Pingree's like hey just get here let's start training let's get ready for that we'll figure stuff out for the west coast the following year and then things just kind of went south um there with the whole team um not because of me but uh maybe they just didn't believe in me at that point Mm -hmm. um so yeah so i really had no other option besides and then good old kenny watson gave me a ring and it was really my only option so that's when i jumped to the 450 class yeah i just think that's crazy i I remember that year actually that is nuts that you didn't get anything yeah Mm -hmm. you were good that year i think i remember who i think you filled in for uh jimmy albertson yeah, because I, I think he, if I remember right, he, Jimmy broke his Yeah, he broke his wrist his or, back. or uh, some wrist or back or something. It was bad. But, um, yeah, I was, I was going to say that, that's a good question, Coop, because back then, I mean, you were still kind of a kid in 09. You know what I mean? We're around the same age. Like, what, what was your, what's your biggest regret? What, what could you have done different, you know, to maybe, uh, you know, if it was, you know, riding for a team or a decision that could have put you on a different path? I don't know. I mean, that's a good question. I've I've kind of asked myself that mm-hmm. question, you know, in the past. Like, man, what would I have done different? And I don't know. I mean, like with 2009, like I would have loved to stay in the lights class because I feel like I I could have been good and been a podium guy, and mm-hmm. um, especially with a good team under my belt for a good year. And um, you know, I think that's kind of why I came back to the lights class because I felt like I did want a podium and mm-hmm. I felt like I belonged up there. And, um, you know, I kind of did my, I don't know how many years in the 450 class and had good success with that. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I really don't have any, any regrets um, because it kind of shaped my career to what it is now. And I went and did arena cross for a while and that was fun. And, yeah, mm-hmm. here we are now, 16 it, years later. It's pretty cool. Like, you, you, you had a career that like 95% of pro motocrossers would love to have. Like, if you, Seth Rowe, if you told you, like, hey, man, 100%. you're going to you're not gonna win a race, but you're going to get shit tons of top 10s and top 5s, like, 100%. yeah, you Dude, know. I, I don't think the average fan that's listening to the show understands, like, how great of a, they're obviously looking at, you know, like the Roxons and the. Right, or the, Webs. Or, or the Coops and the yeah. Marvs and blah, blah, blah. But, right. yeah, I have the utmost respect for, your, you've had a journeyman career, and it's, you could have easily, you know, just hung the boots up at any time and went and got a normal job, but you had to scratch and claw and fight your way for everything. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I have the utmost respect for what you've done, and I think it's been badass, man. Yeah, I think it's been, uh, and I appreciate that. It's awesome to hear people say it. It's one thing I feel like I've, that, you know, this whole career has taught me. It's 
taught me to fight and to dig deep and to never give up on yourself, especially if you have something you really want to do and, and love to do. So now there's been lots of times, like you said, I could have hung up the boots and went and got a normal job and, and had no ride, but you know what? I made it work. I mean, pitting out of rental cars and getting top tens in the 450 class. And, um, you know, there's been a lot of people that have helped along the way that I'm super grateful for, but, um, it definitely teaches you a lot about yourself and can teach you a lot about life. And yeah, because yeah. no matter what, you know, life's going to be hard. It's just what you make out of it, you know? So, yeah. yeah. One, one thing I've always said, uh, Coop can vouch for this the last several years. It's, I think it's pretty cool. Like no matter what class you're in or no matter where the race is held, I don't mm-hmm. care who's on the line. You, I will bet my house you're in the main event. You just, yeah. at, at all costs, you're going to be in it. Just solid as solid well, as a break. And most of the time, it's very competitive, you know. That, but that goes to um, uh, you know, Pulp Max Fantasy is very popular. Well, Bloats is just like, you know, what you're going to mm-hmm. get like yeah. you pick mm-hmm. them and you're just like, I'm good. Yeah, I don't need I to worry. Just, I just think there's yeah. something to be said for that. Like to be that solid for that long in in different eras is just awesome. Mm-hmm. Right, right. And what's funny is the kids that Chris is racing with now. No idea what Chris did in 09. No clue. They're riding 65s. No, yeah, They're on yeah. 50s. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's yeah. kind Most of... Most of them weren't even born yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them weren't even born. Yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, you know, it, it's cool. It's great. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, hey, yeah, it's great, Chris. Here's a, not off t- a little off-topic question, but whatever happened to your brother, Michael, I remember him racing back in the day. Did he just he just hung him up, or did he not have an opportunity? Yeah, he just, yeah, just hung him up. Um yeah, uh, he obviously was really good. He had podiums before, and um, yeah, he just um, hung it up. And yeah, wait, Michael podium? Yeah, he in Atlanta two thousand. Was that Samsung team? I remember on that. Yeah. Oh, Samsung. holy shit! He did. Wow. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah. good job. Wow. Um, Blows, have you ridden every brand? I can't think of a Suzuki for you. Yeah, to Suzuki. So 2007, was it 2007? 2008. Uh, Fun Center Suzuki. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you wrote everything. <laughs> Fuck, dude. You've been around. <laughs> 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 I thought I'd been around, but yeah, you dude, got me fun, beat by two years. Was that years. Fun Bikes? Who was on that team? That was uh, what, Paglia. Uh, Paglia, Sharon, Brady Sharon. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sharon, Sharon, my brother, and myself were yeah. on that team. And then the following year, it was Paglia, was it Paglia, Sealy. Mm hmm. I can't. I think that was it. Just those yeah. two. So you rode, you rode everything, raced everything. Yeah, raced I, everything. Yeah. Uh, not a KTM, but I guess uh, yeah, yeah, somewhat of a KTM. You I know? count. KTM I count brand. the Husky and the Gas Gas as a KTM. So yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so you yeah, I've rode it all. You raced everything. So are you really done? Are we going to see a race in World or what? You know, 2022 is not over yet, and there's still World Supercross. Uh, so I maybe figured, I figured so. Yeah, maybe something like that. Race. Yeah, um, that's it, dude. That'd be cool to do. Uh, it's got to maybe potentially find a ride for that. So, um, yeah, no, that would be a lot of fun to go travel the world for four or five rounds. And it is, uh, it is rather ironic too. Like Brayton and Blows stop racing. Like kind of the same guy, solid. Oh, you know, solid, good riders. Yeah. Like gonna give you their effort in shape. Like, you know, I mean, Brayton's probably a little more technical than than Zombie Blows, but. You know what I mean? Both guys that you're just like, you know what we can count on. You just know the yeah, same thing. So. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Uh, and, and, by, and by the way, Chris, are you, are you upset that I gave you the nickname Zombie, or how is that, is that sticking, or I don't know how that works for you. But. No, it's, it's sticking. The zombie's stuck. Okay. Do you guys I know? don't get it. I, I, so, I had a flashback I, memory of when we were in Denver, and where I, I walked the part of the track where I, I got that nickname. I was like, oh, here's where it happened. Yeah. I remember so, the race, but what happened? Okay, so by the way, I got a text from Chris at Race Deck. You raced a KTM at Monster Cup. For Metzger. Oh, good God. <laughs> yeah, for like Mike him. Metzger? <laughs> yes, he was trying to for potentially start a team. The and... Godfather? <laughs> <laughs> the Godfather. Yeah. Did he give you that a tattoo? Was, hey, <laughs> this is how old Blos is. Yeah. Dude, he raced year, for the Godfather. What year was this, dude? <laughs> well, Monster Cup. So did you wear a visor on the helmet, or did part of the contract <laughs> get taken off? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, I can't remember what year exactly that was. Two thousand. God, oh, eleven. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 11. Yeah, had that's, to be eleven. That's great. That's, that's awesome. So he did race a KTM. Wow. So the zombie nickname. So Denver Supercross. The last time we were there before this year, main event. Blows. I don't know what he was on. Blows just dies in a, in, in the whoops. Right. 
Or was it rhythm? No, it was, was it? like this little 90, and you kind of went up on this plateau, and it was like a double-double before a Supercross triple. And you just die. He, he's laying on the yeah. side of the track for what seems like three to four laps, like not moving. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm tweeting, Zombie's out cold, or uh, for, Blos is out cold, like Blos is done. You know, whatever. Like I'm like, like he's not moving. Medics are there. You're waiting for the red flag, dude. Yeah, medics are there. Nothing's going on. I got my binoculars. <laughs> and someone I, just raises from the dead. Yeah. So I look away. I look away. I look back. Fucking guys, back on the track. No front number plate. <laughs> and I'm like hitting the jumps again. <laughs> I, I'm just like, hold on. He wasn't moving. Chris is out there fucking cross eyed. Yeah. <laughs> so I started. I said. I said on Twitter, he's a zombie. He's raised from the dead. Like so. Okay. Like since then, it's been zombie yeah, blows yeah, yeah, because honestly, Chris, you were down for the count for a number of laps. He had to ride to avoid taking the concussion test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right? No, it wasn't that bad. Uh, Chris is <laughs> Chris is laughing because he's probably really had to do that. I got to get up and make sure I'm not actually concussed, so I don't have. So I yeah. Don't Chris skip doesn't even weekend. remember and, what you're talking. About. No, <laughs> front, what do you mean, dude? No front number play, and he's just he's back at it like nothing happened. <laughs> Meanwhile, he laid there for like five minutes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you know that that race, Steve. I was only two laps down. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry, my bad. So you're <laughs> out for about a minute and a half. You're saying? Yeah. <laughs> How <No>. cold? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's, I nicknamed him Zombie, and it just stuck. Okay. And we always just call him Zombie ever since then because he literally just came up that from the was dead that recently. That was only a few years ago. Yeah, and well, last time we were at Denver, 19, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Ago yeah. Than we were that. just like, he, I'm just like blows us out. Like, like I literally said, blows us out of this race. Like whatever. Like, and then there he is, dude. Mm-hmm. He's back. So. That's another thing, dude. You've taken some gnarly hits in your career, and you just yeah, keep going. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure that's something I want to brag about, but <laughs> well, no, I just uh, yeah, definitely tough as nails. Jesus, that what was it? Where'd you get hurt? Uh, the nor was it Glendale in the whoops? This year? Oh no, uh, this is a few two years, years ago. ago. Last year, last year, oh, Michael Lindsay's God. team. Yeah, that no, was last. A bad one. No, last year was the McAdoo thing. Yeah, I'm talking oh. about the. It was the whoops in 2020. Tw- was it yeah. 2020, dude? That was bad. Yeah. Now, that was with yeah, the was kidney and one. ribs and everything, right? Yeah, that Blows? Was bad. yeah, that was like wrist, yeah, ribs. Uh, that's what I'm saying, though. You're out for that long yeah, comeback, top 10, no problem. That, that's badass. Look, yeah. Ninth, Salt Lake. Yeah, we got the results in front of us. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> Great career, man. It's fantastic. Everyone that beat him has a race win. Really? Except Pierce. No. Oh. Solid. Yeah, mm-hmm. unbelievable. Good job. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, by the way, uh, Chris Blow is brought to you by ORW, uh, sponsoring the Club MX team of Phil. This is what was on Phil's ass, ORW. they got stores all across America, Pulp of Mexico to save, offroadwarehouse.com. Also, in honor of Chris Blow being on the show, Ride Engineering wants to wish him the best of luck in his future endeavors. Chris rode Ride Engineering triple clamps many times through his career, including the last two seasons at AGE Motorsports Gas Gas, the Ride Engineering Gas Gas rubber mounted split triple clamps. Improve handling precision and reduce vibration without sacrificing comfort. Pulp Fan 20 at ride-engineering.com, the official clamps of zombie blows. Ride-engineering.com. I got a text from Tyler Bright. He must be listening. said, 08 Outdoors, he ripped it. <laughs> 08. Think of the, 08 Outdoors. 08 Outdoors, he yeah. ripped it. You remember God. Tyler Bright, Chris? Yeah, I remember Tyler Bright. Yeah, he's my roommate now in Florida. Oh, nice. Yeah, he used to rip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bad boy energy. Bad boy energy Yamaha. Yeah, bad oh, was, that, boy. was right. that bad boy energy? I remember that. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, uh, I used to like outdoors. But then it just, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, Coop said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Supercross only program. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I dig I, it. I get it. I understand it. That's for sure. The I outdoors. Re- <laughs> I remember, too. You remember outdoors in 2013, Chris? Toward the Unfortunately, end of it? I- I burnt the clutch every single race. Yeah, I remember it. <laughs> Unadilla Alan couldn't figure it out till the last round. Yeah, Unadilla blows was struggling pretty bad outdoors, and Alan told him, "Hey, it's expensive to get to Unadilla. <laughs> I think you should stay home this weekend." <laughs> <laughs> I show I up knew- to Unadilla and. Blow ain't there. Yeah, yeah. They didn't even unload his Wait, bike. Wait, really? Yeah, I swear to God. It's expensive wow. to go to Unadilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, yeah. yeah, I knew. What year was that? 13? 13. Yeah, I knew that had to be a rough outdoor season for him because we were battling. I'm like, <laughs> I don't belong in this battle. He was 84? Yeah. What number? 84? So. Yeah, 84, 84 that year. Yeah, Fo- yeah. Fox gear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Good times. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks, Blows. Thanks for calling in, man. Appreciate it. Congratulations. I know we'll see you back at the track and, and all that. But, yeah, what a, what a great career. It's good. Yeah, you did yep. well, Christopher. 
You did well. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah. Uh, thanks for calling in, buddy. Thank tell, you, man. Yeah, tell Brittany c- hi. Congrats on a great career, buddy. Yep. See ya. Yeah. You guys right. have a good one. See you, man. That's uh, that's Chris Blos, everybody. Brought to you by the folks at OffRoadWarehouse.com. Yeah, absolutely great. Yeah. Legend. Dude, I, yeah, I love dude's Chris. awesome. Yep. I feel what, bad for not seeing him on Saturday. Fuck. What, what year did it like turn pro? Oh, oh six. Oh five. Oh five. I have it here. Yeah. Oh five. Dude, Michael. Michael was. Michael was badass. Was he? Yeah. yeah. I, forgot, I remember Michael, I but I forgot I Michael wrote for Samsung Yamaha. Yeah. Uh, and Buku. No, was that Chris for Buku? Chris. Chris was Buku. Okay. Chris. Yeah. Uh, Seth Rarick brought to you by the folks at a Cherbies, Cherbies USA. Cooper Webb uh, using a Cherbies on that KTM. Uh, Max Volan and Aaron Plessinger and Marvin as well. Uh, Barsha using uh, a Cherbies to ram the shit out of people. Uh, Anderson, many others <laughs> along the way. A Cherbies <laughs> USA on social media. Add a Cherubies USA on social media. A Cherubies USA uh, or follow along on social media. Uh, they fine tune their products to offer the highest level of performance and protection refill. in the industry. You need a refill? Yeah. Okay. All right. Go downstairs and get it. Yeah? Yeah, because Pookie's. Mine's right here, though. Okay. All right. Phil's going to go. Grab mm-hmm. one from this fridge. All right. We're going to go. All right, Phil. I'll do this read and then you go. Uh, Cherubies USA, uh, please check them out at a Cherubies. Uh, thank you to those guys for coming on board and bringing a Seth. Rarick uh, on the show, and uh, still looking for something for for, for Rarick, just for a job. Mm-hmm. You want to be permanent 20, co-host? Twenty three, dude. I'm open. Twenty three. He's a free agent. Oh, co-host. Yeah. You want to be co-host here? Can we negotiate on air right now? Uh well, do I got to fly you from Florida? Because you're in love now, so yeah. I got to fly you from Florida. Yeah. Uh, that might be out. remote. Yeah, I might he be out. Work on remote. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. Can I work remote? We're working on that. Marx is working on that over there. I got a spare room. Dude. I'll set up a studio. Uh, yeah. The, the, the FaceTime thing. Like, yeah. I got a Carmichael no, number one yeah. jersey. I got a. You do? Do you? Yeah. Do you have anything from old racers when you were a kid? Oh yeah. What do you got? Oh, What's cool? Plastics, go. pants, yeah, jerseys. Oh, know. you were one of those guys. You don't you know were... whose they are, but he has them. I have a Brock Hepler rear Suzuki Fender. No, oh, wow. That he signed. Check it out, dude. You know what I always thought was the sickest thing ever, and huh. I, I still well, I had it. I don't know where it is now. It was when Honda had the last name on the side of the. Their seat cover? Yeah. I had a Lusk one from Southwood. Oh, did you? That was sick. Oh, that yeah. is sick. I had uh, Throttle Jockey made those, and I had Throttle Jockey make me one for Ferry when I was his mechanic. Those were sick. Yeah, they, they didn't want to do it because, it, you know, it's custom and stuff, but they, yeah, made me, yeah, yeah. they made me an all-black gripper with Ferry on the side like the Honda. Yeah, dude, those oh, were yeah. so cool. Uh, Remember uh, when they did the Mummy Returns graphics? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And another movie. Uh, Scorpion King. Scorpion King. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did both of them. How about Revenge Energy? Remember that? No. Revenge, yeah. No. All the guy, I, I just remember Yogi, Wyndham. Uh, a bunch of poser. It it's Cytomax now. Oh, okay. But it started as revenge. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was cool. It had the shaker bottles. So it was before its time. Nice, nice. Well, uh, Cherubies USA bringing you a Ch- uh, Seth Rarick on the show, and also uh, the eight o'clock hour, which we're just past, brought to you by Suspension Direct. Uh, please check out the eClick stuff for all Jeep, uh, Ford Raptors, UTVs, and more. Uh, I got a podcast coming out with Dan Worley. He used to work for Ron Roncata as well. So uh, looking forward to listening to that. Uh, they got hard to find suspension parts along with WP, Showa, Walker Evans, Fox, KYB, more. And again, the UTV stuff is just taking off. Uh, they've shifted some development to there, making race proven and winning chassis components, suspension upgrades, and tools utilized by teams around the world. E Click, Marks, how's the E Click on the Raptor? They're lit. Have you been mobbing lately? Uh, no, I've been I've been busy running all your shit, but I uh, I'll go out mobbing again. Don't worry. This Philip. this this pulp thing is turned into a lot. <laughs> It's a lot it's a of work. We've got dude. a Mav TV now. It's a lot of work. And we're on Two Wheel Tuesday on Mav. It's 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 a lot. Uh, okay, a couple things. Um, we want to do some giveaways. So Ricky Carmichael was in that seat uh, not too long ago for Show 500. And we're going to give away a signed Fox jersey that he did for us just for Show 500. Uh, how do we want to do this? What do we want to do? What seat was MC in? I was about to say. This uh, was... MC was over there. Oh, are you kidding me? We need to switch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. The huddle one. Yeah, there are. There's a four pack. All right. Here we go. Uh, how do we want to do this? What do, how, this is a really cool thing. I'm sorry. What are you giving away? The RC signed jersey for Fox. Five, Pulp Show 500. Oh. How do we do that? Can let's I, make. Can I have a think on it? Let's make Pete work. Pete? It's late. It's midnight yeah, on the East which Coast. Which RC jersey? That one? What? You're giving that one? No, no, no. Fox uh, a Fox one. Oh, oh So oh, it's midnight. Listening. It's midnight on the East Coast right now. So if you're listening live on the East Coast and you have to have an East Coast address, the 10th caller. Is that just in the East Coast time zone? Yeah. How do you how, TV's okay. listening. Call in, dude. East Coast address. Yeah, East he, Coast time zone he address. He lives with me. He's okay. my address. Midnight. Tenth caller. Do it. You get a Ricky Carmichael signed <laughs> Fox caller. jersey. Yeah, tenth caller. Pete just yeah, lost, yeah, no. he just lost his mind. Yeah, we make, we make Pete work over there. He's been asleep <laughs> half the show, all right? 
Gets the RC jersey. Get his uh, address, please, over there, Pete. <laughs> Look at his face. Yeah, right. Thanks. <laughs> He's so pissed. He's got to work. <laughs> it sucks. All right, let's get to our, our, our next caller. Here we go. <laughs> oh, shit. That's David Bradshaw's bike I just fucked up. What's up, Jamie? Dark side? <laughs> What's up? Hey, Coop, Coop, Coop you know you know Dark Side, right? From yes. press conferences. Have you noticed his hair has been cut, like in like the last couple months? Have you noticed? He's. A, I don't know. He, no. Okay. All I'm right. But this gentleman. No, it's fine. This gentleman used to have a um, a bandana he would wear in the press yeah, conferences. No, no. Well, lately. Oh, actually, Coop, you haven't been in the press Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> okay, so, I didn't know. All right, so that's that's my oh, bad. We can joke about that, but if I make a joke about the bike, uh, you guys look at me funny. So That's cold. Okay, so Jamie here with the bandana, you wouldn't even recognize him now. <laughs> He's so stiff, dude. <laughs> He's so uptight, dude. Like, Elbows up, baby. I know. <laughs> look at his how He's like ready. Like, he's all defensive and shit. I know. So this is Dark Side on the phone call. Uh, he looks like a new man now. Next time you make the podium, you'll see him. He, we cut his ponytail. We gave him a dirt bike. It's the whole thing. He's professional now at the Pony Pod. I like it. What's up, Jamie? What's up? Yeah, Coop doesn't talk to me anymore, man. So, yeah, he, that's why he doesn't recognize me. Just, just, yeah, he cool guys me. We, we said that uh, at race day. He's all business. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he is. He told me, yeah, he's, he's all business, man. No more, no more. I can't get him on my podcast anymore. You oh, did you, did you used to do the Pony Pod? He used to be on the Pony Pod? About once a month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, you know what? He's, he's a busy guy. <laughs> You know, I can't yeah, believe, yeah. hey, Jamie, I can't believe he's here. Somehow, Rarick and Phil drug, oh. drug him here. So, it's amazing. No, that's awesome, man. It's a good show. It was yeah, Coop's you're... idea. All right. Um, YouTube chat, like this. That's good. Good to hear. Yeah, it's not often we have a two-time Supercross champion in here, you know. Dude, I didn't know your, Jamie, right. your name was Jamie until like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It was always dark side. Right. Yeah, not many people did until Steve and Kiefer decided that my uh, the nickname wasn't okay anymore. <laughs> What, Matt shut shut that nickname down too. No, no, he. <laughs> we just like if he's in the media, like he can't have a nickname in the media. Like just be your, just be Jamie or I'm Steve or Steve you know Matthews. Weege, yeah, Matthews. You know, That's Weege, actually pretty good. Yeah, just you know, he's he was calling himself Dark Side because the Star Wars. You know, Star Wars. Are you yes, familiar with that? Yes. So he has every, a. Everyone is. No, not I'm really. Not, I don't no, know see? anything about yeah. Star Wars. No, so he, he has, only knows him. New Star Wars, not the OG Star. But Wars. whatever, at least he knows Star Wars. So Dark Side loves. He had Dark Side on. His, he has a ta Dark Side tattoo oh, on his wow. stomach, and like we're like, dude, you're not a character. You're just Jamie. You're not like a, you know, no nicknames here. So we, Dark Side, why do you let them rip? You? Why, yeah, why do you let them rip you apart like this? Dude, it's just fucking Steve. It's whatever. <laughs> I, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm trying yeah, to help yeah, you, bro. He thinks he's trying to help. Steve You're kind of crushing him because <laughs> I know this, they that, only know him as Dark Side. Yeah, that's that's who he is, dude. Yeah. You're taking yeah. his branding away. It's like Malcolm cutting his hair. It's Can't it's happen. listen, listen. No, nobody can have you know like yeah. We're not nicknames here. We're just like people. We're not like characters. Yeah. You know, from a movie. No or swap. No weeds. No. Well, no, weeds no, is from a, a nick. No, it's his last name. No LeBig. Still a nickname. <laughs> no, his last name was Wygant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, mm -hmm. I disagree, Jamie. I know you do. It's all good. All right. What's up? We're, st we're still buddies. Uh, Wrap-up show this week, Mason Mill from Still Savers. And at CMXR, the, the Twitter guy that's a fan, getting on. So we're going to kick it, kick right. some ass. Wrap-up show. Before we'll wrap. I head to Kiefer's. Oh, yeah. You're going to Kiefer's this weekend to ride your new YZ250. Yeah. Kiefer signed yeah. him up for a race he, on Sunday. <laughs> well, yeah, I think he's trying to kill me. Apparently. Right, right. Oh, by the way, we have our winner, right? We have our winner. Stop calling everybody. We got the RC winner jersey from the East Coast. This gentleman is in Illinois. That is actually Central Time Zone. So thanks for it's that. Close Pete. enough. Yeah. Thanks yeah. a lot, Pete. Yeah, you got it. Uh, yep. Great. So yeah, we want to be anything past Colorado is considered East Coast. Oh, okay. Do that. Yep. <laughs> It's about right. the amount of effort you expect. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> totally, totally. Yeah. The guys from Illinois. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, we got our call, yeah, everybody. Kansas Beach is nice this time of year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, all right. Seal Savers, Guts Racing, Motorsport.com, and, of course, Michelin Bicycle Tires all on board the wrap-up show. So, thanks, Darkside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Darkside, why are you, you coming down Friday like you said? I don't know. I got to work. Speaking I gotta work of cool schedule. guy, Darkside, you texted me to be on the wrap-up show, and I said, well, I don't, really li I don't really listen to the Pulp Show, so let me know who's on. And you're like, okay, I'll find out who's on, and then you never replied. Never hit me back. I did dude. not reply back. Yeah, because oh. didn't, I didn't think you really wanted to do it. I mean, you got to kind of listen to the show to be on the wrap-up show, yeah. <laughs> Eric. Yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah. I wanted to know That's who was I on. I guess I could have just texted you. 
But I want to know oh, who is on wise. to, to actually wise. to actually yeah. listen. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like on this show, oh, I li- right. listen to RC and MC, of course. Well, obviously, but, obviously, yeah. But right. I don't normally listen. Though. Right. Okay. Um, well, Dark Side, why were you watching Daniel's Kid this weekend? Uh, really, I wasn't. I, I poked my head in to Race Day Live, and he was sitting in there, and I was like, "Hey, man, what are you doing?" He said, "Oh, I just sit here all day when my dad's doing this." And I was like, "No, nah, come uh, on, he's on me." Gotcha. I said, "What do you want to do today?" This, this is actually funny. He's like, what do you want to do today? He said, man, I want to get some autographs and meet some riders. So let's go. Mm, and that's cool. one of the key guys, this is fun, one of the key guys he wanted to talk to was Cooper, but Cooper was asleep. Mm. I talked to him on Presto. I talked to him for a while. Yeah, he told me he did. He just wanted to get a pic and, with and you and stuff. So, but, and, so and then Dark Side goes and he comes back with all this plastic from like Eli. And it's like, what are you doing, Dark Side? No. I came back with one side panel that Jelly gave me from Eli for a giveaway. Or uh, we're doing a Eli Superfan thing with Dylan and another guy. Wait, you're giving so. Dark Side stuff Black for getting food? memorabilia? Is this stuff? Yeah. What? Are, are you fucking kidding me, Steven? What, what, this is all stuff from I've collected from my mechanicing career. What? And he can't collect a side panel? No, I just I was thinking he was getting <laughs> Daniel's kid a side panel. Like, hey, Daniel's oh. kid, let me get you a side panel. Like, you know. No, well, oh. no. Yeah. He, Jelly was giving me some stuff for giveaways, and actually gave me one for the studio, which, as you saw, I gave away to Sean Brennan's nephew because it, I said, hey, who's your favorite rider? And he said, Eli Tomac. And I was like, well, fuck. All right, you know what? I got something for you. Because that's the kind of guy I am, Steve. Is, is, Dylan, is Dylan the Eli super fan? Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we haven't heard Honestly, from him lately. Really? Richardson. Let's talk about Randy Richardson. He just won the title. How's I, he I think uh, he works nights, right? Thank God. Yep, yeah, he works at night. That's now that he he changed schedules in like a year or so yeah, ago. Yeah, that's like a car. Yeah, that, that he's a little much. Whatever happened to Raining Yellow? Who is he? A, he was a Stewart fan. Yeah, he was a Stewart fan. He's a fan of me. Is he? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So what? Yeah, he hung it up once Stewart. I thought maybe he's been around with Coop, but I don't, he hasn't called in for a long time. Maybe a, Raining Yellow. I think he called hole. in. He called in a while <laughs> yeah. back. Did Did a while, but nothing not votes not, in. Every oh, once in a while. Uh, Pete, what's the results of the poll? Can we get pull it up and see how bad Dungeons were? It's gotta be even. Gotta st- stop calling him Pete for fuck's sake. I mean, I'm, I gotta learn it. I gotta get it better. You know, he doesn't like the name Tits. Dude, you you sold out, man. Well, you know what, Philip? I mean, I, I got an expensive mortgage. <laughs> oh, we better know. Than tits. We know. This, this mortgage. It's not know. paid for. You didn't pay cash. No, no, really? no. no I don't right, have any damn. Supercross titles to my name, so I had to I had to finance this house. <laughs> yeah, that's shocking. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's tough. Six hundred twenty votes. Yep. Seventy five percent still <laughs> say done. <Cool. laughs> Look at Phil. He loves it. He loves it. All right. No, I just think it's fucked. Uh, all right, Dark Side. <laughs> anything else? <laughs> Oh, how's my boy Nick doing? Is he still in there? Yeah, he's alive. He's good. Yeah, thumbs up from him. Yeah. Are you tired? You look tired. Are you good? Okay. He's an Aussie, so he's fine. Yeah, he'll be good. Yeah. Well, cool, man. We know I still love Coop, man. Even though he, he doesn't want to come on the show anymore, he's still my guy. So, good show. Talk to you guys soon. All right. Friday, See you, Dark Side. Ride, ride Thanks, with Jamie. Us, See ya. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. I like that. Nice with the, nice with the dig. I like it. Yeah. How much do you get hit up for media stuff? How much do you – like, how do you monitor that? Well, that – it's tough. Yeah. Because – um he is mad at me, but yeah, it was. It got to be where he was asking a lot, yeah, of times, right. and I just kind of ran out of excuses, and he didn't really get like the the hint, the hint. Oh yeah, yeah. so it was a little no, tough. No, I I uh, I can get it. I understand it. Like yeah, you got to know when to take the hint from somebody for sure. Luckily, you've come on. I think almost every time I've asked, which is yeah. great. Um, but you know, with Rox and, and Tomac yourself, like, like you three guys, yeah, Rox and Tomac, you. Uh, I'm sure there's another, maybe Jed or whatever. You you just can't, you, you know, you guys don't want to do it. Yeah. You have so much stuff going on. Well, and it's tough, like you said, when you're, yeah, during the week, 17 rounds, 12 rounds, and then, you know, not to be a dick, but if your sponsors aren't asking you to do something, you don't yeah. really want to willingly go do more sponsor obligations. Yep. So you got to no. have a fine line, but absolutely, no love lost. No, no, love no. Lost. no I, I get it. And I think in the media, if you're in the media, if you're me, Swap, Racer X, like, yeah, you, and I'm not saying Jamie's doing this, but – if a guy doesn't want to do it, hey, no problem. Like, you know, mm-hmm. you guys get pulled. So nowadays there's more shows, more podcasts, more shit out there than ever before, you know. Sure. So uh, I absolutely get it uh, as far as that goes. Uh, my Race Tech rant of the night, Pulp 22 is a code to save with Race Tech. It's a Yamaha LCQ race. <laughs> like, <laughs> like these guys. Yeah, let's do it because I kind of want to rant about it. Okay, the, <laughs> these guys. Like, look. I like the privateers. I'm giving them this money. I might do it again. Like, I understand it. I just, like, uh, I, 
so I had the 17 spots, right, that qualified for, via the LCQ. So I took fifth on back and every fourth of the LCQ. And those guys had a championship within those guys. And those guys made the, the list. So that right? was the rule. Yeah, quote yeah. yeah, but it gets gray here. Exactly. So, that's, so, that's gray. Why okay, so I took the top 17 from there, and I had five wild cards. And I picked Chiz and Brees because I, I started Wait, them second quick, row. Was he going to be a wild card? Yeah. Uh, no, no, I don't think he was. I, yeah, he I, was. I feel like I should have been. I could have yeah, been a wild but card. He had, but obviously he had to race a 250. Yeah, yeah, he would have had to been on 250 for but sure. But you weren't going to pick him? I don't know. I don't think we ever got that far. But like, you're going to pick Chiz on a 450. Listen, Phil told me he was in. Chiz, Chiz came to me, you and I've known him? Chiz for a long no, time. No, I love Chiz. Nothing and, he, and he's him. like, and like Chiz, and I don't know. I don't think he's lying. He broke down for me like the shit he pays for and the stuff he does and the the team that, that takes his truck around. But he gets, I mean, he gets salaries from Atlas and FXR. So Atlas two, whatever that helmet pays. Listen, him. I mean, it's not star, a star. Star, listen, factory rider. He listen, doesn't get anything from those guys. Hey, outside of like they a, didn't pay. Hey, him. Hey, Chiz made some money this year. No, he gets what he gets is a show up money. He spends his travel out of that, and he gets to keep whatever is like he gets per yeah. race bonus, right? And per race show up, and then he's got a podium bonus for those guys that he lost out at the one race. Mm. So <laughs> Chiz ain't racing unless he's making money to make no. it worth. Okay, it. Chiz so, does it right. End of here, story. Here's no, he my rant. Right. So here's my rant. It. I got the seventeen guys. I got I, I I kicked Stank out of it right because I, he was blew me out for no reason earlier in the year. So I kicked Stank out of it, but I got all him and his cronies yelling at me on social media and calling me <laughs> fat and tubby and I'm block 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 and I'm doing that. <laughs> and then I got the guys upset about Chiz and Brees, and you know Brees missed all of last year with an injury, so he's a full privateer. I'm fine with Brees. Yeah, yeah. So I, I got guys yelling at me for that. I put him in the second row. I got my wild cards. I like Marsh. Marsh. Mm -hmm. Marsh is yep. a legit private. Marsh is a legit Marsh, private. Marsh, yeah. Marsh, Marsh paid it out of a card. Marsh asked me to yeah. get him a deal on an exhaust at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Not a yeah. free one. He wanted Marsh. Marsh. He didn't have a mechanic. Mar right. And then Saturday, he had Travis Beam as a mechanic. <laughs> right, right. I mean, so, dude, he should have got a bonus for that. So, you know, uh, Mar <laughs> he deserved he deserved to be in it. And my and uh, a Wageman, I like Wageman. I, yep. You know, the, mm -hmm. his team asked me to do it, and I like Wageman. Let's get him in. Yep. And then uh, John Short. I'm a fan of John Short. Put him in, right, John Short. Uh, so this is my wild cards, causing controversy though with the wild cards. I'm getting shit that I don't like. Uh, it's just it's my race, so just you know what I mean, like just yeah. No, yeah, at the end of the day, th yeah, that's you can it. Do so you want. just fuck off, everybody. It's my race, and uh, uh, but I'm getting shit for, it, and I've got stank, sh stank friends and his family give me shit. And yeah, but the stank thing, like, dude, I like stank. He's cool, regardless of you yeah. two. You know what I mean? I think it's cool, but I mean, what did you expect? You you can't expect to be in the race. I, apparently he did. Yeah, he did. No. He did. No, exactly. You can't. Sorry. Right. So, so you, made, you made your bed. You got to lay in it. Right. That's, that's just just take that, your deal. Yeah, yeah just it. take it. Take it on the chin. Carry on. Right. Exactly. Know? But anyway, so I'm getting the shit from that and shit from these guys, and I'm starting Brees as Brees and Chiz in the second row, and these guys are mad. But Yamaha is your title sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. And you chose four Yamaha wild cards out of five. I guess I never thought of that. Yeah, that's a good. That's my yeah, thing. Look at you. Oh, huh? fuck. You're right. And Chiz and Brees. Brees, are Chiz, Welton. Yeah. Eight to yeah. 12 right now right. every weekend. Well, they were telling me, you know, like, again, Chiz was explaining to me how much privateer he was. And, I'm, you know, and so that's I'm the like, thing. Okay. I agree. So. They are 100% privateers. Yeah. I just, right. I agree. Like, you, you got to have rules or some. Well, but the second row, I'm like, I'm fucking these guys with the second row. Ha, ha, ha. But I didn't. It didn't, it, you know, bit not, me in the ass. Not, not Chiz. But I'm I, actually, Chiz is a freaking right. racer. So, yeah, dude. You can't bet against Chiz with that lineup. Are you shitting me? Okay, so. You know who I did fuck over, and I regret it. And if he's listening, I apologize. I should have put Freddie in the race. No, Freddie. Freddie should, Freddy should have yeah. been in this race. Freddie is as privateer as they get, and he, like Brees and Chiz, was just too good to make the top seventeen because he was in too many mains. Yeah. But I still should have invited him. I really screwed over Freddie, and he's a nice guy. Mm -hmm. And A Ray jacked him in San Diego mm -hmm. and ruined a good start. He should have been in anyway. But now that oh. you say that, you yeah. put. Chiz and yeah. I so and oh and A Ray, I put in A Ray, my wild card yeah. too, because A Ray told me. Yeah, he but had, he is a true wild card. <laughs> <laughs> so like, dude, A, I, a Ray has to be in it. I don't I, care if you're. Okay, here's a question. I'm, okay, how does Deuce Deuce get in it? He qualified through the LCQs. But like, he is on. A, he's on factory Suzuki. There's no factory parts over there. It's factory just a, Suzuki. Well, I mean, not really. It's a private. I know, uh, yeah. but I'm just but saying these are your rules. He made it through the points. He wasn't a wild card. Like he was His, in it. You he's know? following AMA with the st stick by the rules. So. <laughs> So just waffling, a, and a, a Ray was in because he's like, bro, I'm so broke. I went to the airport seven hours no, early with dude, heart. A, a Ray should be yeah. in it. I'm not. You know, so I'm, I'm not. like, okay, I want, and I'm, he's my friend. So yeah, I'll yeah, give him yeah. money. No, okay, a Ray should be in it. 
So I email these animals, 22 of them. I get emails from the AMA for everybody on the list, right? I email them all two times in the week of Salt Lake with the, with the time of the race, the length of the race. We're pulling, we're pulling close pins for gate yep. pick. And I get like two replies back. So whatever. That's fine. Heavy. Then I, during the day, I am getting blown up on what time the race is, what are we doing, when are we doing it. It's all in the emails, people. <laughs> and I say, did you get my email? I didn't get anything. <laughs> okay, so how do you, how do you communicate? Because it, it didn't bounce back. <laughs> it didn't bounce back to me. Dude, it's 2022. You got to so, DM them, No, no. Dude. So, yeah, dude. So I was yeah. DMing them, DMing these guys, and you know, Kozad and Bryson Gardner and these type of guys. I don't even know what they look like. I don't even know what these guys look like, but, you know, whatever. They're, they're in my race. So. I'm trying to help them out and get them in. And they're just not responding. No, those guys are Kozad and Gardner, okay. but some guys are not responding. Lots of guys were in board and all that. But day of the race, they don't know anything despite, like, what time? I heard 3 o'clock. Teddy Parks calls me. Your race at 3 o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> no, Ted. 2 o'clock. <laughs> you, know, so I'm you know, I'm just on my phone nonstop. <laughs> Welton and another guy show up with no transponders. Now, I didn't put in the email, put your fucking transponder on. But it's a race. <laughs> I assumed you knew you were going to get scored. No, you yeah, know what? Marsh That's Marsh. Yeah, Marsh is and a yard Marsh sale. Marsh would lose his fucking okay. head if it wasn't attached. And to there him. was another guy. I forget who it was with no transponder. So I'm like, oh, my God. Go get your transponder, right? And then there was that accident with the future guys on press, and no one, you know, we were delayed. And but I'm the like, first dilemma was Denver got canceled. Yeah, yeah, Denver canceled, right? So that was number one. And that was where all the guys accosted me on the start yeah. straight for Chiz and Brees getting in. Mm -hmm. And Deuce Deuce is yelling, yo, Chiz, you got two semis. <laughs> you got two semis. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And then I'm like, listen, guys, they're in the back row. They're not going to do shit. You know, and everybody's like, yeah, whatever. And I'm like, you guys are idiots. Anyways. Mm -hmm. So then they show up with our transponders. And they're down there. And I'm already texting. And, you know, I'm just fucking wide open with these guys. I'm trying to organize everything. So then we're doing clothespins for gate picks. And I got my hat with clothespins on them. And I'm just like, okay, everybody, just pick out a clothespin, and that's where you gate pick. That's where you start. So they're all picking clothespins, and everything's fine. I'm not writing anything down because I just assume we're all being fucking cool. Mm -hmm. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> Greco sells his number one clothespin to Moran's for $100. <laughs> that's but, a good investment. Who else sold their sold pin, uh, clothespin, though? Uh, and then uh, uh, um, uh, Nagy, who I love. I love Nagy. <laughs> Doing knack knacks out there. Sold his clothespin for $1,000 to Carnell. <laughs> wow. Dude, are you kidding wow. me? So Carnell and Moran's bought clothespins, and, and the other two Carn privateers Carnell, don't care. Carnell got ripped, dude. $1,000? And you didn't even get first gate pick? But Carnell well, did. Yeah, he had a good gate pick, though, because he, he had a good start. Carnell did win, though. He did win. Uh, he was like 8000 Yeah. So he did win 8000 Yeah, so I can so, that paid off. Uh, Moran's went from... Nine to one, and Carnot went from fourteen to four or something. So they're selling. That's not a bad gate pick. They're actually, selling clothespins. Everyone's irate. Greco's talking about cutting the track. Yeah, you need an official, uh, dude. You, you gotta kind of expect this, though. No, uh, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> so, all right, well, you can run the but, damn thing next year because, but like, I'm for just like that much money, dude, but yes. dude, just be cool, dude. These guys would kill their mom for a hundred uh, bucks. I know. I mean, Asheville Arena Cross, you're killing somebody for yeah. eight hundred dollars. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, oh, them. that's I, another thing. I had a question. Yeah. Did you have to have a talk with these guys and say like, don't be a barsha out there? Yes. Yeah. Because, because the, I wanted to see some action. No, the AMA mm -hmm. and Feld were very worried about yeah. Because A-Ray came up, and it, I think there was an official standing by at Denver before we canceled. A-Ray came up and went, it's time to die! <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I think they were like, oh, my God, right? Like, and A-Ray tells me before the race, I haven't jerked off all week. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to go. And then he no tells, hiccups this week, dude. No. And then he tells me later on, he's like, my wrist is so oh, fucked. I took, eight, I took eight Tylenol. My stomach is so fucked up. So he hasn't jerked off, and his stomach is fucked up from Tylenol. And, and and I'm just like oh my and guys are pissed off and uh, I got guys yeah, but no how are you shocked by this dude I, I just get can, it dude can we not have some sort of semblance of organization I nothing mean, everyone besides Chiz would do anything for a yeah. hundred dollars right and guess yeah anything. and guess who had no questions and guess who replied to emails and guess who replied to DMs and everything and guess Chiz. who won Chiz yeah <laughs> just fucking like on the program and I got Gare I got Gare Bear yeah. after Chiz wins Gare Bear's like. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Like, yeah. You know, oh, like, yeah. like I was just the ringer, right? Yeah. Like, I, I got chizzed on. Yeah. I got chizzed on. 100%. All over the place. Yeah. So then in the race, 
Moran's jumps the triple. Wageman yeah. dies. Oh, that can't be if he jumped that, dude. Moran's jumps. Either. I'm like, like, what are you fucking Moran's doing? Moran's jumps the triple. I'm like, and oh, how, my God. How'd you not dock him? Okay, so I didn't see if the lights were on. I was pretty sure, but I didn't see for sure as I was standing on the podium. But I'm like, okay. So if, then, if the lights weren't on, I mean, I was standing right there. I was the flagger right there. They were was, on. The, they were on? Yeah. Okay. Because so, the flagger guy was okay, like waving so, this way. So Moran's comes off. I go up to John Starling. Justin's dad. I'm like, dude, Moran's jumped on. The He's like, yeah. I said, I go, what do I do? He's like, it's your race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, hey, man, guys are like, yeah. <laughs> we're out of this. Yeah, and this I, is on you. So I, I counted the the advantage was four seconds from jumping to not jumping, and the only guy it would have affected was Brees. Mm -hmm. And Brees, I'm like, Brees, Moran's jumped on the triple. I, I don't know what to do. Like. Uh, you know, he's like, you know what? Brees goes, oh, it's cool, man. Like, I'm just happy to be here. Come to find out today, Brees dude. wants money. But Brees is like, cool about <laughs> Listen. it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Listen, at, Brees, at race, is, Brees is a good dude. I he is like a good him. dude. He's awesome. Brees was cool on the yeah. track. And then today he's like, that motherfucker owes me money. No, I back it. <laughs> okay. I back it. So he, no, does, it he does no, owe money. No, it is. Morans yeah. is giving him money. Morans yeah, is giving him yeah. money. So we figured that out. I got but a lot of time for Brees. At the race, Brees is like, it's fine. Like, I'm just happy to be here. I want a lot of money. Like, whatever. And Moran's like, dude, there was no lights. There was no... Th and I'm like... Yeah, no, no. I'm no giving pay him, up, pay I, up. I'm buddy. giving him an eyeball. Yeah, no. And then Moran sends me a photo. The guy is right in front of the lights. But there, yeah. you know, there's a light before it. And then there's a light on the other side of the jump. So no, you got to yeah, be... Every single rider i was standing up yes. there every every Everyone. single one of them you right. gotta be blind right. the guy two seconds behind moran's hit the brakes. yeah 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 yeah, you know, like yeah the, or whoever it was yeah. right right so so pretty sure moran's you know jumped on and i'm just like oh my god like what do i do right there's no rules there's no rule book i got guys selling clothespins i got guys yeah. jumping on so the selling clothespins you didn't do anything about no what do i do i, I mean, didn't i didn't yeah. what if i should have done wait, is that in the ama rule book can we not do that like I don't know. Can I not swap gates with you, like for your teammates? No, you cannot. The year we can't. I, you the cannot year swap I, gates. The really? Year no, I did, no. Well, I not nope. swap gates, but you couldn't like give like if say Phil's ninth gate pick, I'm tenth gate pick. Hey Coop, you want this gate? He goes outside. Yeah, before you go up, you can kind of make deals yeah. if you want to, for sure. But like as far as pulling out pull of the in, gate, yeah, out. you can't pull uh, in, pull okay. out. Hey, at uh, the year I did Loretta's in plus twenty five, Michael Mitchell gave me his gate at the regional. <laughs> So, <laughs> for no money. <laughs> so, so like I, I just my race tech rant, pulp twenty two to save it race tech is just like these guys, man. Like, just can no one be cool? Can no? No. Just I'm not surprised though. No, dude, will you dude. put money on the line. Fuck yeah. that. All, all no, 100%. anything goes, dude. dude. I'm just bummed that you had to tell him like, you know, don't kill each other because I want to see some action. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Sexton said the same thing. He's like, yeah. I thought it would be worse. Yeah. It's true. funny that AMA is worried about that, but they got partial racing Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, you idiots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no yeah. problem with Bam Bam. Yeah, no problem, yeah. dude. Yeah, three grand. No yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah, Why don't you just give so, that to the privateers? Like, I just, my race tech rant is like, uh, first of all, no communication with these guys, and then just anarchy. Anarchy at any time. Just, mm. I just, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I was telling J Bone and, uh, and Jeff and, and uh, and Mui, and I'm out of the promote race promotion. Like, fuck this race promotion stuff. These Too guys, much of a headache. these guys are animals, right? Dude, I, I just totally and back then, it. And then Chiz goes to me, "Hey, uh, I'm uh, you second row, right? They, the Dirtworks guys moved the little TP thing on the mm. second on, on the outside, mm -hmm. so they had to go outside. And then uh, so they weren't second row. They were second row, but on the outside, not on the inside. Oh yeah. So that was I, even I worse. You. I right? got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Chiz goes to me, "Hey man, I don't really want to start right behind a guy because the roost is really bad." And I'm like, "Okay, like I get it, no problem." And then the AMA guys after the race is like, hey, bro, when that gate dropped, Chiz's front wheel was by their foot pegs. Mm -hmm. He was split. Well, dude, I saw a picture of the first turn. He's in like seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like again, not really the intent of yeah, the thing. Because those idiots went in like a wrecking ball, blew everybody yeah, yeah, out, and true. fucking yeah, go uh, move, tucks in. No, John. <laughs> no, Chiz is a goat. I know. John, John Short or somebody said, I had a good start, and an A Ray came in. <laughs> of and, course. Uh, yeah, yeah. The fucking A Ray. <laughs> right, right. Someone else did say that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah someone said A Ray moved like a bunch of people yeah. and Brees. And like, so. Yeah, it's a good thing. I'm happy I did it, but dude, <laughs> it's time these to these die. fucking guys, like you know. But so. there, it's crazy the difference in levels from a back end privateer to even just chiz. Because on a normal race, we can chiz with if legit guys were there, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know. But the way he made it look like he was out there compared to everybody else is just like, dude, no. Yeah, the he, the level differences are. I mean, crazy. he was crushing them in the whoops, yeah, like yeah. crushing yeah. them and. And it was Chiz. Imagine if it was yeah, somebody yeah. else. I was like, you know, no. it's just crazy to see the levels. Absolutely. Chiz gets you know? lapped. Yeah. 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 And, and yeah. he looked 
you know, like yeah, next like level. he was JS seven out there. Compared <laughs> right, to yeah. right. Yeah. Like, uh, he yeah, looked yeah, like yeah, JS seven. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the helmet. Poor right? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so much shit for that. Ah, dude. Yeah, but it's, he's making money. I think they pay him forty. Dude, he's making money. I know. I no. respect it. No, he's I'm totally in the race respect. next year. You're in the race. Yeah. yeah. Are you seriously? I don't know. I got a lot of beef from that about. Yeah, no, you shouldn't be allowed. Yeah. How? No, he just set the precedent, though. So if Chiz no, is in, you're in. Yeah. I think next year, screw everything. If I do it, I just take the top 22 yes. in the points. Yeah, and that, no, and that's there is, it. Except for Stank. Just top and 22. And then let them race. Boom. Yeah, and just no, let yeah, those yeah, race. Yeah. And then not even like if anybody wants, asks, you're out. Yeah, because no. if it wasn't for those three dudes, it would have been a battle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's yeah. That's yeah. You know I'm what saying. I mean? Yeah, right. Right. Like. And, yeah, if Marsh wasn't in there, like, yeah, whoever got fifth, Mason, yeah. that would have been a fucking battle. Who is yeah. the first non-wild card? Okay, so Carnell, I just got, okay, I got, just got. It would have uh, been that kid. Right? I just got, I just mm, got no. updated from Carnell. He bought Nagy's 14 for 250 because he pulled 21. Then Bubba Pauly sold him his fourth for 1,000. <laughs> Oh, so so Carnell was 1250 in the hole. <laughs> and he went from what, 21 to 4? He fourth? went from, well, he went from. Yeah, twenty-one to four. That's pretty good, dude. But he won eight grand. It's worth a thousand. But then, like, people were getting mad about Wait, this. Did he but... pay twelve fifty, or did the OnlyFans? Well, yeah, yeah I was somebody. Say, I bet what's her name. I don't did know. It anyway, but anyways, yeah. like, the point is, is like, I had no rule saying, guys, don't sell your clothespins. So what was I supposed to do when when anarchy started? Yeah, yeah. What was I supposed to do? I just can't believe you're surprised by any of this. Yeah. Really? Yeah, can't okay. believe it, dude. I don't know, man. I'm gonna yeah. be honest. I would have, I would have bought somebody's clothespin. Hundred percent. Yeah. So next year. I have a clipboard, and if you pull one, I put Phil one. Yeah, you know Carnow two, and then when I call the guys, you are coming up with. That. Also, too, your lucky Brees is the one that finished behind Morans. Because if someone like Phil finished behind Morans and he jumped the triple, and you didn't oh, do anything yeah. about it, yeah, dude, you that, wouldn't be doing the show be right now. <laughs> yeah, you would not be yeah. here right now. Yeah, <laughs> like imagine it was Raper and A Ray. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, again, like I, I, Brees was cool after the race, like, and then he now he wanted some money, and we worked it out. Nah, he got he's, money, he's a good and, dude, which man. is fine. Yeah, he, Morans gave up some money. It's good. That's fine. But, but after the ra- after right after the race, I was like, oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> like, what do I do? Like, uh, hey, you know, Morans like, dude, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. You know what I mean? Morans freaking out. I have no video proof to look at. I'm not J Bone there with a video camera. Like, I don't know what's going on. They jumped the jumps. <laughs> jumped the jumps. He, jumped the that's jumps. what Morans did. He jumped the jumps. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to the folks at uh, at Yamaha Blowfish for Hangovers, of course. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What did I do? Uh, it's just oh. funny. All right, he jumped the jumps. Man. Yeah, That's I got a I, it's like I got a funny story. It's it's off topic, but it's about a bunny race. <clears throat> Me and Marshall went to the Soaring Eagle race in 2016. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, this yeah. story is. Dude, Classic. this is epic. So me and Marsh and Murph, guy, yeah. my yeah. mechanic Murph, yeah. and Marsh like, yeah, yeah, I, I want to go. It's my hometown. You know, it'll be cool. I was like, all right, cool. I was like, all right, if we go, we'll take the JGR pickup truck. So we didn't use ours. j was just like, yeah, go ahead, use it. I was like, all right, Marsh. I said, we split everything, gas, food, hotel, whatever. He's yeah. like, okay, yep, cool. And Marsh had just turned pro in 16 or whatever. So we go up there, <clears throat> and they paid first to eighth. I ended up winning 10 grand cash. Nice. Okay. Marsh got ninth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> eighth got a thousand dollars. And the guy that beat him, Nick Way. Oh. For eighth. Yeah. We wake up the net and Marsh is all fucking depressed. I mean fucking he depressed. He got zero for ninth. Zero, zero. money okay. for ninth. <laughs> we pull out a soaring eagle. I'm hung over, you know, whatever. Had a good night. <clears throat> got my ten grand in an in an envelope. Go a mile down the road. We pull into the ga- gas station, fill up for gas, we pull in. <clears throat> I put it in park. I said, Marsh. He said, What? I said, It's your turn. <laughs> he goes for what he goes for what i said pay for gas <laughs> and he goes dude i made no money i said dude i don't give a fuck <laughs> I wanted the deal. get out there and pay the gas he's like i can't fucking believe you right now he's like i made no money you made 10 grand cash and i gotta pay for gas right now i was just like growing pains man <laughs> <laughs> 50 50 <laughs> he got out with his tail between his legs and went and pumped that fucking truck up <laughs> You know, <laughs> and look at him now. He's making ten grand at a money race. Yeah, there you go. You know? You're sitting on a broken yeah. arm. Yeah, hey, that's karma right there. Jokes on me. Huh? <laughs> look at him now. He's wearing quick yeah, straps. Yeah. He's got quick straps. Uh, he's got duct tape numbers. Yeah, he's got duct tape yeah. numbers and quick straps. Nice, nice work, Marsh. Yeah. So thank you to everybody. If I sound like I'm complaining, I am. But it was still nice to do, and I just, I was just going nuts on, on you know. And then when Barans, 
when Chiz and Brees came around like six and eight, Bl- Daniel Blair and I were on the podium, and he's like, "You're fucked," <laughs> and I'm like, "Yep," like you know, like these guys were not supposed to do this good. That was not supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. So thanks, privateers, for not keeping these guys off. So and then, yeah, and then oh, Gare Bear just chuckling after. Yeah. They, yeah. Yep, just loving it. So that's my that's my race tech rant of the night, everybody, right there. Chiz probably made what thirty three grand on the weekend, thirty four grand, including with, my race, like including your race. Yeah, and yeah. A May and top ten and yeah, bonuses yeah, and yeah. Yeah, it's probably thirty three grand on the weekend. Unbelievable. Yeah, a lot more than me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got true. purse money. Thanks yeah, for coming out. Like, <laughs> yeah, you made as much as what? Eighteenth, probably. Uh, I don't even know. You got six, right? Yeah, I got a payout right That's yeah. probably like four grand. Four grand. Yeah, it's probably like four. Yeah, so you got 12th in the privateer challenge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you <made> just as much. <laughs> and you had your teammate trying to kill you. <laughs> 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 thanks for coming up. Uh, uh, what, about, what about Cooper on the corner? Go ahead, Mook. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah wait, fourth on. place, 3,300. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck our sports. Oh, wait, I got six, 2,800. <laughs> 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 our sport fucking sucks <laughs> uh traveling is a pain in the ass i know that uh ogo power sports you guys use ogo you got oh, ogo yeah. bags all right yeah. layover bags great 9800 of course the rig bag as well are you ogo, you OGO? Oh, yeah. yeah you got ogo too uh thanks to the folks at ogo use the contact form on pulpamex.com to send us a email we'll, we'll give you a deal on ogo thank you to ogo uh great company lots of things going on with those guys and uh whether it's uh so on a 9800, can you get everything you need to go riding in a 9800? Mm-hmm. Braces, boots, helmet, suspension, even sometimes. I need to figure this out. My night, I, I, I'm not a very good packer then because I got to take my boots out of 9800. Kiefer, dude. I know, I know, right? <laughs> Kiefer. All right, thanks to the folks at OGO. Uh, also, thank you to uh, motorsport.com, Fly Race and Decal Works, Race Tech Suspension and Engines, X Brand Goggles, Renthal, Michelin Motorcycle Tires, a Cherubis, Firepower Batteries and Chains. Maxima USA, Pro Filter, Skosh, ORW, OGO Power Sports, Atlas Neck Brace, Guts Racing, FMF, Works Connection. We're going to give away two Works Connection Pro Launch Start Devices. We're going to give away three, but one on social media in honor of their three titles. So Jet, Craig, and Eli all using the Works Connection Pro Launch Start Device, so you know it's pretty good. That's what I should do next year, by the way. No start devices. Oh, that would be epic. That would be awesome. Yeah, no be start awesome. devices. That'd be awesome. And, you know, the original plan was for Chiz and Breeze to start backwards. You guys knew that. AMA shut that down. So, I thought there was no rules. Uh, they told me that there was the, the yeah, no, no, no rules. That, that was a rule, though. Well, AMA wasn't right. involved. Uh, so we're going to give away two Worst Connection Pro Launch Start devices just on an email contest. We gave away the Jericky jersey to a live listener, and now it'll be uh, a person on uh, on email. Contest at pulpamextro.com. Contest at pulpamextro.com. Put WC in the uh, subject line, and we will hook you guys up. Two people with Works Connection Pro Launch Start Devices. WUSA, thank you to those guys. Great company, great wheels, uh, and uh, they got the Edge set of wheels as well. And they'll give a Pulp Mech Show discount if you contact them. Get data. Dan Truman, our guy Truman down in the F1 race. What, what's Truman? What, what is got connections, what, What's man. Truman's doing? Like, he is just, yeah, like, I, he's sending me photos from the F1 <laughs> race. And, like. Yeah, Truman does it right, man. Dude. He's got the hookups. Dude, it's it's unbelievable. I went wrong somewhere. Ride Engineering, Intense Cycle, Suspension Direct, Manscape, Wysco Piston, all on board with us. Manscape, dude. Phil's going to hook me up later. Yeah, yeah Phil's going <laughs> Phil's to do it. No problem. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, why are you shaking your fucking nuts at, man? <laughs> uh, also, too, have you ever been in a motorcycle car accident, Phil? Uh... Yes. I mean, you have a cast on right now, so mm-hmm. you've definitely been in a motorcycle accident. <laughs> Is somebody or some idiot take you out? Yep. Call Arthur Turney, uh, Attorney Arthur Draper. He's a friend of the show. He's a slow moto guy turned attorney. In fact, ambulances just chase him now. He'll take the time to talk to his clients. He'll take the time to talk to you personally. Consultations are free. You just need to call. Mm. So if somebody takes you out, you can, you know. Uh, ArthurDraper.com. Help is only a phone call away. Arthur's got your back. Uh, before we go to the motorsport.com, tweet at uh, Pete segment. Before we do that. Yes. Uh, Club MX team. So Enzo. Mm-hmm. He qualifies number one. Mm-hmm. He says he gets back to the truck and you're yelling at him. And he's sitting down between jumps and, and he's not soaking up jumps. And, and he said, but feel I'm number one. And you said, you could do better. Troll says you come back and you're just ripping into him for not blitz and whoops. And, you know, I can't, you can't believe how shitty he is if he hopes to be a good 450 guy. Like, <laughs> what are you doing over there? I like how this stuff gets so exaggerated. I mean, this is I what did talk to both. Say. Yes, I did yeah. talk to both of them. Right. Yes. I told Enzo 
Enzo's biggest downfall, he's a shitty starter. Can't go when the gate fucking drops. So what I told him to do, I said before the practice, I said, dude, let them all go, do a proper start so you can get your shift points at altitude, figure out RPM, whatever. What's he do? Doesn't fucking do it. Doesn't do it. Goes out, goes out first, and becomes P1. But that's great. P1's awesome. Awesome. But that has nothing to do with the race. You know, I said, you're a fucking mm. shitty starter. <laughs> I mean, he, he was so happy. <laughs> He was so but happy. I don't know. Coop last. just looked at the results, dude. Well, his bike, his bike broke. Yeah. 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 So we were thinking he straight that's up got that, last. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> so the man feels right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he ended up rolling around the corners in seventh and eighth. It wasn't anywhere up to near the front, uh -huh. you know? And Alex was, yeah, I said the same. Alex would have been P5 in practice. I'm not fucking kidding you. But he was literally doubling, doubling the whoops. <laughs> Who doubles the whoops in the premier class? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not gonna. Anybody? Not it. Anybody? Rookies. I mean, I, I rookies, rookies, <laughs> rookies. <laughs> rookies. Mm -hmm. And I lost that. I said, "Dude, what are you doing?" He's like, "I don't feel comfortable skimming or jumping." He, I said, "So doubling him." Troll was he's, he said it was eighth or ninth. Yeah, I know, but he could have so been he fifth. felt pretty good about himself. Yeah, yeah, but I know what Phil's saying. The right. point is just to just triple, just yeah, triple. Just, it. I was watching. I was, yeah, just jump to jump. Yeah. I was watching I Brandon do the same thing, doubling for the main event. Doubling, doubling. Yes. So. You know, he, th you're you're bringing your team down. No, 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 no. I got Enzo to P one. No. Listen, oh, I got Enzo to P one. <laughs> oh. I did. Nothing Listen. like waiting to the last race. Yeah. Listen, Phil's well, I was a racing him before. The truth, so yeah, I respect he, it. He had to race. Him. I was racing him before. No, so oh, okay. Obviously, Good I point. try and sabotage him a little bit. Right, right. You know? But he, now it's just he, like he tells me also too. I'm like, ah, oh, Phil or whatever, and he's he's like the poor kid, dude. He's like Phil. Phil is in my head. I'm making coffee, and I, that's something I make too much. It's too expensive. And Phil's mental with no, his coffee, no, dude. dude. He, like, he, he, this poor kid, he, said he, he says, I always hear him in my head. Hey. <laughs> if I had Enzo's talent, I'd have a Supercross championship by now. Oh, if wow. Enzo had my mentality, he'd be Supercross you champion by now. You know what? And I'm not fucking kidding. I'm you. actually going to go ahead and backfill this. Enzo's a great rider. Enzo's Enzo, badass. Enzo's a good dude. rider, yeah. Enzo's, Enzo's a really phenomenal, good rider. But he's I don't know about <laughs> Phil's mentality. I don't know about that. <laughs> what about Coop's mentality? Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> right, we got right, a better right, example. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way you want to put it, I, I'm, i yeah, I don't know. You're I'm just, trying to change Enzo to be gnarly, mentally gnarly, and it's just like, I don't know. That generation is built different. But don't, don't you feel like your dad would say that your generation is built differently? Isn't that oh, just yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah? Isn't that a time honored thing to yeah, say? Yeah, hundred percent. But our I think generation it's, parents are fucking they're gnarly. No, I think it's accurate. I think it's true though. Like, but yeah, I just I know my dad was fucking well, yeah, no. built of steel, and then I think we're a lot softer, softer, and then the younger kids are just yeah, just pussies. Dude, it's yeah, you know, and when you. And every time they think, every time they think you're yelling at them, but I'm not yeah, yelling. Yeah, no, it's at just them. it's just tough love. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. Truth, but they don't honestly. take it. They take it and they get all defensive. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's not that. Take it you, and utilize it and well, move I on. Think, I think all of us Could here, at this, all of us at this table probably got yelled at pretty good by our parents. At yeah, some oh, point, right? dude. Like you know. Like, yeah, yeah, I got physically beat up. <laughs> well, okay, well maybe not that far, but yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, me too. I yeah, mean, it's no, like I'm not saying that in a bad way. Right, right. I'm glad I did. Yeah, but they. Yeah. So, do you think Enzo got fifth in the points, right, uh, in mm -hmm. Supercross? That's a really good finish. Mm -hmm. uh, you think anybody will become calling for him? Um, Spend how he does outdoors. It's it, Enzo to me. He's proven, but he's still unproven. You know, like yeah, Supercross is still good, but he still needs that breakout ride, and he's unproven in outdoors yet. Yeah, right? I, and I, I, I told we, him that. I and think outdoors, his arms fix, arm fix is going to help. It, it's going to uh, help. Yeah. What spots are open? Besides, I'm sure there's Star. Uh, there's there's star. a lot of spots open. Yeah. Star, I think PC's got spots. 250 class, there's a lot open. No, PC's full, I think, right? Yeah, are they? Same What's team. Uh, so, What's Styles is leaving. Rockstar has spots yeah. or no? Oh, yeah. Rockstar will have... There's, there's a couple yeah. spots open. Um, TLD will be the same, right? Yeah, they're uh, same, yeah. same. I think you're right. Husky will have open spot. I right. think. If I Styles know. leaves, RJ's, no, leaving. RJ's staying, I Styles think. Styles is leaving. Right, Styles is leaving. Sorry, mm -hmm. if RJ will probably stay. RJ's staying. Right, so... Swall, Swall staying, Swall staying. So yeah, there's yeah. a spot. Yeah, I love Enzo, and the team didn't want Enzo at first. I really tr pushed hard to get Enzo on there because I yep. knew what he's capable of, um, and a lot of sponsors didn't want Enzo. 
So Brandon was lucky enough because he kind of knew that Enzo was still a diamond in the rough and he had to push on the back end as well to try and make it happen. So I'm glad all parties kind of benefited from yeah, it. Yeah, he, he did the best on the team. He did the best on the team, but he still needs one more year of development, I personally feel, to get there. His time will be 24 and 25 will be the years that when, he When's crushes. last year he did outdoors? Dude, it's been... JG, JGR, JGR yeah. 18, 19, you know? Uh, yeah, so he does need it outdoors. So yeah. he doesn't understand the – I'm not saying he doesn't understand, but uh, the feeling of the suffer factor and how hard it really is to yeah. be a one through seven guy in outdoors. Yeah. It's, oh, it's – It's fucking it's, gnarly. It is. And I don't think he understands that yet um, to see that. And I'm telling him, like, dude, it's a different ball game, you know? So – Um. He's a great rider. I don't know, Coop, you dude. watched him much? Yeah. He's like talent, like 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 oh, he on makes, a bike. He, he makes looks it look good, easy. dude. Yeah. yeah. Dude, Enzo's awesome. He's got some skill. So mm -hmm. just stop bugging the kid about his coffee and about It's all part of it. It's all part of it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't it starts, live with you. It starts at the <laughs> ground level. <laughs> I wouldn't want to live with you. I know what you're no. saying. As much as I bitch about you, I yeah. know what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, all right, everybody. Motorsport.com, tweet at Pete. <clears throat> We interrupt this broadcast to bring you this important bulletin from motorsport.com. It's the Tweets at Tits Q&A segment where your twatted questions find answers. Motorsport.com. I know, we got to work on that. Yeah. Motorsport.com, OEM and aftermarket parts, anything over 79 bucks, uh, free shipping. Phil, you are a Motorsport.com athlete. I am, Mr. Scott. Yep, because of me. Years. Yes, yeah, because of me. You. I got you the deal. Just yeah, that's mm -hmm. what, got you the FXR deal. No, got you the KYB deal. KYB deal did help here. Oh, it did. <laughs> yes, yeah, it that's did. all you do is mm -hmm. shit on me. Yep, because it's fun. Okay, yeah. uh, motorsport.com. Go through the banner. Uh, these questions are submitted at Paul Pemex Show on Twitter for myself, Cooper Webb, Phil Nicoletti, Seth Rarick. Uh, all right, let's do this, Pete. I'm all right, hit. first one I'm is from bad. Jimmy G. This is for you, Phil. Should there be an age limit for the 450 Rookie of the Year? <laughs> Like, <laughs> no, because if there's no rookie, oh, well, there would have been somebody. But yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. Shout out to Cullen Park, by the way, for winning 250 rookie there. I like Cullen. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. massive Cullen's, improvements. Yeah. He yeah. shocked me this year. He's yeah. really he good. rode really, really yeah. well. At he's a nice yeah. kid too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice he rode awesome, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah, he rode awesome at Foxborough. But uh, no, no age limit. If you're a rookie, you're a rookie. All, All right. right. Next one is from the Moss Nine One Two Web. What is your connection to Daniel Blair? It seems to extend past writer reporter. Uh, is it the Jacob Hayes North Carolina connection, or does Blair have something on you? He's got photos. Is this good or bad? Like, are they saying that we're boys? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying that you and Blair are tight. I mean, I don't think we're that tight. Um, I've always known him through probably yeah through Hayes and just over the years race and all that. Um, we like to talk shit to each other, so I mm -hmm. think that's really it. Some drama there. Some drama. Oh yeah. Daniel thinks you hate him, dude. Oh wow. Really? Yeah. Daniel doesn't. No. Yeah. Daniel thinks Scoop's yeah, mad at him. Ninety percent of the people. <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't. I don't think you and I like. I. If, I didn't think you and I were like bros. <laughs> but you, because on because race day, like you wouldn't. You were all serious. You wouldn't talk. Yeah. Right. I'd say something. You wouldn't. But then I always thought to myself, well, every time I ask you to come on the show, which isn't a lot, but every time you're like, I'll oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Like you would never be like, hey, you know, I like, can't do it. So and then you gave great interviews, like I told you. And I'm like, well, I guess he's nice. I guess he likes me. Like, I don't know. Some people don't like me, right? Like Stank and Anderson and stuff. But at the races, you're serious. So I was like, I don't know how yeah. cool. Yeah. No, I mean, I get it. Right. I can be intimidating. Sure. The only reason I scary. knew that you were down is because these idiots are like, yeah, Coop did, you know, did this. Or like, you know, they're yeah, laughing and yeah. joking, making fun of you, right? Or you're making fun of them. So I know that. Well, you're yeah, like, but he's the same way. He's not yeah. very approachable. Well, yeah. I, I mean. I, we know him so well. He's Phil's a teddy yeah. bear, dude. Dude, uh, puts on this front, but hey, oh shit, Mark, we didn't do the bracket tonight. Oops, oops, we can we can still squeeze it in at the end. Uh, but is Phil going to win? That's what I was going to get at. Is Phil winning the bracket? So we had a Pulp Probably. MX show Probably. Twitter. Uh, a Ray was saying something about a bracket yesterday. I don't know what he's talking about. Phil is a seven layer fucking burrito of mystery. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are. I, I stand by that. Is he winning his bracket? Uh, I'm going to look right now, but okay. uh, go to the next question. I'll get back okay. to you. All right. Next one is from Mass CJ7. Uh, do you think that the seven deuce deuce will be back next year on his same ride? Yeah, I think so. He's popular. People like him. Fans like him. He's legit, like, popular. So, yeah. He is popular. Yeah. 
Uh, mm-hmm. From Mark Wills for you, Cooper. How many snacks have you hidden from Alden? <laughs> uh, a good bit. Nah, I mean, uh, I, I'd try to stick on to it, but. He's he's a really strict diet. Like, what what is he keto? What is he? He's a. No, opposite of keto. Oh, he's opposite of keto. Yeah, he's. A uh, $100,000 to eat a ribeye steak, he says. Really? So you'd have to pay him. That's what it's pay him? Uh, but he's a certain diet. I forget what it is, but he's gnarly on it. You're like, thinking of vegan. Man. He's he's um, basically vegetarian right now. Yeah. He'll eat fish. Okay. Yeah. But no yard bird. Nothing. <laughs> no yard bird. Yeah, I'm out, man. Sorry. All right. Next one is from Jordan. Uh, Eli has talked about wanting to race the Des Nations prior to this injury. Uh, would there be any strategy in his recovery and return to riding to make sure he's ready to go for that race. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Does Nations? Yeah. Yeah, that's in October, isn't it? I know. I feel like I, I have no knowledge of this. Eli was on this show last week saying that ligament can heal by itself. Yeah, and yeah. He'll, he'll have to yeah, tough it up, fine. right? Yeah, he can't do nothing. Like no, that. no, right. So, But I feel like he's going to pull the pin on the outdoors. Like, come back. He's not going to be able to ride and train much, right? He's got to get healthy, and it's going to hurt, and he's got a Supercross title, and I feel like he's going to be like – Hey, just I just need to recover. I hope he races out to I do too, but I feel I, he's a sicko when he's on. Right. I feel like he'll be like, I I just I'm not ready. I'm not I, I think he wants to ride that bike outdoors. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think, I think so. he wants to race, but I'm with you. I think if he goes and the knee is a problem, yeah. he's not gonna push it. Yeah. 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 Because think about it, he's gotta stay off so it. Outdoors right? is the knees yeah. knee bothers you a little bit. He talked about more. gripping he said late in yeah. the supercross yeah, race. But he hardly he ever puts his foot down. No, 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 but he said, I, I think he said on the I show, gripping fine. the bike. He said, oh, gripping yeah, yeah, the bike gripping really it, yeah, hurts. But another I, so, thing is, I mean, I'm sure he wants to ride the bike outdoors and all that, but how much outdoor testing do you think they've actually done? Right. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Well, you would know. You're KYB. Yeah. Well, exactly. he's working through parts for him. Now I'm so. bombed. Yeah, he's I basically got, Eli's test rider. Test <laughs> I got my work stuff there waiting to ride, and I can't use it yet. I'm and then can we also talk about how your suspension got stolen? Yeah, fuck. It's not good. What? No, your stuff got shipped and the box showed up. Nothing in it. Somebody stole suspension. Of course, if it's going to happen to anybody, it's going to happen to Phil, (laughs) who finally gets good KYB stuff and it gets stolen. UPS man's riding soupy right now. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe he has a broken arm, It's just your luck. It's just your luck. I feel so bad. Right. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. I don't think they'd get a blowjob Mm -hmm. before the main event. Okay. Uh, Next one is from Kai. That's your He got a blowjob before Buffalo 84. (laughs) <laughs> and, and, and he said Buffalo 84 and, and got, Buffalo There's a super cross yeah. Buffalo In 84 He, got, he, got a, he told cold. us how he, We asked him And he said he got a bow job One time Before the main event And he got 19th out of 20 uh, Buffalo 84 She just sucked the life out of him took his testosterone away Yeah Yeah go ahead Mark What was it I got a blowjob, and I was shit in the main event. <laughs> <laughs> Holly's a legend, dude. <laughs> Holly's a legend. You know, we had we had Jeremy, and we were asking him. Like, Jeremy lived in the 90s, and he was like, dude, I got nothing on Holly. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> that's pretty. Yeah, that's saying that's something. A lot. Right, yeah. that's saying something. Oh, huge, dude. Right, right. And I was banging flight attendants. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Yeah. It, 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 the stories he had, they never stopped. So Dubok was on two Good. weeks ago. Dubok's first ever podium, uh, L.A. Coliseum in uh, 90, 90 or 89, 250, 450 Supercross podium. Gets on the podium, gets the, ce- gets the celebration. By the time he gets back to his, his own van, Dubok's van, Holly's in the back with a chick with the doors closed. <laughs> so he, from the time, and Holly was in the race. So from the time he got off the track to the podium was over, Jim was in the box van. I'm sure he showered, for I sure. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just, yeah. What about anal bleaching? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next one is from Kai Corbin. Uh, Steve, do you know where Little Red Dog is landing? Apparently oh, he's parting ways yeah. with Husky. Yeah, he's left Husky. Uh, I texted him. And he said uh, he can't tell me why. And I said, well, what are you going to ride? He said he can't tell me. And then he said, do you know anybody at Blue Crew? And I said, shut up. You know everybody at Blue Crew. And then I saw Nathan Ramsey on Sunday morning, and Nate said, yeah, like, we just agreed to part ways. He wasn't happy with – I think Nate said they wasn't happy with their their plan for Red Dog. And so, yeah, I don't know. He's out. Yeah, that was kind of shocking. When yeah. I yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, yeah, who knows? Huh. So they just – Breach contract out. And well, I think they. No, nah, we want out. Or is he going to another Austrian brand? That, no, no, I don't think uh, so. Huh? 
So I think they wanted out, and Husky said, all right, if you're not happy, you can go. So, yeah. Hmm. But he had a pro deal or just? Uh, No, no pro deal. I think that's what one of the things was, where they wanted a guaranteed pro deal. Um, And I I don't think Husky was was going to give him to him. did, because if he got a certain number of amateur titles this year, he got it. Oh, okay. And I think he was at the number where he won shy. That's so what maybe, they go off of? He maybe Husky said, wow. hey, maybe, college boy. Maybe Husky said, you, you, him, we don't, I know maybe, what our contract maybe, yeah, says, yeah, but yeah. yeah, you don't have yeah. a pro deal or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know, man. I, I don't, I stay out of it. But yeah, I don't know much about it. Yeah. Hopefully, one will. Right. Whip Next up one's from the Snowmobile Racing Network. Uh, Cooper, you have two 450 Supercross titles, and Steve has four Manitoba titles. Mm hmm. How much bigger are Steve's ceilings than yours? His ceilings are massive in this house. <laughs> well, um, I don't know what that is. Manitoba? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> Coop's trying to scan the room right yeah, now to I see something about Manitoba. <laughs> yeah. Do you know where Manitoba is? It's in Canada. Okay. Yeah, it's Canada. Yeah, yeah. I got four provincial titles, which is like a state. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, like state titles. It's like your four ca- North, 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 North Carolina, Carolina state yeah, 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 yeah. I have yeah, four. Yeah. What class? Uh, two in the B class and two in the C class. Wow, C too. Well, C's a, it's different in Canada because everybody has to ride C. Like even if you're an 80 expert, you have to go to C class. It, but it's called junior. You, get on a big you bike. can't skip. Yeah, it's when you get on a big junior, bike, you can't yeah. skip. It's called junior, right? Yeah, 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 junior, yeah, yeah. right. You can't so skip. So even like Fast Yachty race C class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you can't. <laughs> but Fast Yachty did go from B to pro right away he skipped that step so he went from junior to pro yeah junior to pro sorry yeah <laughs> not a big jump no he was six four already by then so <laughs> whatever <laughs> all right uh from travis long name phil if you could change one rule in ama supercross what would it be and why <sighs> uh yeah 250 supercross points are bullshit. oh i would change that in a second yeah it's stupid unbelievable okay oh, we were talking about this, this morning yeah. counting towards national number yeah yeah just in general yeah they my fifth in point my fifth on a saturday night sh- point should, Better not than e- coops. should not equal coops it's yeah. fucking stupid yeah you know yeah why did they do some that? joe blow that ends up six in the career best and yeah they're no it's points equal coops if you want to give them half points i'm down with that yeah fine yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, the yeah. fact that it's half equal points. to a 450 class is insane yeah Insane. Yeah. Uh, from Gus Keeter, Cooper, when you hang it up, which I hope is a long time, can we expect to see you selling surfboards? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> things, things will have gone really bad yeah, if you, if you have a job, a, right? Yeah, that's yeah. next level. Yeah. Right. But, uh, that's no, what your dad, that's your dad pops, does. Yeah, yep, yep. my pop shapes boards, still does. Right. Probably still will. Till are, are, you, are you a good surfer? I used to be. Yeah. Now, not so much. I, mean, I tried uh, it once, dude. It's hard. Yeah. As a kid, that's I wanted to be a pro surfer. Really? So, like, yeah. I surfed more than I, I rode or anything, but, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't that great. You did uh, surf for cross, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. won. I did surf for cross once and won. Oh, you did? Yeah, probably probably like all the motocrosses, you were just smoked them, right? Yeah, like, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, so we have a Pulp Mech Show Twitter bracket, and you're up against Chiz in the next round. Mm. So you beat Troll, right? He beat Troll? Yep, seventy-eight uh, percent to twenty-two percent. And what's this over? Yeah, what's, what's this for? What, what? This is a favorite Pulp Show rider. So just the people who listen to Pulp Mech Show, who's their favorite rider? Uh, so you're in the next bracket against Chiz. Did yeah. Coop? Did Coop advance? Uh, I'm in uh, it. Sorry, Coop. Oh, uh, Coop lost. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, buddy. Who did he lost, lose to? He lost to A Ray. Um, no, we had no, we, we, we put the factory guys A-Ray. against each uh, other, privateers against each other. Yeah. Coop lost to Wilson. Dino. Yeah. Mm. Dino's respectable, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's respectable. Yeah, Dino's and then, popular. And uh, Wilson just lost to AC. Okay. And mm. Stewart beat Craig, so it'll be AC versus Malcolm and Phil versus Chiz. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Are you going to get Chiz on, do you think, or do you think you got it? I don't know. Okay. All right. No idea. I'm sure you care a lot. <laughs> I, I can give a fuck. All right, next question. All right, from Dad Dog. Uh, Cooper, will you give us your best story of you getting yelled at or getting in trouble from Phil? <laughs> um man it's happened a lot actually i'm trying to think some good stories <laughs> come to mind what do you think i'm interested in when did you guys first become friends because you're quite a bit of younger so how did that work like, so we met um we were both red bull amateur riders yes so that's how we met was like hold on you were like five <laughs> yeah like he's young he's more like a sidekick way yeah. back then 
Because, yeah, I remember when he was a Red Bull amateur. but I We actually met. Were. First time I remember Phil was Bud's Creek. He was still on a Super Mini, and he had the damn glasses goggle combination. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Scott OTGs. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And he yeah. waxed that day, and same thing. As yeah. a kid, I was just, like, a fan of, yeah. you know, the bigger generation, and I went over to him, actually, and just, like, my our dads kind of knew each other, okay. and we were Honda. And yep. Mm-hmm. So then we met, because we always, Red Bull had us pitted at Loretta's next to each other. Oh, okay. And the year I remember, he was A-class, I was, like, 85, and he was racing Loretta's with his collarbone sticking out of his freaking skin because mm-hmm. <laughs> he hit a cow three days before. Mm-hmm. Wow, I remember that. Mm-hmm. And still raced and yeah. was, like, what, top three? Yeah, yeah, it was a long time ago. So that's how we met. Yeah. Um, we didn't really come tight till later, though. Like, yeah, like, like Starlight days. Like, yeah. Like, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah even Star, like, like JGR, we knew know. because of Yamaha, we'd be at the same signings right. and stuff like that. Uh, I think when I moved to North Carolina is when we kind of – I was always I was always cool with Coop, but when I was staying with Germa and Alex, it was still kind of like a yeah. You'd yeah. be Team Coop or Team Germa. Yeah, right? it was yeah, like yeah, there's yeah. no in between. Right. So it was just like I was kind of over here, but then you were like JT after, with Chad. He he couldn't be Team Stu at all. He'd yeah, be team yeah, Chad, yeah. Right? yeah. It's yeah. kind of how it right. was, and you know. But I was always cool with him. We had never had an issue. Um, but same thing. He'll yell at me over anything. Anything. Phil yells at everyone every day, dude. I could go <laughs> lead every lap of the main event, did, and did you? Did you like that Honda four stroke or was that thing a pile? It was it, it, it was slow. Was it? Yeah, yeah. It was very slow. Yeah. I know comparatively JG, to a Super Mini. Right. I know at the time they were like, this is gonna be just like a two fifty F versus yeah, a one twenty five. No. And it was not, no. right? No, yeah. it wasn't even close. Right, right. No. But Hopefully it was one character right. building. Up a titty. <laughs> character they building. Were, they were tanks too. Yeah. I remember coming out, I was telling Coop two thousand five we came out here, Honda flew us out for the grand opening or grand reveal of the crf 150 yeah they put us up at the mandalays the first time i actually flown on a plane so yeah it's pretty cool first time i've ever been to vegas wow. um bill sabino had flown us all out did you come that year that, that, uh, i think it was just rife the maybe. jgr bike was tricked rife, though right wow. they put some money into that thing didn't they uh, or no yeah no oh, okay not really oh, i thought like, it was like ultra trick or something no no nah, i mean it was it was good oh, like man, jgr am i thinking of the geico up. one Did yeah geico you're thinking do of the geico. A oh, yeah you're talking about M- 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 was, was that mumphy okay all right yeah, so yeah, yeah that's what i'm thinking of. Yeah. that was like a full works bike yeah, that yeah, thing yeah. sounded like a fucking <laughs> pc bike yeah yeah all right that's old news right that was quite a few no okay Pete over there likes to call it a night early. So <laughs> yeah. that's why the, that's why the do, do you see, see what, what time, time it is? <laughs> I know, I know. I see what I see what time it is. That's fine. You know what? These guys gotta go anyways. They got they got people. Gotta people get that uh, Dick Willie thing. <laughs> uh, what a show. What a fun show. I really wanted to get into the uh, season ending points and ask Phil his thoughts, but we'll do that another time. Uh, the show's over? Yeah, the show's over. <laughs> see, look, Coop's wow. ready Coop's to ready keep to go. Go. You guys, He's just he's getting warmed up. You guys want to do like Supercross trivia with Coop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll lose a lot of fans right now, but yeah. yeah. No, he, he got the Red Dog I'll number plate. It. He got the Red Dog number plate. I he got MC. It. Yeah, he's fine. I, I Yeah, I think he was fine. You guys are over over over. Uh, Overplaying this. He knows a lot of the stuff because we've told him. That. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? He's yeah. coming in with a it's an advantage. Are you guys all in a group text like every yeah. day? Yeah. So yeah. you're just like just talking moto and showing him like whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh. I don't like talk moto, but. Right. right. No, no, there, there's, a, there's a group DM that I always send and Phil always send like old. Like Holtner posts some good stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. Old pictures, yeah, you know. Yeah. So he like, he must be. I bought a whole bunch him. off of them off his archive. I'm going to post them. On, I've yeah. Been posting them he on has some stuff. sick pictures. Yeah. It's great. It's really cool. Uh, it's really fantastic. Now, so. Seth just likes to remind me that I, I would be, what would you say? Working at McDonald's if it wasn't. If it, he just, yes. If it wasn't for MC, dude, he wouldn't be sitting here right now. No way. Ooh. MC paved the way for the sport. Elevated it, dude. I mean, okay, I, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that, but you can make a case for like all these guys, like yeah, everyone. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. it's not just right, him. Right? Okay. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. No, no, no. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. MC all timer, man. Yeah. Oh, great. Stu, Stu also like I, I watch those old videos of Stu. Yeah, no, Stu's. Uh, I just so far ahead of his time. God, Stu was Incredible. Stu was gnarly. Do you have any Stu stories? God forbid from, if you fist pumped Stu. When you, were, I just remember. As an amateur being Red Bull again, I, yeah. I got to go to his house a few times. Oh, you did? Yeah. And just, I remember that year on Suzuki, watching him ride Supercross yep. in person. And I had just started riding Supercross, like, on a big bike. Okay. So I could kind of compare. What, what were you on, the Yamaha? Or? Yeah, yeah. It was my first year amateur with Star. Okay. I was getting ready for Minios, and I went there, and I was, like, riding with Malcolm. And I was within a realm of Malcolm. Yeah. 
But then JS came out, and I'm like, I am never. Gonna do <laughs> I will <laughs> never go that fast. <laughs> but you, you, I mean, you do. Yeah, that's you, what's yeah. crazy. Like right. putting that in perspective, that you know, he didn't win the title that year. He won races or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. like, how you could go that fast on a 450 on Supercross, <laughs> and then me tr pu putting myself in that yeah. category ish. Right. Yeah. It's not even comparative. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're on that level though. You you have more you have more titles than him in Supercross. You know. Or no. Same. Same. The same. Um. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you put yeah. yourself on that level. You're that's just like, it's nuts, right? Because it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. You only won two, huh? Yeah, you only won two. It's, that's nuts, dude. Yeah, when you think about it, right? Yeah. I mean, he is the second winningest rider of all time combined. Yeah. You know, so, you know, there's still that. But, yeah. Yeah, dude was so far out of his time. Right, right. Yeah, the first time I went to his house, I was like, he jumps from there to there? <laughs> like, that is, that's a jump or is that two jumps? No, 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 that's that's one. Dude. <laughs> you're just like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, on his outdoor track. Like, you're just like, what the hell is going on? So. Uh, good times. Uh, all right. Well, hey, thanks to Ryan Dungey, Jeremy Martin, Chris Blos, all for calling in, and uh, and you guys for showing up, man. Lots of fun. Uh, really fun show. The debut of the Mav TV show. So we're coming mm. in hot with you three. A lot of bleeps. <laughs> no, yeah. not much. A lot of bleeps. No, not a lot much. of bleeps. Yeah, Marks, is. really? Why? Marks? Yeah, for I Phil. No, yeah. dude, you've Phil been good for Phil. I was. I was. No, he good was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah. I can't even name one right now. Well, oh. I'm just because I know he did, but they're I'm so, so used to it. They're so used to it. I'm so used yeah. to yeah. it. Yeah. It's a, a language. No, yeah. dude, Phil's been an angel yeah. tonight. It's been good. <laughs> oh. An angel. I thought, I thought it was fine. And by the way, Phil, uh, let me look. Let me check We're this We're not up. cats. We don't have nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I know. Phil, this, Phil, this is your sixth time in studio. We have uh, 500 shows. Really? 500, yeah, we keep track of everybody. Uh. After 500 shows, this is your sixth time in studio, Phil. Yeah, I and, come about once a year, huh? Yeah, and Rarick, this is your third. Third. So, yeah, Coop, it's your first. Yeah. <laughs> In case you're wondering. Pop my yeah. chair. First and last. <laughs> first and last. <laughs> this show's been way cleaner than I thought, dude. Really? Yeah, with these two. Yeah. And even, like, the language that he's saying, I don't remember one. Okay. One what there. about anal bleaching? <laughs> we really could have got down to some nitty gritty stuff. but Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could, but. I'll have to leave it. Yeah, next show, maybe. You know, wasn't well, there? Yeah, we're leaving anxiety free. Yeah, me yeah. and Phil had a pack coming in here. We stuck to it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought I thought your pack was just rag on Coop a, a ton, but no, you guys didn't do it. I felt you guys were good. He's too yeah. uptight, dude. Yeah. He's too stiff. Look, Still no, nervous. Look, I, can't his, I can see Listen. his forehead sweating from here. Uh, I don't honestly, uh, unbiasedly, it is a little hot in here for sure. Unbiasedly, I thought you were great tonight. I thought you were fantastic. Thank so you. I don't know if you were nervous or whatever. Like yeah, I was nervous. Yeah, like I feel like <laughs> I feel like you were real. Marks, he was good. No, he was good. There were I, I think there were a couple times where. It, he seemed a little out of his comfort zone. Yeah. And it, it showed, but <laughs> overall, Tight. yes, very good. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're a natural. So, uh, Appreciate that. Thanks, can everybody, we, for... for what? Can we talk about Millville? You can talk about whatever you want. Yeah. What? So, Coop is just coming back. <laughs> Coop is just coming back. You <laughs> crushed it, dude. Dude, from an ankle injury. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shattered Tim and Fib. Uh, shattered Tim and Fib. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, and I was riding for Husky or whatever, but Millville was after an off weekend. Mm -hmm. But we had a friend had a wedding the weekend before. <laughs> sure and, did. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a banger wedding. Our buddy Ozzy <laughs> and we. I got. Let me find the video. The, <laughs> we uh, the next weekend we raced Millville and it was hot as balls. Yeah. <clears throat> and me and Coop were battling each other tooth and nail, battling. And we were battling Henry Miller for like ninth, <laughs> tenth, seven, eight, and ninth. Yeah, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Right. And we were so fucking tired. And hot. Hot. And I could just, it was a week later, and I still felt the alcohol sweating out of my body. <laughs> this you is know? the night of the wedding. All your volume's up. <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Millville six days later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're just like, oh, Dude. like fuck my life. Yeah. Like, uh, and I, I did so bad that day. Coop's like, I'm riding with Phil and Henry Miller. Like, I just, yeah, just, it was <laughs> it was awful. And I got back to the semi and I took my helmet off and I'm like about to puke. And Bobby Hewitt comes over and he's just like, well, boy, he goes, that's the la last wedding you're gonna go to during season. And I looked at him like, fuck, and I'm like cross-eyed. And it was the worst feeling I've ever had in my life. Really? Oh, dude. You? Yeah. I was battling you. Dude, you that shut up. Thing? Shut up, dude. Six months later, I'm Supercross champ. Right, right, right. <laughs> Fast forward three weeks, right? Unadilla, second moto. 
I got third in the first moto, and the last lap, last corner last before, turn. gravity Made cavity, him. Made I'm, him four, I'm fourth. I tip over. Okay, I had about maybe eight seconds on third. third. That was you got third that moto? Yeah. yeah Fuck, that I could have went 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. yeah. Who, else, who else fucking passed me that? Uh, Barsha, maybe. Barsha, yeah, maybe it was Barsha. And I fucking scramble, and I'm picking my bike up. I put up. pressure on him, and he yeah. cracked. And he cracked, yeah. <laughs> and I hear this I hear this fucking Yamaha, and I like look up, and Coop's looking at me. I didn't even think you had goggles on, and his <laughs> eyes were this fucking big. <laughs> and I was like trying to drag my bike across the track to fucking block him. <laughs> and <laughs> dude, and Coop had this fucking bike pin wide open. <laughs> and I was about ready to fucking ghost ride my shit into him. Cause yeah, but you still, but did you, you, you thought maybe it was the overall? Like, yeah, 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 it's like, right. fuck, I just threw it away, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was like, yeah. Yeah, you went 3-5, three, five, didn't three, you? 3-5, yeah. yeah. I didn't think overall. that was for a podium. Right. Maybe it was. No, nah, I think you got fourth. I think Barsha got third. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's, yeah, that's the day he gave you, you the third. <laughs> the bird. <laughs> Oh, good times. He just took it, too. You're like, yeah. No, JP had to break us up. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Oh, really? Huh? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, he Dude. looked at you and just like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, that's odd for Barsha. Yeah, yeah <laughs> weird. Yeah. Crazy. Said I was dirty. Yeah. <laughs> 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 wow. Yeah. Uh, Barsha, no, Barsha no, said no, I was dirty. I, I cross jumped him on a double, and it's a. <laughs> Mud Dude, it's, a, it's mud. It's, it was mud I said, everywhere. Oh, yeah, I probably shot off the <laughs> right, side of this. Right, right. I probably did. We were riding jet skis. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just, he's Everyone so... was cross jumping <laughs> everyone. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I mean, in 2008, you were literally riding a jet yeah, ski. Yeah, out there. we were both on jet skis. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the Yamaha was a jet ski. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, he... I didn't even get that. <laughs> 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 right, got it. Yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah, he's funny. so clean. I can't believe you said that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's odd, man. Yeah, yeah he's right. just the epitome of of, uh, of such a classy guy. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for coming in, man. Appreciate it, Phil. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate no it, problem. Coop. Honestly, yeah. appreciate the time. Really fun to have you in, Rarick. Always good to have you. And uh, yeah, if you're if you're unemployed, let's get you back out here at some point. And fly. Yeah, I mean, I could just bring crash chick. here. You have enough spare room. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> Uh, bring your chick out. Come out for Vegas. And, yeah, uh, she was upset. She didn't get to come right, this time, right, but right. you wouldn't get her flight. So no, I, uh, yeah, I got to pay for everybody else. I told know? her it's your yeah. fault. Right, right. You okay. so I'm paid. Being at yeah, you. yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, we, we we pay. I will pay you after the end of the show. We we pay cash money for whole co-hosting duties. <laughs> yeah, Coop needs the cash, Co- uh, well, especially I after this mine. year. <laughs> Listen, uh, um, uh, even RV took it. All right, so yeah. <laughs> what a scumbag. <laughs> 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 Weimer didn't. Weimer's like, no, no, no. no he's like, snap. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't take the money? What? He didn't take no. the money? Wow. No. RV snatched that right up, though. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not a problem. Probably went and just put all in the fucking Yeah, ride. who knows. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, really, shit, asshole. And, and, and uh, so, yeah, I really appreciate everybody uh, listening to the show tonight. Thanks to our sponsors, Motorsport.com, Decal Works, and Fly Racing. Uh, Travis, thank you. Tra- Travis. Oh, you're welcome. What? Uh, it's weird when you call me Travis is all. Marks? Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Pete. Pete. Can't Yo, forget Pete. Good yeah, work. Buddy. Nick, what? Nick from Australia. We didn't get you on the night, but thank you. Moto yeah. Unlimited, Moto mm-hmm. Limited, Moto The Moto Pod. The Moto Limited show. The Moto Limited show. They're limiting themselves from Yes, that's right. You're limiting right. Why are you limiting yourself? Yeah. Right, right. They limit mm. themselves down mm. under there. Get Josh Casey on the pod, dude. I wonder what he's up to. Who? Josh oh. Casey. Remember him? Yeah, that's a real he, fo- he followed Phil this morning. Oh, really? Yeah, I saw he followed me. I'm like, whoa. Wow. It's a legend. Uh, all right, everybody. Thanks for listening. And again, thanks to Dungeon, J. Mark, Chris Blows, Cooper Webb, Phil Nicoletti, Seth Rarick. Thanks for watching. Thanks for Mav TV as well. And uh, we'll see you next week. There's something I want to get off my chest. And it's about that summer when you went away to community college. I got an offer to do Playgirl magazine. And I did it. I did a full spread for Playgirl magazine. I, I mean spread, man. I pulled my butt apart and stuff, and I was totally nude. And it was weird. I, I mean, you probably didn't hear about it because I went under the name of Mike Honcho, but I just wanted you to know that. If you could hear me, if you got.